What started as a fun project between a group of friends became so much more. And now we're here. I'm Rainbolt. And I'm Parler. And this is the GeoGuessr World Cup Qualifier. That is right, everybody. We are coming to you live from Stockholm, Sweden. And boy, do we have an amazing show in store. As we just said before, my name is Parla, and this is I, Rainbow. I am Rainbow. It's such a pleasure to actually see you in person yep. and sort of realize you're, you're an actual physical being. I know you were saying I was an AI this whole week, so uh, <laughs> I'm not. I am in person. I am real. So um, I guess the jury is still out. I've not seen you bleed, but we're not going to test that. Yeah, let's not test that. All right. Talking about blood, sweat, and tears, we have some amazing competitors on the line. This is, of course, the qualifier for the GeoGuessr World Cup, and the competition is going to be fierce. Before we get into the action, however, it's not just myself and Rainbow in the studio. We have some expert help. Peter, where are you at, buddy? I am there here. he is, Geo Peter in the building, in the war room. Great to I see am you. here in the war room, right here. Oh. We will be watching. Well, one, one moment, we're just going to get Peter's mic on. Make sure... Th we're just going to make sure that we can hear from Big P upstairs. P, is that you in the building? Can you hear me? I. Yeah. It's like the voice <laughs> of God, it's great to hear from you. Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Hello? Yes, you, we, we, we can hear you. Can you hear us? You can hear me. I can hear you, yes. Perfect. Yes, now I can. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am excited to be here, excited to follow all these matches and to see who will be the players who will qualify towards the world final. Yeah, absolutely. And Peter, you're going to be like an analyst of sort. You're also going to be watching games with us. Can you give us a bit of an explanation about exactly what you're going to be up to in the war room? Yes, here in War Room, I will be following the games that you will not be seeing at the moment, and uh, I'll, I'll be trying to find some cool, cool moments to share with you uh, throughout the games. Amazing, and who's that guy next to you, by the way? Who is that? <laughs> this is the operator who will be helping me clip these uh, <laughs> ear moments to show with you. Does he have a name? Should we just call him Operator? <laughs> it's Operator. All yeah, right, operator. operator, great to have you in the building as well. <laughs> Peter, thanks for your time. We'll check back in with you soon. Wicked, yeah. Trevor, what's it like? Because I'm going to bounce accidentally, by the way, between Rainbow and That's Trevor. Fine. That's fine. Um, but this is the f your first time being in front of a camera for, for a show on a broadcast, right? Yeah, so like anyone on Twitch, on GeoGuessr, usually these streams are for like 20 people, you know, at these tournaments. So to be in this massive production with so much, you know, people behind such a special, special scene, it's uh, quite amazing. And I think the players will appreciate it as well. Absolutely. Why don't we take a look at exactly what our players are going to be involved in? Let's get up our tournament schedule. So this is the road to the World Cup. It is our qualifiers. And over the course of today, we're going to go through groups to the knockout to the playoffs. And then we're going to have four players four making players. it through to the grand finals that will be played here in Stockholm from the Space Arena over October the 13th and the 14th. Yeah, it's going to be an epic show over the course of tonight or wherever during the day, where, wherever you may be in the world. And yeah, we'll end off with four players making it through to that grand finals. Talking about the grand finals as well, everybody at home, do not forget that unlike this, where you have to watch from home, that grand finals, you can actually travel here to Stockholm, Sweden and get involved. So get your tickets if you can come down. I promise it will be an event not to miss. Isn't that right? You should not Trevor. miss it. It's gonna be the first or one of the first ever kind of big land tournaments for the you know the whole community. So it's gonna be special. You gotta be there. I think it's special is the right word because you know um, not all games have like an esport or competitive contingent. Yeah. And GeoGuessr, which is such a phenomena at this point, I think this is the first time we're seeing this side of the game really pushed. And you can be here at the birth of it yep. at th those finals, October the 13th and 14th. With that being said, why don't we take a look in more depth at our groups and our players taking part? Group A up on screen now. So we've got Lenly, Scripero, the Ziggy, and Olympia. Rainbow, what can you tell me about these players? Because I'm new here. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to teach yeah, me as you know, we go I'll along, brother. The, I'll give you the rundown. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, Group A here, we're separating the Germans, and uh, we got Poland representation as well. But 
honestly, Germany in itself has so much representation within the community and the skill level in the community that this is no surprise. We have three Germans here. Um, you could probably invite, you know, 20 and they would all be very, very talented. So we've got Lindley here. Lindley's an OG. So it's going to be a great matchup. Yeah, you were telling me before that Germany is such a, a strong nation yeah. for GeoGuessr. Is there any idea why that is or what are they specifically good at? You know, you know, the Germans, they, uh, they're dedicated, you know, but we also, I will mention, you know, not to spoil, you know, future groups. We do have a couple other countries highly represented, USA, you know, American geography is kind of might show out today. We might see, but Germans, you know, I think it has a lot to do with the dedication they put to the game, the large German community behind GeoGuessr. So, um, I think, uh, I think that's probably why. Moving I, on. Oh, sorry. If you had anything else to add. Go ahead. Yeah. Moving on. Let's take a look. At group B, didn't mean to cut you off. That's going to happen a lot, by the way. We're going to do that to each other. Yeah, That's good. part of being on a live broadcast. All right, gr <laughs> Group B up on screen now. Trichter, Emily Apocalypse, Consus, and Suvlaki Zeitgeist. That is a name to be reckoned with. It is the... Uh, yeah, it's got to be one of the most unique names I've ever seen anyway. Trevor, tell me more about these players up this on screen. This group right here is the group I'm most excited about. You know, bias aside, Consus, Trichter. That matchup is going to be insane. Consus is one of the best players in the in the game, in my in my humble opinion, going against Trichter, who's also very, very talented. Not to discredit Emily or Suvalaki. Anyone, anything can happen in GeoGuessr, especially when we get to those late rounds. But I'm looking at Consus and Trichter uh, as kind of the game of the night, really. If so. what I've been told is correct, because I think you mentioned this, I think some of the, the guys from GeoGuessr, the company themselves also did, Consus is, is a big favorite. Look, we don't want to spin too many yarns and like put too many favorites forward, but apparently Consus is like the, the person to look out for. He is the person to look out for tonight. You know, he could be the favorite going in to the whole World Cup if you if he qualifies tonight. Not to put too much, you know, pressure on the guy because GeoGuessr is a game where one bad guess and, you know, back to the lobby. I so. think I think that's one of the things that's so exciting about seeing this format put out there, you know, in a professional competitive sense is, is we're going to find out if these players can transfer their skills from, you know, prior battles and on, or online sort of competition to, to the next level, to a much bigger stage like this, yeah. and, and eventually, potentially for them, a grand finals with a live studio audience. I can, not to speak for them, but I just know the nerves are high right now, especially where you guys are such a mental game and you could be so nervous, you can make such a mental mistake so easily. That's going to be it's going to be important for the players to kind of you know level out their nerves and and focus on the games and the rounds and hopefully you know everything goes smooth. But we'll see. Completely agree. Let's take a look at our third group of four. It's Group C, and now we've got Chicago Geographer. This is a USA stacked group. Oh yeah. We've got Sh starting off with Chicago Geographer, a very literal name. I like that. I assume they are from Chicago and they like geography. Then we've got Polly Party and Truly Buzzy Trevor. Yeah. Look at the drip we got, by the way. This, this is, is some serious drip. The verified GeoGuessr drip is kind of next level. We've got like, it, <laughs> I can't remember if that font on Truly Buzzy is MS Paint or MS Word, but oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's given me some, you know, secondary school throwbacks there, Very you know, nostalgic. putting things together in clip art. Well, well, any, anything stand out yeah. to you about these players that I and the audience at home should know? Yeah, so two of the players in this group are coming from the pre-quality, so they did qualify from last week. CG, Chicago Geographer. And CG that was yours, sport. right? You were running that. Yep, yep, so they, they played out of their mind and uh, qualify for this week's tournament. So, you know, each of these, you know, have their different skill sets, but I think all in all, it's going to be pretty competitive. Yeah, talking about the swag. So this is something that I learned before when we're doing like our rehearsals and stuff is, yeah, you, you have your avatar and you can dress up and, and Rainbow, you've got your own mask in the game. Oh, I got my own mask. Shout out to I Geo got my face on a t-shirt, bro. Oh my yeah. God. I, yeah. I need to get my own avatar and, and start wearing some of your gear. That's awesome. <laughs> and so that's three of our groups. We have a fourth and final one is Group D. Let's bring that up on screen now and see which players round out our field of competitors. So we've got two French, a Norwegian, and a Serbian. We've got Bulgor, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yes, sir. And then J.H. Havard, shout out to him. I had a little interaction with him on Twitter last night. And then Alok at the very end with the Moonhead. Moonhead, That's a, I think that might be an OG skin, so maybe, but all in all, this this uh, I'm excited to see team you know some of the France representation here. If you guys don't know about the GSR community, France is kind of known for their moving skills, and you know moving is uh, going to be important in this qualifier, especially with Havard here. So the moving games in this group are going to be quite competitive. I'm excited. Super, super excited to see those at a high And level. this is a big distinction that I need to learn about, right? The gameplay where it's moving versus, is it called stationary when it's not moving? Or? Yeah, no moving. Yeah, no <laughs> moving. Yeah, so because it's, 
apparently, I mean, from what you've told me and from what I've heard from the GeoGuessr guys themselves, is that um, it's, it's a not a complete different skill set, but each thing is quite different from the other in terms of skills that you need to use. It's honestly, com I would say it's almost completely. It is completely it's, different. Okay, it's different. Like if I was to play moving. I would get wiped very quickly by most of the players in this quality because I don't practice moving, so it's uh, it's pretty different. And I think that's where some of these players have their advantage. They're they're gonna have to hope that you know they at least uh, we might see instant sending, so they give their player less time since you get 15 seconds to uh, get your guess off after the first person guesses. So I think some players know how the other player you know plays and they might adapt for that player. So they'll instant send so the player can't move as much to get, hopefully you know rattle them. But we'll see. It's gonna be cool. It definitely is going to be cool. And with that being said, Rainbolt, we've introduced the show. Everybody at home should know exactly what is going on now. And we can start to focus in on our very first game. It's going to be Scrapiro versus Derziggy? Derziggy. Derziggy, exactly. So what should be the things to look out for in this game? Maybe like a, a something about each player that's going to shine yeah. in this matchup. So this is probably my most excited for matchups because they're both kind of OG members of the community and very high, well-respected members of the community, each with their own s specific skill set. Ziggy, most recently, has been really, really focusing on his moving games, knowing that was a weaker asset for him. So he's really been practicing moving. So I'm expecting very, you know, not the best performance, but a very high performance from Ziggy from his moving with his recent development. And that, and Scribe Pero is just, I think he has like 30,000 games of Geogas or probably more. 30,000? So Can you give me an average then of, of like... I have 10,000. You have 10K? And I play the game a lot. Oh, wow. I play the game a lot. So extreme experience and time in game for Scribe Pero. He's been playing probably since, you know, 2016, something like that. So he's a he's an OG. OG. OG, OG. So it's cool that he gets some representation tonight and see, uh, see what happens. Yeah, we absolutely will, and we'll let you know as soon as that game is ready. Um, for people like myself that are unfamiliar with these battles, can you talk generally about like how it's going to play out, like how the HP system works, etc.? Yeah. So the format we got, we got you know, it's a best of three or best of three in the group stages. Uh, so we'll see moving first game, no move in NPZ as a rubber match, and then so you know we have six K health for each team. So basically. The goal is to guess as close as you can, eliminate as many points from your, your opponent there. So it's uh, if you get to zero, back to the lobby you go. So how, how, li how, li guesses. how likely is that that you can knock the opponent out per se? Maybe we can make that sort of like geo guess of vernacular, <laughs> like a KO. If the you, avatars. Does that start. happen regularly, like wiping the HP? My assumption would be that it's usually just an HP discrepancy that yeah. gets the win. Yeah, yeah. So it's a. Uh, the goal is to get the, the other player to zero. Oh, you okay? You have to All knock right. him out. Oh, you yeah. do have to knock so him out. So the game All doesn't right. end until you get to zero. All right. Well, I want to, yeah. I want to, I want to, I want to put it out there. Then we're going to be calling these KOs. We're going to be calling yeah. them knockouts. Maybe we get the, the avatars to start fighting. <laughs> mid, uh, mid, uh, <laughs> I think that'd be a completely different type of game. But yeah, hey, very listen. exciting then. And yeah, we've got about a minute to the game. So any sort of final thoughts and analysis before we jump yeah. right into it and see exactly how it plays out? I just can't be more excited for this as a fan. I'm excited. I'm I'm kind of viewing this as like, oh my god, I can't wait to see these matchups because it's like one v one is something that really hasn't been done that much in the community because it's uh, more, more so people play team duels and you can rely on your teammate, you know, for their validation. You can work your you know brains together. This is uh, you're by yourself out there and it's a uh, coming from experience. It's stressful when you're you know you only have your own your your own memory and your own guess and you can't use validation from others. It's it's. I can, I can imagine that the, the pressure is powerful. One other thing that we should quickly mention, Trevor, do you want to describe the special observer mode that you've got at all so that everyone yeah. at home knows what they're looking at? So this is a new kind of game or a new view specifically made for this tournament. It's called observer mode. So basically I control the pace of every single game. So Yeah, we're going to bring that. You can continue talking. So yeah, Dezegi versus Scrapiro, everybody. And uh, Trevor, continue to explain how this observer mode works and then I guess when it's ready to go, I'll let you know and we'll, we'll yeah. kick things off. Yeah, not to delay the game anymore, but you can see the example right here. So basically, I can see the round before it starts, and I can go and look at the next round and things like that and kind of see what we're getting into before. And I click start round here. So right now, the players are pretty much just waiting for me to click start round. So they're ready. and. Uh, not to spoil anything, but we are going to be in Ecuador here, but I think we just go ahead and get into it. Okay, just one more thing that I'm going to mention before you press that big green start round. Everybody at home, in case you weren't aware, there is a five minute delay, so yep. th there's no chance that anyone could be watching the stream and um, you know fiddling around with how they play the game. All right, 
Rainbow, let's do it, man. I'm excited to see this. Whenever you're ready, we can start off this round. Everybody at home, it's Derziggy versus Scrapero, our first match here at the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. And we're clicking. Let's start Germany versus Germany, round one. And like I did mention, this will be an easy Ecuador, I think, for these players. And this is moving. So what they w are looking for here is they're going to immediately start going. Probably each player has different things. Oh, oh look at we that. We immediately have a sign here that he's going to try and, uh, you know, they're going to try and f potentially 5K. Okay, so your expectation here is they, they want to get within a 5K distance? Or you, you assume that that's like how? Um, so 5K is max. So you want okay. to get within probably, you know, 100 meters. Oh, my um, God, 100 meters. <laughs> The thing about, th they're looking for okay. signs right now. So this, like, there's going to be, you know, different, you know, area codes or, you know, town names. Can I jump in there quick? Because now I'm seeing it, of course, now. Because for everybody at home, I'm very familiar with Rainbot's content. It's one of the primary ways that I've consumed GeoGuessr and learned about it. And I can We have a guess. And, and, oh, we have our first we have guess. A guess. So he probably didn't want to see enough info and didn't want his other opponent to try and find more. So we do have a guess here. I see. And Ziggy is on the clock to try and get a guess off as well. Two seconds left, one second left. Oh, and he goes relatively close. Yep, so they were center hedging there because they couldn't really find very much info. Okay, That's kind of a common it. strategy is just to click center. But, you know, it was a little more south. But I think we just go ahead and get right into the next, next yeah, round Yeah, run them off, run them Not off. To, uh, this will be a fun round too. Um, it should be a uh, USA. And we do have area codes kind of uh, spread sense. around here. 972, I did try and learn US area codes on Kilimanjaro. I did not learn this. You tried to do it on Kilimanjaro. But <laughs> Subtle flex, but okay. <laughs> Uh, keyword tried. <laughs> um, but let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, go straight into it. Uh, to go back to just quickly what I was mentioning before, I know Rainbow, Trevor's content super well, of course, a huge influencer for GeoGuessr. And I can already see that the pace with which you do things and make your content is very different to this competitive um, sort of structure that we've got going on where they're taking a lot more time to really try to pinpoint yep. almost exactly. Like when you said 100 meters, I was flabbergasted. So that's only in the moving games too. Okay. So when we get into no move or NMPZ, it's going to be a lot more probably instant sending, things like that. Yeah, okay. But I noticed we had on the, you know, on the sign here, we said something like Southwest. I don't think that, you know, infers technically Southwest US, but it could be Southwest of the state or something like that. But we're, you know, we're looking here. They're probably going to be looking for uh, area codes or a town name. We're in a very suburban Can number plates help on cars? Or are yeah. they blurred? They're probably blurred, blurred yeah, but sorry. some people have learned the blurred license plate colors. Oh, stop. So there, you'll see players like Chicago Geographer. He might, you know, he'll know what a blurred license plate looks like. Okay. And we, it looks like we had no front plate on that car, which maybe resembles more somewhere in the south. You, you get less... Uh, you don't have to have it legally there or something. Yeah, there's okay. less in the south. So this does look pretty... Uh, oh, here we go. It looks like... Maybe it, no, not a guess coming in. So what's he done there? He's brought up his mini map to be larger. Mm -hmm. Like, is there a reason why he would have done that at that point? Or I think just to get a guess down, maybe in case it times out, he doesn't realize he at least has something on the board. That's or he's just kind of just you know clicking. No trespassing. Don't go in there, Scrapero. We no trespassing. <laughs> yeah. So this is. Oh, we have an adopt a highway sign. The, the adopt a highway signs are if they, if there's a. Oh, we have one guess by Ziggy in Texas here. It does look pretty Texan, and so I actually do like that guess. It looks like. Both players might be in Texas here, so we have one going Fort Worth there, Fort mm. Worth, Dallas. Ziggy just slightly out, moving his map in confusion, it looks like there. He doesn't know. He doesn't like that. He's communicating to it us. It was just a... Oh, roll. wow! They've done a, a great that's job a, there. Yep, great guess. And that's Ziggy's losing 500 points. So right now we have no multipliers. So, okay. so once we get to kind of... Uh, we're going to wait to start this next round yeah, off we're gonna wait. by the way, but please continue with your point. Yeah, so right now, if you guys don't know, uh, we're, the qualifiers, or not the qualifiers, but the multipliers go, they get exponentially bigger, so you lose more points. So that 500 points could have been, you know, life or death yeah. in like five more rounds here. And Trevor, so. please don't be afraid at any point if I say something ridiculous, just shut me down. Because like that for me, it looked like Scrapero made an amazing guess. It he looked did. super close. So that was the That was okay, a great cool. guess. Yeah, because he was just right outside the metro, you know, in the metro yeah. region there. And Ziggy's guess was just as good there too. Yeah, so. we can get this third round underway. By the way, all right, let's we do it. Let's just start. We do have Portuguese poles here mission. and Portuguese roofs. I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil too much. I just want to get right into it. Um, but basically, these poles right here, uh, you can see it's kind of like ladder poles. Uh, these are very common in Portugal, France, and Spain. Maybe we could be in Spain or something like that. But you get these holes more commonly on the pole in uh, Portugal. Okay. So, I'm assuming. Um, I look at that straight into a signpost. Yeah. So they're they're way more experienced at getting info a lot quicker. But I'm trying to see if we can see a license plate here. And we do have the yellow strip um, on the license plate. Yeah, you guys can can't see, see that it. on my screen. Yeah, but so that's, uh... that does confirm we are going to be in Portugal. And of course, you have Portuguese on the sign there. So that's always helpful. Um, I don't think any player here has an advantage in Portugal. 
Um, you, you, you'll see some players main, I guess, a different country. So they're like, oh, I'm very good at region guessing in France. But, you know, Portugal is such a small country, people don't really try and learn it. But right now, Dzigi's like sort of placed his mark down multiple. He's kind of going, it looks like he's kind of tracking along a specific road there. Is there a reason why he'd be, he, they'd be doing that? Like putting it down and moving it? It's like he... Yeah, so he has info on that sign right there. So he was like scanning for the, the town name, okay. uh, just placing his marker around. But um, he, it was probably too small to show up on the map pretty um, probably looking right now for a bigger uh, city. So that's what they are currently doing and moving. It looks like they've gone separate directions too, which is always interesting to see kind of how they move and mm -hmm. how quickly. Um, and look, he's speeding. He's, he's going fast. So he's quickly looking for information. The thing you don't want is long roads with no information. That's the word. Yeah, then you're just winding your clock down without getting in any information for it, right? Yep. And it looks like Ziggy is uh, going to be just staying at this intersection. He's confident enough that he might have enough info here. So there we go. Placement down. I guess yeah. double checking. Yeah. But like I again. mentioned, you know, Portugal not really going to be that devastating of a of, of a round here because it is kind of a smaller country. You know, when you get into like the Russias or the Australias, you're much more likely to guess on the wrong side of the country. Yeah, are there, are there some countries which are just like exponentially more difficult than others? For instance, you're saying Portugal is... Oh, we have a guess in. Oh, we, we have a guess locked in now. Yeah, I, I mean, it depends on who you ask. Indonesia, it's notoriously big, but it's kind of learned now. And so many but islands as well, right? Looks like Ziggy's going max north here. Looks like he might think... We'll see, but yeah, lots of islands. Ziggy found the... There we go. Oh he my! Found, found the, Quite literally! Yeah, 499. Almost on top. 385. That is a great guess by Ziggy. He found the town that you could see when they zoomed in. You could see the, t the, the sign that he saw, the town he saw on that sign. So he did have enough information there. I'm not sure <laughs> if Scribe Hero saw that. That is absolutely incredible. And we're going to be back in the States. So we could see some, uh, some interesting uh, points here, depending on how good each German here is good at guessing in the U.S. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it again. I do think this will be somewhere in like the Georgia, South Carolina region, but it is moving, and we could see some inf information. Let's let's see what we do, see what we got. Yeah, Trevor's taking a look on his observer screen whilst you've got the feeds of both players on your screens. He, Trevor, what do you see there? Is that slow sign anything or no? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Ziggy's looking at yeah, it as well. Yeah, Ziggy's looking at the slow. I mean, no. <laughs> okay. It, I mean, it, it looks pretty general U.S. I, I feel like maybe some people could think this is Canada, but the the thing that makes me think it's gonna feel like the southwest or southeast region. Uh, it's kind of like in the beginning, it looked like there's kind of sand on the side of the roads or like these southern pines on, this, on the... Brazilian on the, dirt. Brazilian dirt is... Uh, <laughs> this is obviously very different from Brazilian dirt, brother. That's one of the only memes that I know right now. <laughs> Mongolian but, grass. We'll get, oh, Scry's okay. guessing. Where did Scry guess? I'm not sure what state he's in, but... We will see. Yeah, we will see. And then now a guest coming in for Der Ziggy. Ziggy's going in. Well, there we it go. was Arkansas. Wow, Ooh. and those... That's, uh, my, that's my home turf. Is that actually your home turf? <laughs> yeah, home turf. Arkansas, Arkansas. Gala some... Creek Lake, is that where you spent your childhood? Um, every summer. Yes, yep. firing the, the, the boat across <laughs> Gala Creek Lake. Nice. I will say, this is... A, a this very, is definitely the UK. This is definitely not the UK. Oh, stop. Yeah, you're, you're quite literally in the exact opposite part of the world here. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be in New Zealand, and Ziggy is known. He has the New Zealand world record. Okay, New Zealand and world record. So, let's just start. Ziggy... Just get it going. If we had a live cam on Ziggy, you would see a very relief here but we do have the yellow dash outer lines here that's a good but they do have an ireland they do not have those in the uk but yeah. but yeah Tre trevor bring bring this back to the for someone like me the, the very basic top three things that you should be looking out for when you when you when you load up on a map yeah so immediately road lines telephone pole signage the first thing ziggy looked at here is the sign on the pole okay. or the sign on the pole because in new zealand different parts of new zealand and he might know the city because each sign in new zealand has a specific design on the city that he feels pretty confident, in, so he's instant sitting yeah, there. Yeah, the Ziggy has just gone and it looks in like hard right. fast. Might might know it too. He's in the right region right now. He, if he, unless he goes up to Auckland, not sure. Oh, he stayed his marker down there, and Ziggy, like I said, getting close. Only yeah, 50 points. The Ziggy is so close. We're going into 2x. Like I said, he knew that because of the because of the uh, the sign on the on the pole. That's a different design for every. Uh, Every, 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 most, most regions in New Zealand, I should say. And as but, you just point out, that, that damage multiplier is starting to tick up, right? It's getting, yeah, so we're at 1.5x damage now, or potentially 2x. And this is, uh, we're going to be in Argentina here. Oh. We can tell because of the black dot on this uh, license plate here. <laughs> black? Uh, yeah, I'm no, trying to, yeah, let's yeah. see if, the, the, so there's a the, red. The players are probably going to zoom in on the license plate very soon here, okay. just to confirm. Then let, yep, there you go, on Ziggy. 
So basically, he's just confirming that this is Argentina and not Uruguay, because Uruguay has similar, you know, feel and stuff. What, it, so. what, what was the black dot? What, it, what is it? It's just like a separator? Yeah, like it's a like a black bar. That's And Ziggy's... Who just... Scrypera's in. Let's see. He... You know, I don't that know how Scrypera... Fast. That's fast. And that know, we're is playing fast. moving, so they... they, they they don't want the other player to get. Uh, they're both in the very similar areas. They well. all. I like the, I like both of these guesses here. I feel like they're probably gonna be close. It was just wow. North of Cordoba there. Scrypero. Scrypero. And look at how points. So close. 1,200 points. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I see. So these damage multipliers are a big deal. You really want to be honing into the spot as close as possible because otherwise yeah. you're losing a lot of points. Exactly. Let's see what we got here going into the next round. It, immediately when I see these like bars across, I, I think of Russia. Uh, these like exposed bars. But um, probably gonna be rushed here. But let's see. Let's just see what, where the players right. immediately go in. I don't want to spend too much time. We've got Rainbolt's prediction that it's going to be Russia. I it's... was like not, you know, you know. I could always, of course, tell you exactly where it is, but you know, suspense. You know? Okay, yeah. I see. So yeah, some that's... nice. So sometimes you're gonna be playing it up to the camera. I like that. Keep the things exciting. Yeah, that's exactly why I, I'm not, you know, per participating right now. We do have Sirlik on that sign there. Um, it looks like we might have Gen Four coverage by Scribe Hero there, so he might have moved into new coverage, which would, nope, we still have Gen 3. But, so basically Gen 3 coverage is when you have the antenna, or like a lesser quality... Of television, or...? Lesser quality street view coverage, so it's a... Oh, I see! So basically, oh, wow. Gen 4 isn't in Ukraine versus Russia, so that's a big sign. Zooming in on a plate there uh, by Ziggy, probably confirming there's no blue strip on the Russian plate. And he's going southern uh, Russia there, Scribe Hero is, which I, I, I probably a good guess. I'm not the Russia, I'm not that guy pal on Russia, so. <laughs> that guy, trust me, Yeah, you're not that guy. It looks like Ziggy is going in a slightly more north, so we could see big points here. And Skrypero, oh, wow. what a guess, just outside the Ukraine border. That's incredible. He's picking up 3300. Oh wow, oh, okay, the Ziggy points. needs to make a move, everybody at home. Let's, let's hold on this for a bit. Mm -hmm. I, again, play it however you yeah. want with how much you describe, but. G give us some details on what you're seeing here, and um, maybe expectations where the players might end up, or who might have an edge. I don't know. If that's yeah, possible. yeah. So immediately we have Gen Four coverage. I, I, I assume we're going to be Malaysia. I actually don't. I, 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 that's just my immediate first thought here. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, what we are going to be Malaysia. We do have a black and white uh, sign on the on the uh, on, on the on the bottom of the sign here, which will confirm we're going to be Malaysia. And we do have info on the sign. I think we just start. Let's go. Let's do it. Ziggy has one. And we, okay. The Ziggy's got one chance here. I don't think he ha will be able to lose on this because we do have Gen 4 okay. coverage, and that's only found on mainland Malaysia and not the Borneo part of Malaysia. Okay. So. Scrapiro zooming in. Yeah, he's it, he's made, 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 gone to Malaysia and he's, he's got a he's on, now. He's on mainland. Yeah. Um, so, and Ziggy did find information first, which is kind of really. Oh, he's big. straight in. So there is a lot of new Malay. We also have double white road lines right there, which is more common in Malaysia versus like in Indonesia. Mm. It's, so you can find them in both, but it's a good sign. The, both players obviously are going to know we're going to be in Malaysia, especially on moving. So this will be, uh, and specifically mainland, which is a smaller territory. So it's going to be- The Ziggy looks point. directly down there at the, at the, at the road so, itself. So what Ziggy's doing there is he's lining the road up. So you can see we have the compass oh. and you put directly north south. So what he's doing there is trying to find the, the road angle to find the exact highway. And it looks like they both probably found enough information that they're trying to line up the road right now. Yeah. Because they're both in the same. Um, I mean, scri scri okay, there we go. And... It was not. It was more northeast. It but was more northeast. Only, uh, Ziggy's only picking up 140 points there, so... Not too bad, honestly. Okay, but yeah. St does stay alive. He's still holding on. And what, what Ziggy is looking for right now is a big country. Oh, uh, well, well, he's looking for a big country. He's looking for a big country because what he needs is one good guess to knock 5,000 points since we're in the, the higher multipliers yeah, right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be pretty... He's going to be pretty excited, I think, to see this round right and what, here. And what are you seeing here? What did you see just there in your observe mode? What Rainbow? I see right here is... Brazilian dirt. Brazilian dirt! We've got it! I think. Ladies and gentlemen, confirm. everyone at home, this could be it. We do. It looks like it's going to be Northeast Brazil. I would oh, assume. there we go. I Northeast, and, and you've, you've said that, and Scrapera kind of started looking around that there area. There is a five-minute delay, I will say. No. Um, we also have Brazilian poles here, which is a... Which is a very, uh, it kind of looks like a the ladder pole that we see. But this it looks like one of those roads that might not have very much information. You might have to drive for a while. So we I might mean, see a. Because these roads to me, I'm, it's just, I look at it and it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a road in the middle of like lush green. Like I, I don't, I guess I can see those telephone poles. I wonder, is there specific things there? It's incredible how people like yourself and these competitors just are yep. so. Ziggy on is point. And, and Ziggy, oh. They're in completely different parts of Brazil. One person is going to pick up a lot of points here if Scrypera stays. 
like a lot. We have three seconds left on the clock. Three seconds left on the Someone clock. Someone wins Scribero, here. if he stays a there. One it was in oh. Rima. No one's going to win, I don't think. Yep, no one's winning. Wow. It was Rima. Usually in Rima, the reason no one went wow. Rima there is because usually you have this thing called Rima Hills. You can see in the distance. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure they, I didn't see any Rima Hills in the distance. So that was a pretty hard location, in my opinion. But wow. Does Ziggy staying alive, everybody? Yes, in this next round. Will be, will be very fun. Um, it should be Thailand here. Thailand's notoriously known for not being very good at region guessing because it's, uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of, kind of RNG. It's also an I'm area that you recently traveled to, right? Yes, a month yeah. ago. Even though I've, I've been there and seen my own eyes, I still have no idea where to guess okay. if I get Thailand on a, on a, on a round. And uh, you can see we're also driving left here. I think, I, can, I think we can see some big points here. 3.5x right. damage. What do you think? Well, whenever you're ready, let's get it let's under it. way. Quadruple damage. Ziggy needs a pretty good guess here, and he needs Scrap Hero to blunder. The thing about this is both both players are going to get the, the country. It looks like Scrap Hero is immediately going to the peninsula, which would make sense with all the palms or like the, the trees. Also, commonly in the in the in the south south there, you do get these insulators or these like snake traps on the pole. Did Scrap Hero? Ziggy just guessed East Thailand. Scrap Hero is in the peninsula. This will be massive points, assuming someone gets a close guess here, because they're completely different regions of Thailand. So if, if Ziggy's closer, he could pick up a win. I think that's win. probably the Here we go. one of the fastest guesses we've seen Ziggy make. And so I would assume. Describe. Oh, wow. He's, he's going to win it. That'll, that's game. On Thailand. That is game, everybody. Scrypero is our winner. I was thinking that because the Ziggy kind of looked confident, went in relatively fast compared to his other guesses, that maybe it would swing. But no. No. It's Scrypero that comes out on top. Scrypero. And, uh, you know, he played really well. You know, I don't think really any blunders from any any person there. Like I said, Thailand's not that easy to region guess. So the East East Thai guess there isn't really like something he can hold his head over, especially without the insulators and things like that. So especially under the pressure. How do you think you would have done in that match if you were playing, you know, in a, in a triple threat across the, each scene that we saw, each map? Um, it's a lot easier to say not under pressure. <laughs> like I was able to sit here, and be like, you oh, on the spot. This here. is this is like Rainbow. you know, yeah, you know, it's easy to be like, oh, that guess, that's a good guess. I yeah, that yeah. guess. Um, I probably would have lost. Yeah. Okay, yeah. These players are these players are pretty good. But so. in terms of like the maps that we saw, how tough were they? Like, could they have like had a, like a harder time? Could they have had an easier time? There wasn't any specific location where I don't, I don't think it was viable for a person to blunder a country. Yeah. Like everyone, each one of those country guesses were pretty standard. Uh, so it's not like you'd see like someone going New Zealand on you know UK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't see that, you know. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut you off there because I'm gonna look for some friendship right now, Peter. I hear you're up in the war room with some updates for us on the matches that we weren't watching on our stream. What's been going on, brother? I've been following the match between Lenly and Tilko Olympia, and it's been it has been an intense one. We have some uh, clips here for okay. you. Okay, amazing. Yeah, let's, cool. let's bring those clips up. How's it been playing out? Has it been some back and forth action, Peter? It has been an intense game. It, it's lasted more than 12 rounds. Wow. Some really impressive guesses there. Here we can see Lenly aligning the road, uh, making a guess in uh, Estonia, uh, which was a very close one, almost a perfect score. Wow. Wow. Very, we, we, we also all had like one off a perfect score mm -hmm. in, in ours. Yeah, yeah that was a, a Ziggy Portugal. He did get close. Yeah. yeah here the next next round we have a uh, 5k. Wow. Lindley got a 5k. He found a, a sign in Ooh. Switzerland. Lindley woke up and said, put me in coach. He, he's <laughs> making some really impressive guesses. And Ooh. here uh, this is the winning round where he won uh, against Tilko uh, with also a very, very close guess right here. Wow, Lindley. Winning Lenley on his, is, winning on his own country. bringing his A game here for sure. GG's. Lin the man. Len the man. So why do you guys call Len the man Linley? I think that's his, it's his full name. It's Linley. Okay. You know, his nickname, Len the man. No. So yeah, that, that's, that's from me. Back to you in the studio then. Peter, thank you so much. Great to check in with you in the war room. Yeah, so far then, both of our games have been pretty electric. That was, I, I'm, you know, Linley put on a performance there. I'm kind of, you know, a little FOMO there because that looked like a great game. But, um, yeah, wow. That's uh, expected for Lindley, though. He's a great player. Yeah, due to how the point and scoring system works, um, can you give me sort of prediction? Do you imagine that in, in some of our matches today, or any of our matches, we might see huge swings, like big, epic comebacks? I'd love to see that myself. So the, I think where we see those the most are going to be in the no move in NPC games. Because when you're, when you're moving, it's easy to get more information to get a better guess. In those no move in NPC, one wrong continent guess, and 
you, you, your five guesses before that that are really good mean nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's, we're going to see those once we get into the later games. Um, so it'll be pretty exciting. Yeah, we've got about a minute left before we jump back into the action. Trevor, is there anything else going through your mind right now that you'd like to share? Any expectations or how's the experience so far being on camera? Actually, that's what I want to ask because you're, you're just you, yeah, you yeah. and Peter are doing a fantastic job just settling in, sharing your thoughts, and I think having a good time. It's completely different than anything I've ever done. I'm entering your world, you're entering mine. <laughs> this is. Uh, I think you're, you're doing a much better job than me entering my world. Like me trying to make sense of this is very tough. Yeah. It, it seems like you're all so knowledgeable and you're slotting in very nicely into the broadcast, mate. You're, you're, you're even starting to, you know, drop in some comedy, some quips, and like, that's awesome, mate. No, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's way different than being behind the webcam, you know, <laughs> and like, uh, I don't know, like a hotel room chair. So this is uh, it's exciting though. I'm honestly just excited to see these players compete. Like even seeing Lindley, you know, like going against Olympia, that's a, I'm excited to see more of the matchups we have going on going forward. But two Germans so far, picking up the dub. Yeah, absolutely. And now everybody, we can get back into the action. It's time for the Ziggy Scrapero part number two, round two, map two. What, what's the, is there official terminology for this? Like um, game two or? Game two, let's go with it. Let's go with it. We, we, we can make it up. It's whatever we want now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Game two, everybody, between Der Ziggy and Scrapera. And this is best of three in this group stage. This is definitely the UK. This is New Zealand. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. All right. Well, let's, you, can, you, can, you can take this one away then. No, okay? I'm not no it's, it's, it's UK. It's UK. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What you actually want me to... I, I, let me just say from here, this yeah, looks yeah. like something... He is, he, you are from the UK for those I'm going to just know. say, like, uh, Brighton. There we go. Let's start the round. All right. Let's start All right. right. Brighton. I, I can't do better than that. I see a petrol station. Like, um, I'm now, like, in the observer mode, sort of looking around. Yeah. And for those that might, might, be, uh, might be confused, uh, it says a best of three format. So. Yeah. It's a best and, of three. And this game is no move now. So, so this is no move. Okay. Yeah, so you, won't, you won't see as many great guesses because they're not, they, they won't. Z is going into uh, or Scrapper. It looks like he he zoomed in there to maybe Isle of Man or one or Jersey. I get I didn't get to see which one he zoomed in on. Okay, some zooming in on like a parking notice. I did see him go to an island, but yeah, usually I think on Isle of Man you get red strip on it's, the on the plate. It's, so it's so funny to me because it all it just looks like you know a generic British city that could be anywhere, and I'm trying to see like if I can pick up anything that sticks out, but to me those look like traffic lights where I'm from, from London. Like, oh, it looks like we might have a... Like I know that, like for instance, it's, it's weird, like I know that this wouldn't be London, which is like what, where I know the back of my hand, but beyond that, I can't tell you where it, I know, and I know it's the UK, but beyond that, I don't have any... I will say, I did just look on my screen here, and I did see an Isle of Man plate on the on this car right here. You can see, uh, I don't think those like are orange see, but we do have a little red. Okay, kinda, red, yeah. Uh, that would signify that we are gonna be on the Isle of Man, which I think both players here do recognize, so it's not Brighton, but <laughs> uh, I was just saying things. All well, right, it, it could have been, could have been. I love Matt. So that's that's the main tell so far from the number play where you can see the little red thing. Yeah, and you also get uh, this is kind of a meta play, but more Gen Two coverage in Isle of Man. Um, and it's yeah. I, I wasn't able to ask this before, but can you tell the difference between like Gen One through Four where just from image quality, or is it like how are you able to tell that it's? Yeah, it's kind of the image quality saturation. Okay. But yeah, so you're kind of looking at it's one of those things like you've seen it around 10,000 plus times. It's yeah. become second nature, but there's also tells on the actual screen with like, you know, blur or like the co the color of the Google car itself. But we do have both. Wow, yeah. We do have both guesses slip very close here, so we we won't see any. any uh, We're on the Isle of Man in a village or small suburb of Onchan. And Scrapero is trying to narrow it down even more. And oh my word, he's a couple streets away, a couple blocks. Not a 5K though, kind of an L plus ratio. I mean, you, you know, you want to get closer to 5K, just kidding. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, uh, yeah. No, it's uh, <laughs> You could say anything, I'll just be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah this is, uh, you know where we are here? Uh, T E, would it be Arkansas or? Yeah. 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 So yeah. this is what we call bait. <laughs> oh, is that actual no, bait? Yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, no, you, you've like double baited me there. Yeah, no, this, this, is this, is this is Arkansas. You trolling me? This is Arkansas. Yeah, so it's you know you're gonna be Arkansas when it says Texas. Bro, <laughs> you could you could literally say anything to me no, right no, now. I'm just gonna buy it. It. <laughs> just, just sending me down. <laughs> yeah, this, this will be Texas. We have Texas pavement here, actually. This is so when this you get this, uh, this is uh, if you were playing like this, I I, yeah. I bet both players could guess the state off this. 
Just from the pavement. I think so. From the from the road. We I, can't we can't start the round yet. By the way, we yeah, are yeah. waiting for. Well, I, I do start. see. I do see. And we do have enough information. We we could see a 5k here with the the 95 Texas. And, and a 5k is um is like terminology for where they get it spot on. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's er, er, so like within a couple. You know, maybe like 20 meters or I don't yeah, know the yeah. exact. But yeah. So this this is gonna be a pretty free round. I mean. Um, I'm not sure who's best at finding road names or things like that, or like road number numbering system in Texas, but I'm gonna assume they both take their sweet time to try and find something just to pick up as many points as they can here going into the next round. Okay. But we'll see. Here we've got the Texas 95. Is that yellow thing, like, is would that be, would that point anything out specifically, or is it? Um, no. Okay. I, I mean. So beyond, so right now, here, from what we can see, like other than that Texas sign, what are the, the, the you said the, the 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 road? What else here is like truly like definitive of a specific area? Yeah. So uh, if you see a massive pickup truck, <laughs> well, no. we know we're in America. Then, we know we're in America, yeah. yeah, or at least Texas. Yeah. Um, no, I mean j it, sometimes it's, it comes down to something we just call vibes. Vibes. It just looks like Texas, you know. Just All right. Vibe. So the, but, the the science of GeoGuessr is just vibes, you know. Yeah, it's like you know, it just looks like Texas. Okay. Or it looks like the South, but you know. It's funny because I've spent a lot of time in Texas, but if I didn't see that sign, I could just think this is anywhere in the in the South of the U.S. We also, if you see next to the sign that says, that has a Texas, you know. Oh yeah, you can actually it. see the yeah. This, uh, this thing right here it signifies you're gonna be in the U.S. It's a. Uh, uh, a bollard. What, it's not bollard. It's like a. It's a wire. Oh, I forgot what it's called. But these are only in the U.S. It's like a. It's like a Wi-Fi. But, that, but that's that something, or something. Okay, something to do with Wi-Fi. No, it's like a, it's. I don't. Know, I'm a fiber optic. That's what it is. Okay. Or fiber or something. Fiber. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But those are only found in the U.S. You won't find those in Canada. So yeah. if you're confused between the two, that's uh that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a good sign. But uh, also when it says Texas, that's a uh, that's also. That's the. That, I mean, literally. Like I said before, if, if that sign was there, I would I would be like, yeah, this is the south of the U.S. somewhere. But beyond that, I would be completely, yeah. completely lost. And even like when you have like a truck oh, like wow, this, yeah. you can't really trust. Should we call them right now? 1-800-GO-PENSKA. Yeah. The yeah, household yeah. and business rentals. And business rentals, yeah. yeah. Yeah, free advertisement for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not an official sponsor. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. no. If you just call them up and be like, hey, guys, where'd you drive your trucks? Yeah. That would be considered cheating. Don't do that. Yes, yes. Ziggy's currently calling them. I think I hear him on the phone. <laughs> That's what we're currently waiting on. Ziggy's. On <laughs> That's hold. why we have like a production de delay. Ziggy's like, yeah. oh, sorry, I spilled water on my keyboard. <laughs> Riddy's like on the phone to Penske okay. truck rentals. You guys happen to be near Texas anytime recently? <laughs> but, um, Everyone at home, the round is ready. Rainbow, whenever you are as well. Let's do it. Let's All see right, who let's sees go. Texas first. Yeah, let's see who sees Texas. They will both see it because uh, they're skilled. Straight away spins around Texas. Texas. There we go. Does Ziggy gets it first? We've got to zoom in on Pence. And see, as Ziggy immediately looks at the road there to line up the road. So yep. it is going pretty. I don't have it come to my screen, but it looks like it's going pretty north south directly. Um, so right now they're looking for 95. So uh, it's going to be, they're both going to find something close, I would presume. So this could take, you know, depending who finds it first, a couple of minutes. But it's. Um, if, I, if it were me, I would be instant sending because I, I'm not very good at scanning. And I'm gonna give my, my opponent as least amount of time as possible to find the highway. You, you'd be instant sending. Inst instant sending the guess. Oh, okay, instant sending. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or instantly sending down. Yeah, there's of course got to be like a whole meta around like how fast you try to go versus the risk of it being off and like based on if you're confident or not. Like, there's got, all those factors must play in like deeply into how th these matches play out. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Especially knowing, you know, Ziggy and Scry, they they're, they're friends. You know, it's like these uh, everyone in the community here is like they've played each other plenty of times. They know each other's play styles. Yeah. So um, they're definitely they're definitely playing with that. It looks like no one has found the road yet. Yeah, though. they really want to get this and as just, close as possible. Yeah, and just for context too, if Scry wins this game, he adv he advances. Or he uh, he he beats Ziggy in the in the round. I yeah. Say. Since we're in best of three, best if, of three, if and he Hero won game. wins round two, going through all these maps, then yeah. Dizzy will be going home, yep. so to speak, and Scrapira will be moving forward to knockouts. Yep. So I mean, Ziggy still could you know play other opponents in the group and uh, and, and find his way. He would just lose against Scry here, but Scry would have a one zero on his record here. Okay, it looks like they're yeah. still uh, they're still scanning, so it must not be that big of a road. Um, average uh, Texas road, I guess. Usually, you think you know maybe the big roads are even small. We so. had Houston up on the screen there. Scrapero still kind of lingering around Fort Worth and Dallas. Does he also, they're in quite similar areas right now, actually. Yeah, and so the thing about what, what 
spending this much time too is once you've dedicated this amount of time, you really want to get it. You're kind of committed. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of, you can't, it's like, you know. Yeah, like you call it back out now, yeah. right? So what we see is we'll probably go until someone finds the road, to be honest. Um, so uh, it's currently what we're waiting on, but. You Do know, we have a timer on this bit specifically? So the time starts when someone guesses. I see. So, you know, we can Has there ever been a match that's gone on like in Is there a match still going on now from five years ago? There might as well. There, there is a, <laughs> in one of my tournaments, we had a 30, like a 35 minute round. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to introduce you to the world of, uh, of like never ending esports productions and broadcasts. We have that sometime to Counter Strike. Yeah, it's, uh, it's overtime, not fun. overtime, it's not, it's overtime, not fun. overtime. You sit there and you're like, wow, this was a. Uh, is, yeah, it comes down with the NPC. It looks like oh, I guess it's come in there. there. Why Scry? And they're pretty close again. They're both kind of in that Dallas Fort Worth region. Mm. So it looks like I don't think I'm not sure if Five Scry, seconds. Scry isn't on a road. Uh, the, the, yeah, I don't think Ziggy's two seconds. Find it. Ziggy's got to pick something, and it is a bit further away. A bit further away than Ziggy's losing 180 points. Yeah. But right now, the points, the multipliers, not factoring too much. We saw the biggest swings when uh, that damage really topped up. Yeah, and you know, I'm sure they were glad to see that Texas sign, or we could have seen maybe some blunders if they missed the pavement or something like that. But um, yeah, round three here. Looks like we might have like you're, you're literally like an esports casters. Yeah, a caster. One of one of my my best caster friends from the UK, Henry G. His one of his iconic catchphrases is, "Oh, what a blunder!" And you just ripped out the word blunder. It's like. You were built for this, mate. I'm, I'm just, I'm just built differently. You'll, you'll built differently, mate. You um, are. So there is uh, information here. Okay, we've got. That could be bait. Madanzas plus Madrid. Yeah. It could be bait. Could be. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I think we can start the round and see. Let's get it. Let's get, keep it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. So, but the, 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 the implication here is this is. Presumably Spain. Yes, presumably Madrid. Let me do yeah. it Spanish. We do have, uh, you know, a European blue license plate. It could just be okay. Unless there's something that telling that it isn't Madrid. And uh, Sky started zooming in Brazil. There, kind of scared me. But he got there to Spain in the end. And um, are the maps just AI? Like it's just an AI that randomly picks location. Because this would, it's not like intentional bait. Like one of our devs upstairs yeah. has picked this spot. No, or, uh, not to spoil anything, but there could be. There oh, could be. see, okay. And they both didn't want to take the time, minimal points, and um, and only picking up six points there. So yeah, it's uh, they both saw Madrid. They both instant sent that because it's uh, they can't be asked to sit there and try and find the exact yeah. road. They both know they're going to instant send it anyways. And, and so that, that's a good, that's a good example or contrast to what we saw in the last round where they really wanted to spend the time. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're invested into it. Yeah, so that's just a senior capital guess. Yeah, but we are back in Brazil, so okay. we could see some big points. I know Ziggy. Both of them didn't really have that good of Brazil guess uh, in the previous game, so we could see maybe some potential. We do have some distinct hills here that maybe I don't think these are Rima hills. I think they're closer to probably north of uh, South Powell or something like that. But I think we just get into it. Let's get into it. I'm seeing Brazil. Well, I'm being told I'm seeing Brazil. Yeah. So if uh, a good indicator, if you want to learn, is we have these ladder poles. Okay, that's what what you mentioned. Before. So it's poles that are built so that you can climb up, and that's just the specific yeah, Brazilian thing. Yeah, the Brazilians thing. like to climb. They do. Um, and Spain and Portuguese and French apparently. Okay. And uh, Ecuador and a bunch of other. But the difference <laughs> is like the 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 the, uh, the length of this uh, the ladder. So it's like more space in between. Anyways, okay. and it's like painted white on the bottom. It's very Brazilian. I'm not sure. I wasn't looking. I, I do like both of their. Oh, we, the Ziggy. two guests have already come in whilst we've yeah. been uh, spitballing, and it's 400 points down goes Scrypero, and it was Ziggy kind of making of a bit of South a. Palo. You get those hills in that region right there. So. That's kind of was a tell there for that that yeah. region guess. Ziggy making some ground back, and I tell you what, on screen right now, that is New Zealand. I think we just let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I, I hope that's satire. I really do. I really do. Well, we'll just have to find out, right? All right, right, uh, Trev. Can I call you Trev? Uh, yeah, you can call me. What about Big T? T T Rain. Mr. T T Rain. T Rain. Oh, oh yeah. Um, T Rain. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's get let's let's look at this New Zealand round, shall we? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is not New Zealand. I know it's the UK. Is it? Yeah, it's a million. Are you sure it's not UK. Ireland? Oh wow, you're much better than me at this. Uh, uh, no, it's playing these it shouldn't, games. It shouldn't be. But the Ireland and the UK is a common 50-50. <laughs> this should be the UK. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like Sky's going back to the Isle of Man. Like I said, we do have the Gen Two coverage here, which is common. And I think it's England, though. Um, uh, maybe you could be right. Maybe we put you in. I think put yeah. me in, Coach. I think yeah. this is England. I think it's in the Devonshire area of England, Southwest England. But we we seeing Scry. Oh, Scry instantly sent Isle of Man. Yeah. Sent it. And he's, going, he's going, going Ireland. Ireland. But I mean, he's close to Isle of Man. It was Northern oh, Ireland. Wow. Okay. 
So, you know, it was technically, you know, United Kingdom, but... Oh God, I, I mean, I've, I've let myself down, but I've got to keep putting myself out there to get better. As Destiny's Child once said, what, what does it pick yourself up and try again? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm too young for that. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> my bad, my yeah. bad. All right, it was yeah, a song. That goes over my head. Yeah, right? yeah, it was a song. It's a song. It's a yeah. song. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, no big points there. Uh, yeah. Even though we did have a wrong uh, country, yes. It's, uh, Very even, 49, 26. Yeah, so once we get into these, and this should be another smaller country, I think we just get into it. Yep. Um, so what we have here is a yellow sign here that's going to be pretty distinct. Uh, jab. What is yeah, it? Say? Jab. Jibla uh, I'm not even going to try it. So Jiblanica. you can see what they both did. They immediately recognized it looked like uh, somewhere in the you know Balkans or something like that. But you, when you look up here, you see this in the in the sky on my screen? That's, uh, that's what we like to oh, call Oh, that's a black hole, isn't it? It's a black hole. And it's... It's, it's called a rift. Okay, it's a rift in the timeline. It's actually called a rift in the game. And okay, you, the you find those in Montenegro and Albania. I see. And what, 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 is there a reason for it? Or? It's, just a, it's just a glitch on the street you car. Okay, and that's also, specifically... In Montenegro, you, you, there's like a small, you know, cases here and there in other countries, but they're very common in Monte and Albania, and also Senegal and things like that. But when you're in Monte, they're more common in the northern part of Montenegro, which is where both players are kind of guessing here. Because they both know the rifts are more common north, and it was very north. Very close so. between our two competitors once again. I have to point out, by the way, you even have nicknames for countries. You, you short of Montenegro yeah, to Monty. Monty. You might hear an origins have Argentina. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the, there's there's some like it's just easier to say, you know. So sick. This will be a fun game. This will be a fun round. We're gonna be in Australia here, driving left with a long antenna on the. I'm just trying to see where I would go here. I don't but, know if that flag is like a, a state specific flag, but. Um, maybe Queensland or like it, I could even see like a uh, like a Darwin or something here. I don't know to be honest. It looks pretty tropical. It could be Wa, Western Australia. I know people from Western Australia don't like me saying Wa because wow. like WA is what you're supposed to say. Anyways, I think we just get into what it. What is it good for? Let's see. I'm not sure who the who who the you didn't the get that reference, did you? Wa. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. James Brown. Rush Hour. Do you know what Rush Hour is? The movie. No, I haven't seen Rush Hour. All right, back into the studio with this Hickey. This is a uh, script. No humbug. No. <laughs> no grog. grog. No humbug. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. I'm actually gonna look around here on my, on my on my end to see if I can find anything more distinct to like tell me where this is. So usually the poles in uh are different in uh like let's say uh, uh, northern territories because it's like it's a uh, metal. This isn't. I don't very see. I don't see any NT poles here, so I don't think we should be an NT. But um, let me know if a, if someone guesses here. I'm just going to kind of. We've got some roofing oh. zooming going in. So I do see with yellow poles on my screen. I'm a, I'm able to move around and be a little cheeto. Yeah. But this is no move now. Yeah, they're playing no move. This is no move. But this could be not Western Australia. It could be Queensland. I'm honestly not sure. I would probably go more Western Australia here if it were me. Looks like Ziggy's zooming into Queensland here. Not sure where Scry will end up going, but. This could be big points, and uh, depending on who, who makes 2. the 2.5 times damage. Yeah, and you know, like I was saying, Australia is uh, not not a tiny country. No, tiny it's country. absolutely huge. That is a fact I do know. Mm. That is a fun fact. I, I do think there's a fact that like, like, uh, like Tasmania is closer to like Antarctica than it is like Darwin or something. Oh, is it? That could be fake news. I I'm don't probably, know. I don't really want to spread misinfo, but that's, <laughs> we can we can run with it. <laughs> let's let's run with it. We're, we're gonna go with it. We, remember, we make the rules. Yeah, we're the we geography make, guys here. We, yeah, we exactly. Yeah. We are. It looks like both are guessing and Queensland you. Darwin. You know, I'm honestly not too confident on where I'd go here. I'm kind of. I did see a yellow pole, which makes me think it's more Western Australia. But I, you know, you find those other places as well. So. So the Ziggy's looking around Brisbane. Uh, this is a huge discrepancy here. That makes sense. And that's gonna, be gonna pick up Shapiro. a lot of points. Oh my god, Ziggy gets oi, 700 oi, points. Oi. So that was Western Australia, and that's why I was thinking more of uh, the southwest pocket there in Western Australia. But it was north near near Queen or near Northern Territory where I thought it might have looked geographically. But that Ziggy's was, what, that was almost was a, a one punch KO there. He took away like Australia. five K almost five K points. Yeah, but we're going into Japan here. And we have the this is where I think Ziggy and Striper both are very good at Japan. So I'm not sure what to expect. Okay. But um, I'm gonna start, and I'll t I'll talk about. Oh, we have plates. This is gonna be. This is. I don't know if both players know their plates. I know Ziggy knows his plates. I'm not sure if Scribe Hero knows his plates. I'm assuming he does. But we should start. And let's see if Ziggy can hold in in Japan. Everybody at home, once again, the Ziggy is on the back foot. We're gonna find out now. Does he know his plates or not? That's good. That's good. Ah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying my best. 
I hope he knows his plates. He he was trying so what to. Are, what what are these plates? So they these, are area codes. So notoriously, uh, and he zoomed right into the plates. So these are basically just like region distinct to the prefectures in in Japan. So it's uh, basically a new meta, and it looks like Scry instantly sent to where he thinks it is. So I'm assuming he knows his plates. I didn't see if he zoomed in on one. Ziggy is on the clock with seven seconds here. Seven seconds. Script has got a guess down. And the both pressure is on. Okay. Is that? No, Ziggy's enough? getting closer, so it's gonna be he's he's yeah. holding he's holding in there still. So Ziggy holding in. Ooh. And even just like a little discrepancy like that, it's a lot of points getting taken away. Does Ziggy can definitely be in this, but where are we now, Trevor? We're in what are what are their chances? Turkey. Turkey. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we have we have a lot of turkey clues here. Both cut oh, and we might even oh we do have information here that I will be interested in see if Ziggy tries we might see a, a Scribe Hero instance sent here to make sure Ziggy doesn't get a good five K and just eliminate him from seven hundred points. He only needs to be like I mean, on 3x damage or something like that. He doesn't need to be that much closer to eliminate Ziggy here, but because we have so much information. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of information. So many signs. So many blue signs. Blue signs. Yeah. Start. Let's get it going. I'm gonna Does be interested. Ziggy still on the back foot. Yeah, he's coming. He. I mean, he would have to. I, I don't know who has advantage here, and they're immediately zooming in on the signs. Obviously. They both obviously all know it's going to be Turkey and they're going to start scanning Turkey immediately. It's the question is, does Ziggy... Script gets in there quicker with the scanning. Does Ziggy shortly behind? Yeah. And so th these aren't that small of a, of a place names in Turkey. So I mean, they're going to they're gonna look for the 5K. Oh, Ziggy's, Ziggy's really going in. He's got him fast, he's, but he's not locked it in. He's locked it and in. And the guess. It looks come like, in. Looks like he might have found the 5K. Scrap here, I don't think, has found it yet. I'm assuming that might be a 5k. He might have found something that looks similar and just lined it up, but... Oh, five seconds, three, two, one, script, you've got to get it in. And he's closer, oh, and that's going to be... Oh, he's actually done it! Is that enough? Is that... It's not! Oh, wow. he has 117 points left. Oh, how often do we see that few points of HP left? It's not that common. Okay, so... I do see it, but... Does Ziggy's quite literally on as low he's... life as, as you'll ever see. His heart rate's at least 150 right now. Oh my! And Scribe Hero is sitting pretty, especially in a country like Colombia right now. Okay. Because it's a, uh, it's not, it's a one of those countries that Scribe Hero can win in, and there Ziggy can't. There's no world where Ziggy can win on this round right here. It okay. would, it would be, it would be an impossible so, to be almost. Just to give my perspective on this, so I see that like this would be quite difficult right now because this, it looks like sort of like a half pedestrianized, half car road, and I imagine that's quite difficult to pick out, but I don't know. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot of clues. We have. Uh, okay, we, I'm completely wrong again. <laughs> so I mean, it's very urban. So they're probably gonna pick a pretty populated city okay. in Colombia. We have yellow plates. We have the thing called the Colombian Cross, which is on the back of the sign. It's uh, the wow. Colombian Cross. All right. Yeah. Um, both players are gonna know this instantaneously with the white pole here as well on the yellow plates. We've got another company. We can be calling uh, them on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, let's. Uh, let's. Let's. We might hear Ziggy calling up again. Yeah. We'll see. But Skyper is going to be very happy. He sees this, and Ziggy's going to be like, "Ah, oh, dude, I hate my life." Yeah. So, well, here we go. Is Ziggy's fate going to be see sealed? Let's find out. Quadruple damage now. Even with a perfect 5K, Ziggy would not take out Scrib. It would have to be in the separate part. Scry would have to be in a very it, different part okay, of the country. Okay, yeah, he'd have to be super far I, away. We're on 4x damage. He, actually, Ziggy could pick up if he has a very good guess and Scry somehow blunders. And, okay. But so it would be a huge blunder if Scry didn't make if, it. Like, if Scry was smart and he doesn't want an instant... like Medellin. Where he's where he's zooming in right now is, is a very safe guess. It's kind of central. It's a big urban city. And it's probably, honestly, it's either there or, you know, the capital. And each person taking their own city here so we'll see which one's right. It's going to be one of those urban populated cities with how it kind of developed this looks. But we'll see. It depends. I'm not sure if they're looking for more information to see if it says a city name on a sign or an area code. I'm not sure if people know the area codes, but that's something that they probably are looking for now. And that's, the, that's a vape store there. That's a vape, vape store. Yeah. So those are only found in Southwest Columbia. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So this round we can see now. Like the cadence, the rhythm, they, they've slowed Scry's it in. down. Scry is in. And they're both in different separate cities. I don't oh. think if Ziggy's right and it's just capital, it'd be amazing if he gets many that points and just seeing the capital. That would be a comeback. But, I mean, it's not going to be that many points. He's just hoping he's right. He's right! Oh! So what, what, where does that put us? Not that much, but he's back. Oh, he's, okay. he's holding in. 2,500 to 117. Still chop that life bar down in half. Ziggy stays alive and does some brilliant damage. And this is, uh, let's see, let's see where we are real quick. Um, we, have, we have bollards. This is one of those countries that you probably, you know, it's not what you want. You're, if you're Ziggy right now, 
You're looking for New Zealand. He's very, very good in New Zealand. You're looking for... But you said this in the last round that Ziggy was in a tough spot as well, right? Yeah, yeah, and he did end up losing, so... But let's see what happens here. We do, we are going to, let's just start. Let's Z start. Ziggy lost the last round. In the, in the last game, I should oh, say. Oh, in the last game, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. yeah, last round. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. 4.5x, everybody at home. Once again, Ziggy just staying alive. Are there specific, when you're in that sort of position, where you've got such low HP, it, it, does it change your meta, like how you're playing? Yeah, you play safer. You, you play, play safer. safer, okay. Like, you saw Ziggy guess capital there. That's a very safe guess. And it ended up working out, but I think Scry knows he probably could have sent capital there, and he was like, but he knows that Ziggy's probably going capital, so he knows he can't win. Looks like Scry is in. Scry is in. Ziggy's off the clock. I'm not Ziggy sure Ziggy has 10 seconds. Ziggy's going Slovakia. His pulse is through the roof. Oh, they're like the right next to each other here. I don't know if... But will his Wait. guess follow oh my God, suit? So and it's close. just... Just a bit closer? And Ziggy stays in. Oh my, Ziggy is doing God's work right now. I can't believe this. I really counted Ziggy down and out like three... Uh, three rounds ago. Oh, we're gonna be in the Baltics. This is gonna be not... If Ziggy loses on the Baltics, this will be devastating. Okay, so he's like a Balkan Baltic, master. Baltic, but it's like such a, an unreasonable master. guess that he could easily lose 117 points here and, and uh, you know, he'd lose on a very small country. Okay. Let's see it. Here we go. When you're ready, Rain. There is information on the sign here. I'm not sure if it's going to be readable oh. from their from their position on no move here. Yeah. Well, they'll immediately both zoom in here, as you see. Looking for the language. We have They're bollards. almost doing the exact the same thing. The bollards tell immediately what country you're going to be in. So it's um, those bollards, the white bollards that are sticking out of the ground. Or, yeah. Or so there's like different you know designs for each Baltic country and things like that. Yeah. These are you know as you can see here Estonian. You do see uh, more common double vowels in Estonian language or things like that. But the bollards here are the kind of the most. You also have a bus stop. Those bus stop signs are are distinct to each uh, Baltic country. Telephone poles, things like that. But I honestly don't know what what you do here if you're uh, are those not Estonian bollards. Because Scry is, oh, Scry is just zooming into to, to the border of Latvia there. Border of Latvia. So this is a... Uh, Where Peter upstairs hails from. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Riga. Shout uh, out to Riga. And Scry is zooming into Finland here. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know. These. Finland? It looks like he was in Finland. I actually don't know. Okay. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of a... Uh, we'll see where we'll see where we end up. Yes, we will. It Both players like are taking their time here. Could be. Meticulously going through the details. Ziggy now has placed down a marker. Not uh, I wonder where Ziggy is. I kind of lost focus there. But this is a. It's it's not a very big country, regardless, unless it is Finland. I actually don't even know that um, that you're gonna lose. A, you're gonna you're gonna you have to be closer, even by like a mile. You're gonna lose if you're Ziggy here. So Ziggy, it's really now do or die. Yeah. And it's it's interesting that no players guessed yet. It looks like they're zooming in for the information. I'm not sure if it's readable from their screen. They're looking for the, the road number there, um, so. Where is the road number? On that blue sign right in the middle? Yeah, in the blue, you can see like the E. Okay. There are the 6-4 E67, and Patkula is 258. There's two uh, by 258, it looks like. I yeah, can't see if they're, in, if they're anywhere near each other at the moment either. Yeah, they're just Tarling. scanning. Okay, so. so Ziggy's still in Estonia. I'm assuming both are gonna still be somewhat close. It's always devastating to go out on the wrong country, guess. Yeah. It looks like... You'll looks feel like, like you've let yourself down. Yeah, and it's always, especially on 1v1, it's 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 a... This is also a common thing is a lot of people, you know, the first thing you learn in GeoGuessr is bollards. But it's also okay. the, la the the first thing you forget because you stop relying on them because they kind of become pointless in some, in some scenarios. So it's a very easy to mix up some Baltic bollards or some, you know, the Finland and Estonia, especially with new Generation 4 coverage. So I'm not sure what we'll see here, but both taking their time. Ziggy is kind of hoping on for a, a plunk and, a, and a, a prayer here, to be honest. But yeah. if Ziggy did it, it would be an Contact. insane comeback. Oh, yeah. In our first match here on the stream of the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier, I can feel the tension a bit, you know? I can feel how meticulously these guys are going through the map. This surely is our longest round yet. Yeah, and it's because there's so much stakes. Scry there's so much here. on the line here. Scry could lose Scry here. This is, yeah, like, depending on, of course, like, uh, the discrepancy between them, like, this could swing either way, but it would be so huge if Ziggy was able to pull it off. And Scry's still in Finland. 
Is he going back to Estonia? I think he's going back to Tallinn, back to Estonia. You know, I don't see this being Finland with these telephone poles. They look way more Baltic to me, but I, I, I could be wrong. Looks like he might be back in Estonia now, though. He, he had his, his, uh, his moment of clarity, I guess. But okay, so this this changes things if he's back in Estonia. Ziggy lining up the road there, he's using the you compass. You know, sometimes Ziggy looks like he knows what he's doing. I'm not sure he does, but you know, the key in life is to just act like you do, you know? Sometimes when you're running out of ideas, you've got to try to make any play possible, right? Yep. Especially when you're in a situation like Ziggy, backed into the corner, the Tigra of Scry going at you, you know? Yeah, with the, 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 the beard. This is a, yeah, like I said, this is a, I mean, with, what is this, 5X multiplier? Yeah. You could lose. Scry could lose on Estonia, to be honest. If it's like north and he gets it south or something like that. He could very well lose. I think he thinks he's found the road, I think, from looking at how he's playing right I mean, now. He, he has. He's, he's locked it in. He found a road that he thinks looks close enough, at least. And Scry's not that far away, but maybe far enough. If Ziggy has a 5k here, that will be amazing. Because he looks Scry a lot more actually went Scry. further away there. Doesn't look well. like Scry has a 5k. We'll see. Ziggy oh found the my god! He found the 5k! No way! He's done it! No! Oh no! Scry's still in it! Oh, Scry's still in it, but it gets closer! Ziggy oh was on god. top there! Oh 109 meters. He's done it. But he's, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Everybody is, at home is clinching right now. But, Clutching uh, up Ziggy, doing God's oh work. Oh my God. This is going to come down to the country we're in right now. This, you're like certain this will be the final round. No. Okay. I see, I, sorry. I misunderstood what you said. But, but it could be. It's, I'm not certain. Though. It could be. Like we're at a point now where it's anyone's game. So to speak, it's it's each it's round is anyone's on, game on what five point five or like whatever multiplier we're on. Yeah, we're on five at the moment. Yeah, twelve hundred points. Like this is you're you're hoping for an end of prayer. Like both players here on no moving. I don't see any like we're gonna be in Sweden by the way. If you guys didn't oh, pick up on that, we are at home in oh, Sweden. Oh, we got information. Ooh, Svanesson. Let's start. And they Torf. might scan for a while. I don't even know where those are. We are gonna be Sweden. Fun fact: this uh, this white car don't. Quote me on that, but there should be a southern Sweden car. So this white. Oh yeah, you can see like the ghostly this visage. White, this uh, this white part should indicate you're gonna be in the southern oh, Sweden part. Oh, Ziggy's going straight in, right now, in uh d in Denmark. No. No, in Sweden. Yeah, in Sweden. Sorry, yeah. around the south of Sweden. Yeah. So they're both gonna be looking for the 5K here. So we might be uh we might be best friends here for a little minute. We'll see. <laughs> Producer we'll saying mean things in my ear. I'm gonna <laughs> pretend I didn't hear them. Uh, was it a, a Danish? He was Sweden? mocking me. Let's just leave it at that. We can talk about it later in the show, okay. Trev. Big okay. T. Yeah. T Rain. Yeah, so they uh this is uh this is Sweden. This is Sweden. Uh, and we do have the dashed outer lines here that indicate Sweden. So I mean uh, obviously all players competing here are gonna know that and they are in the south. So I don't know what the strategy here is. Do they scan for the small Swedish village? Who just guessed? Screw. Sky's guess. Oh, yep, and they're Sky so has close. Guessed. Oh, they are so, so close, close to each other. I don't. Oh my God. Oh my. Wait, Ziggy. Ziggy's dotting around. You've only got five seconds left, buddy. You better be quick. Who's closer? He's so close. He's going farther. He's going farther. Farther away. Oh my God. He's closer. Oh, he's closer again. And 5.5 x damage. Where does that oh leave us? Oh my God. They're both still in it. Off. This game is insane, dude. Yeah. Is this like common at all in these battles in the competitive? Dude, like a uh, landscape of, of GeoGuess, do you see matches go like this? You see some, it's rare. But it's rare, so we're getting a treat right we're getting, now. We're this getting is a, a privilege for everyone involved. Especially these, these two high-level players, especially the stakes on this game right Z now. Z Z Z Ziggy's been like sub-1k for like... He's clutched. He's clutched. For so long. He's, uh, and honestly, I don't even sub know five. where we are right now. I think this looks like France or something, I don't know. Somewhere in Europe, this could be big. Don't look at me for help, man. I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> uh, that's actually, yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got green, we've got dirt, like we're, we're moving around right now, maybe to show that the audience at home a bit. Like, yeah, I'm just and they're not going to be able to move. No, they're they're playing no move. I'm kind of I'm, I'm cheating right now. I think we start and let's get. Into let's it. just start. Like, look, you guys can see at home. Like, this is just fields and fields, dirt roads. Six x damage, Ziggy and Scry. Both lives are on the line. And we do have architecture in the distance, but might help. Oh, I yeah, would probably yeah. go. I my in my humble, like washed up opinion, I would go France or like Czechia or something. But maybe this could be new generation for Germany coverage. I haven't really looked at that yet. Don't really know what that looks like. So I'm kind of a I'm kind of a noob right now in this round. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not sure what we'll see from the players here. Probably better skill level uh, or gameplay than myself here. We could see a blunder though, which would make it very exciting to see a wrong country guess in the the final round here on round 14, which is like uh, not that 
short. That's very long for these games. You mentioned when it seems like so when you're in a tough position, you're going to play it safe. Do you assume in this position, Ziggy and Scry are both going to play it safe? They're both going to commit, I think. I don't know if you play it safe at, the, at this level. Um, if this is new Gen 4 oh, Germany... Wait, Scry is going is, into Germany. Oh, he's switching no, to Slovakia to check it. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he's back to Germany. Scry doesn't know. I think he's indicating to the viewer that he might think it's one of the three there. He is. He's communicating. We love that. Yeah. He's joy he's like kind of helping the broadcast on. He's so in the story. Or he could just be baiting us and he obviously knows <laughs> this is Slovakia. Oh, he's back in Germany. He's confused. Back in Germany. I do like the and look, we have two Germans, and Ziki's going to Germany too. Yep. So I would assume this is new so context. Germany Gen 4 just got released and Scry's oh, in. A guess in by Scry. And they're so close. And they are very, Again. very close. But who is closer? Oh my on German. On Germany, on two Germans. Ziggy's Who going is further sharper? Away. Ziggy, you've got two seconds. Oh! oh my god! It was Austria! No one should be out there, surely. Oh my god, we're going on to round 15. We are going on to round 15. Peter said that the match that he was following went 12, so we've blown them out of the we, water this now. Is a, this is, this is, uh, I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat, dude. And this is going to be a fun round. I don't know immediately where we are, to be honest. I'm kind of just like, well, I just want to, I just want to play and just see what happens because this is getting insane. Let's do it. Make it rain. Oh, we have a. You like that? I had that one in the back pocket. Make it rain. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Is it a rainbow reference or? <laughs> what, what else would it be a reference? For? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Make it rain. All right. Both players on screen now. Just so, getting those initial looks into the, into the scenario, into the surroundings. On the antenna of the car, we do see we have a uh, a short stubby antenna, which would assume we're gonna be Mexico, Colombia, Ecuador, or Brazil. We do have. Scry's gone Scry's straight gone in the outside right. Quito. Yep. Let's see. And now Ziggy, Ziggy. following 10 seconds Ziggy's left. Ziggy's going to Brazil. Ziggy's going to a completely Ecuador different, Brazil. Completely different I don't, country. I don't know if this is Brazil, brother. I don't know, though. We're going to see it. It was Ecuador. Oh, and there we have it. That's game. It's game. Scry with a quick, he was confident there. Went in fast, and they are our winner. That was insane. Across two maps, we didn't have to go to maps or games. Across two games, we did not have to go to a third. Ziggy mount, was trying to mount the comeback, but it's Scry that eventually came out on top. What an exciting matchup Dude. that we've just witnessed to start off our Geo Guesser World Cup qualifier. The fact that it was our first game we watched, Incredible. And the, that was what an amazing experience. That's what Geo is about right there. Those late game missed countries under pressure. That's what I love seeing. Yeah, and it, like the way it went back and forth, and like the scoring system as well for someone like myself that is 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 not as versed in how this portion of the game works. It was very exciting. You could like the tension was mounting. And look, I'm I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna throw it out there. I did want to see Ziggy make that comeback and take to a game three, but unfortunately for him, Scry did. It was so comfortable. That was such a quick guess. Yeah, he was confident. You know, it's uh, it's under pressure. It's it's how you perform under pressure right there. So. Uh, you know, shout out to Scrap Hero going 2-0 against Ziggy there, you know, picking up uh, picking up the win in his group. Yeah. Um, we'll see how his other members of the group have uh, potentially done too, but... Yeah, we can do that now. In fact, Peter is on the line. Peter, how is it going? We have had some very intense games here in the War Room. First, we're going to show you how Len Lee and Tilko played uh, in the No Moving game. Okay. They had some Excited. very intense match. This Ooh. game lasted 14 rounds wow. as well. So this is a uh, round here in Finland where both of the players uh, managed to get both 5Ks. They both got 5Ks. They wow. both got 5Ks. Let's see that right now. What? So they really, they had some signs. They were right on the intersection. Z oh here my. Did they literally just plonk the 5K? They were across the road from each other, waving, staring into each other's eyes, saying, I see and you, buddy. This is, the, this is the final round in Brazil. And Lindley pulls it off? With, on the comeback North victory. Western Brazil, Lenly won it 2-0. Wow. So moving forward uh, to the playoff stage. So Lenly had the comeback. Congratulations to big old Len. Len the man. And here we have another uh, game. We followed We followed Howard versus JH. Uh, this was from the uh, moving game. Ooh. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, this was a big damage done by Howard. He went with Colombia and uh, JH went with Mexico. Interesting. Dealing a big damage there. And this was the round where uh, Howard took the game. Okay. Yeah, also classic. with a very close guess. He had a sign here and he managed to find it pretty well. Wow. That's a classic Havard moment, as I yeah, would say. he's really good at Very this. Very good moving player. <laughs> and uh, the second game, also already finished, uh, they played no moving. 
against each other. And here it was the last round that uh, determined it all. Right in Germany. In Germany. Deciding it all. We've seen a lot of German you coming down to the the new Gen 4 Germany. Gen 4 probably, Germany. You should have uh, studied your Germany coming into this, uh, it looks like. Definitely. All right, back to you guys. Gen 4 Germany, I like to say. What can I say? Thank you, Peter, for your input and the updates on our other matches. Well, I think for now we can chill, chat a bit. I think afterwards we'll, we'll take a break and then we'll be back with our next game. Trevor, is, is, is there anything that you'd like to say before we head to a break? For me, personally, it was an awesome introduction to competitive GeoGuess. I cannot wait over the course of tonight to see some more. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of games I'm super excited to see, so tune in, stay tuned in. If uh, Constance versus Trichter, that's insane. Especially when we get into the finals, the stakes, I cannot wait. I'm a fan watching this, just as much as I am a player, so it'll be exciting. Fan, player, and creator. Everybody at home. Up next, we've got Chicago Geographer versus who? Let me get that in my ear one more time. Party. So Chicago Geographer versus Party coming up after a short break.
What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. My name is Paula. I'm still one of your hosts. And I'm still Rainbow, one of your hosts. Bro, you're good at this, man. You know, sometimes you do that, you kind of leave the line for the other person to pick up on it, and they just don't do it. Yeah. Like, I was half expecting to just go, uh, hello. <laughs> just like, okay. look at me, and that was <laughs> a sick job, brother. It's been a pleasure so far. Man, what a first game that we Dude. had. The Ziggy and Scry just going absolutely ham. I Honestly, for the first game of the day, that I could, you could have, you know, what more could you ask for? Coming down to the wire there. I uh, feel, I hope that we haven't peaked too soon, you no, know? The I'm games we have coming up are going to be just as insane. Yeah, because it's not even like that first game you mentioned to be like a specific one to look out for. There are a couple others that we haven't even touched upon yet that you think should be absolute bangers. Yeah, it's like one of those like, probably like in the history of you guys are like, these are going to be the best games I've experienced from a tournament for the stakes that we have. You know, if, if they qualify, they're going into Stockholm to compete for fifty thousand dollars, fifty k, fifty. This is uh, this is not some you know random tournament we're hosting. This is the Geogas World Cup. So first one, so much on the line, bragging rights included. Yeah, and a trip to Stockholm. Exactly, so. a trip to Stockholm, compete in the space arena. It's going to be huge. All right, everybody. Since we've had a game down, at least here on our mainstream, we've had other games going on as well. Let's take a look at our groups. You can see Group A, B, C, and D. We're just going through Group A at the moment. So Lenly and Scry. Each getting a dub. Dozig in Olympia taking some L's. Um, group B, we can see that con Concert, that's one of the names that you pointed out. Concert's picking up a big win. And Emily Apocalypse as well. Uh, looks like Concert might have beaten Emily there. Yes, I'm trying to make it. looks like maybe. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, well, Concert has picked up the win. Sorry. And Emily Apocalypse 0 to 1. Then we look at Group C. We've got Chicago Geographers already picked up a dub. Truly Buzzy down 0 1. Same as Polly and Party with the 1 0. We know that because we were checking in with um, Peter upstairs in the war room. And then in Group D, we haven't got any of those matches underway yet. Any surprises so far, or do you think it's been playing out um, as expected? I'm, I'm happy to see CG picking up a win there. You know, coming from the qualifiers, he was one, he was like one round away from not even making it to this tournament. And he's already picked up a win in the in the qualifiers here. So shout out to that guy. I know he's uh, he was pretty nervous and he's uh, been prepping a lot. So shout out to Chicago Geographer. We'll see if he can keep it up. It's funny because the one thing that you can't prep for, and you see this in all esports, especially my primary background in CS, is like, you know, when there's a talent or someone that's up and coming, like how are they going to perform when they get to the stage, when they get to the LAN, when they get to their first big competition? I guess we're sort of seeing a parallel here in GeoGuess where all of these players have not played for these stakes. They've not been on a broadcast like this, and we have to see if they rise to the occasion. Up next is going to be Chicago Geographer versus Par T. Who is going to come out on top? These are both of my closest friends in the community, so I, oh, no. I, I don't know who to root for or what to, what to say. I want a good game, though. That's what I'm rooting for. That's the that's like the the dad answer from watching a, a or mom answer from watching a football game. But listen, fence this is sitting a, is absolutely fine. Never feel yeah, like yeah, you yeah. have to pick a side, mate. It's absolutely um, fine. But we will not be fence sitting here in Russia. No, no, we will, might see some big points. Um, okay, should we start, shall we? Let's get straight into it, everybody. CG versus Party round one, game one. And we are off to the races. Yeah. So Russia is notoriously hard. We do have sand on the side of the road here. Sand is more known, and we are playing moving. Uh, I don't know if any of these players can read Cyrillic, but I would guess Sergut or near the Sergut region here. And it looks like we do have parties zooming into Sergut because of the Sergut sand. So, uh, so it's, it's that sand is specifically known in this region of, of Russia. Yeah, yeah. So you, it's very sandy in that region. I could be, you know, blundering. It looks like Party is instant. Sent, uh, Party is not that talented of a moving player. Two seconds left, she, and, CG, you've got to get a, a, both, a blip down. Yeah, and they both just went through there. there. So it's a, it's a common thing known within the community is that sand is in that region. So okay. um, we do see close guesses there, that is expected. But it was interesting to see how Party was playing here because he's a, CG is way more of a moving player than Party is. So it looks like his strategy there was instant send because he knows CG is probably out, out skills him in moving. So let's see, going into round two here. Let's go straight into round number two. Everybody at home, what can we see initially off yeah. the bat? So round, round one here, or round two, I should say, we do have yellow reflectors on the um, reflector here. So this is known for when you're going to be in Spain. So when you you, you do get these in Spain, oh, and that is a... For everybody at home, by the way, we can see party stream has... Um, we've got an issue there, we'll look into solving that. Don't, yep. don't fret at home. Um, looks like we'll he is still, uh, he's still guessing, so he's yes, still playing. Exactly. He's, he's still, still playing, still he's guessing. Just, uh, little Discord miscommunication, but we yeah. do have, um, both players are gonna get Spain here, and we do see Party making the first guess again. So that's Party's coming in, coming in hot, coming in hard. Yeah. 
both relatively. And these first round, these first two rounds have moved very quickly. We'll we'll hold off. We're starting the third round. Make sure everything yep. is good behind the scenes. But party getting an early lead, and you know it's it's it's, it's ten percent. Sorry, not ten percent of the HP. It's, it's um five hundred points yeah. off six K, and um. Yeah, right now that's a, that's a good little deficit to make. However, uh, we as we've seen uh, over the course of tonight so far, like in the grand scheme of things, it's those big hits or you know acting performing well under pressure that really makes the difference. Either way, round three. Round three and kicking Nicole. off now. Um, so yeah, both players are gonna know this pretty instantly. I don't think any player is, is Party gonna instant. Send, he's instant sending every single round. He wants CG not to move at all. He's giving him no time. It's kind of a based. This is a very meta that's, tactic. That's, that's a man in my heart. I'm gonna be honest. This that's, is a, that's uh, that I love seeing that. This is like straight up like aggression. It's like I'm gonna make the first move and you're gonna be on my back foot. And it's funny because each time they've been relatively close yep. with where they pick when that pace is pushed. Yep. This could be a match where they just chip away lightly at each other, and then one ends it's, up on top. But it's gonna, that's yeah. how it's playing out right now. It's gonna come down to, to one round. I think that's gonna swing it pretty, pretty, pretty uh, a lot. And I do not think it will be this round, but... South Africa? Um, no. No? It might be the country that you keep getting confused. We will see, though. This is New Zealand. It could be. We'll see. It could be not. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to be honest. But let's, uh, let's start. Let's see. Let's see what party's, uh, let's see what party's um, strategy here is going into this. He might move around just to double check something real Takes quick. Takes a look at the house, zooms in on look the little sign language. there. Oh, we do, it is going to be New Zealand. There's New Zealand pull there. I expect party to send within the next five seconds, to be honest. One, yep, look, here he goes. Going straight in, got to got a and he's click sent. down. So and he, yeah, he actually locked that in straight away. This is, I love this, right? All right, I, ha I have a background in, in competitive things, and I can see like such a finite difference between how these guys are playing, especially Party, compared to the last game. You know, Party's going in hard and fast, and that's yeah. clearly like a meta idea to do. Yep. You know, I want to be aggressive and push the pace and control the pace. And he, he doesn't want, he's not giving CG time to breathe at all, and yeah. I guarantee you CG is, he, he's looking for these moving games as a free win, because he knows how skilled he is at moving. So when he's not getting those games to where he can move around and he's being, you know, limited by Party's quick guessing, it's probably frustrating. It's real tactics, yeah. it's like a, a real, attempt to, uh, by party to execute like yep. a game plan and right now it's working he's whittling yep. away at CG and this round we will see I, I I I don't know what to expect here we're gonna be in Indonesia I think we just start and keep going if the pace is fast let's keep it going let's keep it going starting off round number five 1.5 times damage is party going to continue with that pace and that aggression yeah so we are gonna be in Indonesia here I don't know who's better at Indonesia it looks like party you know, it's it's quick. It's funny how he does that, where he he'll instant stand on countries where, you know, he doesn't think the opponent can get uh, a better score. But there's too much information here. He can't really. He's looking for at least uh, you know, a, a town name or something there that he can he can read and, and pick up some points on. And it looks like he's he's zooming and looking for because you can lose so many points in Indonesia where you you can't you can't take the risk and instant stand on something like this. And looks like both are still moving in separate directions. So now the pace has completely changed. Party, yeah, definitely now. And so uh, going at a much slower pace. And you're saying that's because there's so much information. It's it's hard to pinpoint. Yeah, Indonesia is such a big country. Yeah. And there's so much information available. It would be kind of silly to give your opponent more time here. That being said, he's in. Party with the lock in. The pressure is on once again. Chicago geographer was enjoying that a bit of respite from the furious pace that has been taking place so far. Four seconds left. And they're both Gonna, in a similar region. Very similar region. So there must have been information. Who is and closer? Party. Oh wow. He read. He definitely read something that was uh, uh, informative. Nine so, four nine, very close. Party is doing yep. absolute work, man. He's he's, he's he's controlling this game right now. This is Australia. This is Australia. <laughs> oh, today it's my first one. Let's go, bro. <laughs> of course, Australia, a huge country, but at least I got it right. Yeah, you know, I couldn't pinpoint it in there, I'm but proud. this is Australia. I knew it. Yep, and uh, both of them will also know that. Yeah, and in, in a, in a, to a much better degree than <laughs> myself, as you all would, and I'm sure many in the chat. And there. Oh. It does not look like we can move south, and they will probably realize that and keep moving the other direction here. Yep. And, you know, Australia is one of those countries where you can be on the same road and not have any information. So we might see, you know, a quick send here. Um, it does look like it could be somewhere in, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, and we, if you keep moving, you get into Generation 1 coverage, which is not good for moving games. Let's see if any player does get into Gen 1. Party's looking like he might know the region here. Let's see. He's, uh, Completely separate parts of Australia. We have one in Queensland, and the party's right in Queensland. 2x damage. Is that enough? Ever? Double damage. No. 
But it's a lot. Oh, it's Only a huge 784. hit. Party has not even taken a single point of damage He's, yet. We like to call that a flawless. A flawless, flawless. victory, like Mortal Kombat style. And this next round looks CG. like... Looks like it will be a, a very fun one for both. Uh, there is information. Let's start. Let's keep it going. Don't want to slow these players down already more than I have to. So. Yeah, CG is in a tough, tough spot. And I can't help but think they didn't expect this coming in. I know you, you said that they are a moving player. And, and he's already sent. Party sent again. He's already sent. And you know, like on, oh on, on, on this is new Gen 4 Germany. Um, so this is, um, you know, your, this is your... Gen 4 Germany, you know? Gen 4, my favorite thing, yeah. Gen 4 Germany. One second left, oh, and... CG! CG! He knew the town or something. On the money. And he picks up 3,000. That's a huge hit back. The swing looks like it is beginning, See, but... That is where, you know, it, that's where instant sending kind of hurt you. you yeah. Because it looks like CG had 15 extra seconds there to find information. But this will the be... The sending is going is gonna to get more risky when that multiplier starts pumping, like, for instance, yeah. now. Uh, for instance, not this round specifically, because this is a very clear Jordan, probably Amon. We see two instant Amons. But going into the, the next round after this, it will be very, very, very... It will, it will matter a lot. We'll probably see very, very minimal... Policy's going round. straight in. He's gonna, I'm calling it now. He's going to lock that in. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, Instant send. Once again, that was barely 10 seconds. No, he's... Uh, yeah, so you see one going north of Amon. You see one, uh, you see one going south. Honestly, I'm not too sure. The capital it guess could all end fine. here. Bro, I don't know if he could lose 784 points. He could if Party's close. Party knows the city. Is that going to be enough? That's going to be enough. He wins on Jordan. There we have it, yeah. everybody. Party has done it. And dare I say, he's done it in style. Game one of three goes their way and goes very, very fast. That yeah. is a game plan being executed almost flawlessly. And that's what you see from no moving players in this game. You don't want to give the only advantage CG had there outside of maybe a, you know USA specific skills or whatever it may be is his moving and region guessing technique with move. So when he, when when party takes that away from him, it's it's he, he's kind of flustered. Yeah, it's so smart. Like I said, when it was going on, it's like I'm in, really enjoying seeing that because I've seen like there's a, that you can see there's a game plan there, yeah. there's a meta, and like why they're choosing it based on the context that you've given me. Like it was trying to exp like um, it, it, it's an active attempt to stop what you're telling me CG is best at. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah take Bart away their best tool. Party knows he, he wouldn't beat CG if he, if he was sit there. They both had to take 20 minutes. Yeah. Party wouldn't, I don't think Party would be able to win that. So he knows that too. That's why he's instant sending. And that's that's his skill set. And also, you know, he's younger. Uh, you know, we got that TikTok, you know, retention span. So. <laughs> that's a Gen get, Z. That Gen Z. That's Gen it. Z Geo guess. Sometimes plays. you get bored looking at a round. You just have to, you know, send. That's kind of like, I can't spend more than 10 seconds on a round if I, I get bored. So he's, uh, he's built from the same cloth, I guess. So. If we're full sending it right now, let's send it up to the war. Room. Peter, how's it going up there, buddy? It's been intense. We've been following the games between uh, Consus and Suvlaki. Okay. There have been very intense moments here. I'm going to show you some clips. Ooh, let's see how Consus is doing. Suvlaki, Zeitgeist, one of the best names in the game. So here is the clip of the moving game between them. Consus sending Ukraine, where Suvlaki is going with Russia here. Wow. Is so that... with triple damage, that was enough. Wow. Uh, to to win this. Oh wow! It looked like it looked like Consus was in the you know. Uh, this is a really interesting uh, round from the no moving game. You can see the dark soil in the background. Yep. And uh, the uh, players go to very different sides of the world. Literally. Oh my! He got confused with the Brazilian dirt. The Brazilian, yeah, the Brazilian dirt soil. threw him off. Wow! But see, the Cambodia 50-50 with Brazil is common. But wow. Yeah, so, and this is the final round between the two. Losing in the Ireland. moving game. I guess 300 points. That patch of grass in the middle is very Irish, by the way. It's, a ve it's Irish grass. And he didn't know the Irish grass. That was the Irish grass. That and was that's, wow. the Irish grass. See, it looks like you know, Suvlaki was picking up points against Constance in some rounds, it looks like. But it looks like Constance just finished off. Each yeah, Constance well. won, won both of the games. So, wow. well done. Back so that and so that was a 2-0. Thank you very much, Peter. I don't know if you got a chance to see the game that we just saw. Uh, sorry, um, 
game. What was the? How are we going to call it again? Game one of yeah, the, yeah, yeah. between um, CG, and, CG and, yeah. and Party. Party had this whole tactic of just going in hard and fast, and it was just like a blistering pace. And just other than one ran round, basically just ran over CG. It was crazy. It was intense. Yeah, yeah. I was watching all, all the way through, and I can't wait to see the no moving one. Yeah, exactly. And that yeah. is what is coming up next, Peter. Thank you once again for your war room expertise. How do you think things are going to change going to game two? I mean, it's no moving. And that's what Party's basically been playing this whole time. And he so do you think he, Party could just run away with it here? He could, but you know it depends on the rounds we get too. You know, CG has a lot of upper a lot of upper hands on different countries against Party. So you know, it's a lot of it comes down to what rounds we get going into this. It's random. It, it, it could be anyone's game. You know, CG. We saw him come back from you know zero one uh, deficit last week to to win to, to qualify. So we might see the same thing today. Let's see. All right, everybody. CG versus Party, it's game two. If Party wins this, they win the series. Big shout out to all of you at home tuning in. At some point, we're gonna bring up um, Twitch chat. Don't forget, we are on a delay, but we'd love to respond to your questions or, or quirks, whatever you'd wanna drop in at the chat. We're definitely gonna be doing that at some point. But for now, everybody, perhaps, Rainbow, it's time to start. Let's do it. And we are starting in CG's realm. He is one of the, he's kind of known for being better at USA. And so him getting a USA here uh, is kind of maybe a good confidence starter to start the game. Yeah, I mean, that's all, in, in my opinion, maybe he could draw out of it. Because at this point, with only the 1x damage, un unless Party does a huge fumble, like it's just a few points, but it will maybe be, be good for him to get a, a rhythm going. And it looks like Party's zooming into Denver, Colorado here. Um, I, I'm not the USA guy, and he's already sent. They're both. Oh, do we have Colorado Ball Urge or something that I missed? Oh, he's done it again with the. Because they're both going Colorado. Like, they could just both. Uh, and they're both going the same region. So um, maybe Five this seconds. is a, a standard Eastern Colorado round that I'm just. Uh, it's not that guy, pal. It, party. Party. On USA. With a brilliant send. But again, th those damage points not too um, traumatic right now for CG. Yep. And I think these were the hills I was talking about in the previous rounds here. We, these might be the Roraima hills in the background. I'm not entirely sure, but let's start the let's start the round and see yeah, if Yeah, let's they, see if the guys they, themselves they know. Roraima hills. Roraima hills. Roraima yeah. hills. You know, it's like these like small rolling hills in the distance. I could be completely off here. Okay. But I'm assuming we see at least maybe one Roraima guess. CG uh, and Party both want that zoom in on the AABB. Be, party's going just party's going also straight those and locked it in. Yep. And uh, you do get those hills there too. So that's okay. CG now on the back the same, foot the same once again. There's, let's go quickly with an esports stat here. Sorry. Wow, they both got the city. Very close. What the heck? Very close. That's a brilliant performance by both guys. I was just going to say, I don't think there's been a single round where Party hasn't he's guessed lost. First. Yeah, he's guessed first every single time. And uh, yeah, we'll see it again here in Thailand. So um, You see that and you just know it's Thailand, which is yeah. off the rip. Yeah, it's just standard Thai, bro. It's just standard Thai. Uh, yeah, well, I could go and explain after, but this yeah, game is so, I, I just want this game to keep going because I'm so yeah, excited yeah, to keep, watch keep it. Yeah, yeah, keep that pace going. It's exciting and you'll to see, see it play the, out like You'll this. see Party immediately zoom into Thailand. He can tell from this image right there that it's going to be Thailand, and he's instantly zooming in there. Straight to Thailand. And he, it's, and you know why he went and Eastern? And he locked that straight. Eastern Thailand's known for having this more red soil, so that does make sense. You probably see CG going there as well. And we do, they're going to be They're going to be regions. very similar regions. Yep. And this time it's CG that is closer. closer. So a bit of a, a bit of damage there going that to, towards Potty. That this is just amazing gameplay. You know, they're both they're, they're bo they're, yeah. the, the pace is just so far. The Scribe Pero Ziggy game was great. Yeah. But this I just like the fast. I'm used to uh, you know. I think you can appreciate both way like styles differently, yeah. right? They're completely different, but they both bring their own thing. This is blistering. It's super exciting. The last one more methodical, and then mm -hmm. there was a chance for a story, a potential comeback, which got squashed. Yep. Now though, we're we're in the midst. We're in the midst of just pure action. Yep, and um, this should be. Uh, I don't. I think I would go Indonesia or Philippines here. Uh, not not sure. I'd probably go Indonesia, but I'm not sure where we would go here. Let's see. Both players. It is no moving. We do see a Malaysia guess there. Okay, and parties the same Malaysia. So I was wrong on both countries apparently. Oh. But yeah, we're back to my view here. I could zoom around here and see if I can find any more information. Let's see. I, yeah. It does look like it, as I move around, it should be um, Malaysia. And maybe even it could, it, it could be Borneo. So I was going to say, it could be Borneo. Big discrepancy and that's, there. Uh, that is Malaysia. It is owned by Malaysia. But that is uh, big points for uh, CG there. CG bouncing back. That's got to be a good confidence boost. That's, that's yep. got to feel good for CG. And we're going into Spain here, uh, presumably. Um, so 
Yeah, we have no white uh, on the side of the sign here, so Portugal has those. It's a good way to tell. Let's keep going. I mean, the pace is f fantastic here. Let it rip round five. We are now in 1.5x damage, so any win yep. is a good win. You're going to be chipping away pretty healthily at the other person's is HP. CG going to get a guess off first here? Oh, they, they both... guessed at like almost the wow. same time, and CG, CG just said, a, a blip closer. He said, anything you can do, I can also do. Yeah. So anything you can do, I can do better. Um, ooh, interesting round going into the next game here. We have Gen 4. I just want to start and see where they go here. This is a, it should be like Rush I, so I can see now, when you mention this, Joe, this image is super clear. Yeah, super clear, high quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like uh, saturated out the wazoo. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Saturated out the wazoo. The color correction yeah. on point. Looks yeah, like our that. editors upstairs had a little fiddle with that. Starting off round number six, double damage. Two X damage. This could be big. Uh, honestly, um, there's a reason I'm sitting here and not in their seat because I wouldn't know where to go here, if I'm being honest. Dude, it's just a blank road. I there's no signage. I would probably call Russia here. I just don't know what part of Russia. Maybe Western because I thought it could be Baltic, which is where CG is going. So um, we'll see if uh, if that is the case here. Slow but. pace of round now. Party looks like they're sort of honing in on a yeah. specific location. It should be Gen 4 Russia. CG just it took, took maybe like five seconds there to look around, really familiarize themselves with what's going on. It, it's, it's so insane to me because literally I see like a road, I see trees. Like beyond that, I, I, there's, there's no like obvious information here, Trevor. Yeah, it's uh, two words. To me, anyway. It's completely called, uh, basic it's player. It's called skill issue. Skill, yeah, I, I definitely got a skill issue, brother. I'm just kidding. No, but you yeah, guys got this the skill. <laughs> I got all the issues. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, both players here. I mean, it's one of those things where once you've seen it, you, you've kind of seen it. And they're both going in a pretty similar oh. uh, Omsk. All of a sudden, it's locked and in. That, and once again, they're quite close to each other. That is what we like to call a skill. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, a bit of damage there towards C. That was towards CG, right? Yeah, party, party took damage there, yeah. I think. Or I, 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 oh, okay. I forgot. But we are going to be in Russia again. So um, let's start and let's see if let's see if someone can bounce back and pick up another rush around here. We have the long antenna with a black car. So the black car is helpful with the long antenna uh, because uh, there are some parts of Russia that does have a white Google car, which means you know you can't be in certain regions. I would go more eastern here, I think, based off kind of like how green it could be southernish. Like I said, I'm not I've not very learned Russia. There are some pros in the community that have pretty much learned Russia. We've got a, we've got a lot of party fans in the chat by the way. We've got party yeah. my go, party fans rise, party fans yeah. rise. Party W in the chat. Me Someone just said messy. <laughs> That's funny. Party's got a big I fan. I really like in the party's chat. party's guess here. Uh, like it's like east, he's like east north of those mountains. But it looks like CG's also in that same region. I, I think they're both going to be pretty close here if I was to if I was to guess. But yeah, their line party you can see is looking at the road again to line it up. I can see why, you know, there's so many people that are TikTok brained and, and it looks like in chat, so they're definitely pulling for the party here. But, you know, CG is just as a as an equal competitor and, and could pull off something crazy here. I don't think we've seen the NMPZ round today, so I don't think we've seen round three. But No, three. we haven't. We have not seen a round three. <coughs> if CG pulls off a win here in game two against Party, then yeah, we would see our first oh, they're round separate. three. See, I like CG's guess, actually. I don't know, though. Okay, so Party has gone... Oh, his party's I think to like yeah. He's, uh, let's see, one second. Completely different direction to the the one that CG is in right and now. And CG's right. And CG is right. That's gonna be so oh much God, damage. That's game. That's game. That's game. It's seven point eight k. CG does take voice. us to our first game three. Wow, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna like lose my voice from just like screaming. That is, we saw huge discrepancy there between where each <laughs> contestant went. And it just so happened that CG came out on top, and yeah, they will be taking us to a third and final game. NMPZ, which means no moving, panning, or zooming, meaning we just get a photo. That's all you get. You can't smooth the screen at all. Oh, wow. So our rule set for round, for games, for, for third games is entirely different. It's NMPZ. Correct. And it's just a flat, still image. Yep. You get, you can't move around. You don't get really car meta. You don't get to see, you don't get your full panorama. You get basically what you see when you spawn in. So it's gonna be, CG could pull off another comeback and do, you know, two weeks in a row, pull off. That would be crazy. You've got two of your boys going at crazy. it, Trevor. Why don't we check in with one of our boys upstairs, Peter. We've just seen another fantastic game. We're gonna be going to our first game three. What's been going on upstairs? Yeah, this is such a crazy game. I've been watching it as well. <laughs> uh, we've been also following a game between JH and Alok. Uh, the first, they uh, got done with their first game with moving. 
you can see here a very good guess. Look at that uh, massive by corn. <laughs> massive corn. Look at that, that, you, that is sick. That's how you know you're in Nebraska. <laughs> and I guess JH recognized the corn because uh, you will see that he gets a 5k here. Corn meta. The famous <laughs> corn, I guess. Corn meta, let's get it trending, guys. <laughs> Hashtag corn meta in the chat. Wow. But yeah, even though even though JH made that impressive guess, uh, we can see that a couple of rounds later, Alok Ooh, made a very impressive guess in Russia. That was the white car I was talking about. You get that white car south of Chelebinsk there. It looks like JH doesn't know his white car, and it pays off to, to know that for Alok. Yeah, knowing the white car pays off, and Alok took the first game. So they're currently playing their no moving game, and I'll, and I'll keep you updated on that. Let's go. Peter, thank you so much, mate. Doing a fantastic job as our reporter up in the sky, up in the war room. Yeah, so Trevor, let's get back to this, right? This is our first game three, and it's going to be just a still image. And you call it N NMPZ. Yeah. Would you say either player here has an advantage? Presumably, it's our no-move player party. Presumably, you would think that. That's what I just, it, 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 from my understanding, I th I think but is that just not the case? I think I renounce anyone's game. Anyone's I, game. I, I, like it's it's such a like I think CG has momentum. I think Party maybe has a history of maybe you know getting a little, you know he could he could not have his emotions right right now. You know he could blunder something. So we'll see. But it I will say like we're almost ready to go with it as well. But I'm going to wait for our producer yeah. to let us know. We can see on our screen where we're starting off. I will say this, this is, is looking like a Gen 0 0.5 this pick, is brother. <laughs> both <laughs> players. <laughs> You'll see it soon, everybody. I, I, I don't want to spoil. Both players are going to be pretty upset with this. I think. <laughs> okay. Well, let's wait until everyone can see it. But um, from what I can see on the screen, this is looking like it was done with the first Google cars that were like had, had like a Polaroid on top or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to, you know, to spoil. But you have CG and Party, but CG and Party, everybody. The third and final game. The winner gets a dub. The loser, of course, takes an L. You're going to see on screen right now what me and Rainbolt were referring to. To me, this is this looks extremely difficult, and it seemed like you agreed. Why is that? So this is like just very rural Gen One or Gen Two coverage. Like I said, I can pin around here. This right here that you currently see is all the players get. It is going to be Canada. It's but, Canada. Um, I think we just get into it. It's not Gen One Canada, which would be way worse, but um, it is slightly lower quality, and it's not the best for NPC. But I love hard locations. Or kind of like distinct locations like this to, uh, to make some guesses. So I think we, I think we start and get into it. Let's get right into it, everybody. Third and final game, starting off with round one. And in MPZ, so both players basically, this is all they get. This is the most exciting format for me because this is where the players make the blunders the most. They cannot move. They cannot pan. They cannot zoom. So this should be Northern Canada or Alaska. Um, I like how CG probably might be, maybe knows Alaska more. And it looks like CG is going to Alaska, and it is maybe a is. Oh, party's going to Canada. Wait, is he in Canada? I, I didn't see where he zoomed in on, but looks like CG's trying to find a 5K here. And it looks like party's CG still in Canada. CG looking for a 5K? Maybe I'm tripping. On an image like this? He is, if this is Alaska, and he is known for his USA region guessing. 15 party's, seconds. Party's guessed. That is the first oh, CG look lock-in, I think, but pre-party. I might be wrong, but it's one of the it, first. Okay, it was Northwest Territories. And they were both relatively... Like similar wow. distance, only yeah, like just about 200 that damage is a, CG. That you, so that, that town up there is actually distinct. I feel like a lot of players maybe in this game would recognize that if it wasn't no move, if it was no move. Because it's one of those like those distinct outlier rounds you, you have to learn for games like this. And I guarantee you if it wasn't <laughs> Look an at NPC. This image. Yeah. And they can't, they, they're just going to get like that. But like, yeah, I'm going to guess Serbia or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, no, this is Russia. This is, or, yeah. All right, let's just get into it. I will say to the, 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 the guys at GeoGuessr that have come up with the format and how it changes for the, the third and final, um, like the decider uh, matches, this is it's super smart, this is super exciting. And um, I love the fact that now like it, it's changing dynamics of, of, of how they play, this, sort of like how you're referring yeah, to, Yeah, I'm not even sure, like where even is this? Uh, this is in ridiculous. It, it looks like, the more I look at it, the more it looks like Baltic or like... Like, a guess has gone in. It was Both guesses okay. gone in, and they're so close. So, explain to me quickly before we move on to the next round. So, how come they're still sort of like relatively close? Like, is there a reason? So is that, that just a good general area to pick? That's just the pin? center hedge. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a it's just like a standard kind of region, and uh, you just click the center hole for the best. Okay, so, I see. So not any, and if like, you play a lot, you know those regions, and you're rough. Yeah, okay. it's like oh, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah, go yeah. somewhere not in the capital, but close. Sweet, I get it. I get it. Let's just keep it going. Um, get it going round three. I have to get close on monitor here to really look. Looks like a Uruguay or something, but 
Yeah, we'll probably go Uruguay oh, here. We've got a nice little horse there as well, but they won't see that. They won't see the horse. They'll just see uh, this dirt road. They'll see the wooden fence. Yeah, it looks like maybe one player doesn't see anything, so we'll see if that... Okay. That, that, maybe they do, but yeah, uh, CG is going into... Uh, Uruguay here. Oh, and connected again. We got a little party had to refresh. There. A little internet. Whoopsie, but he knows it's Uruguay, so don't. It's okay. It's okay. CG it all gets it. Oh, of course, something like that. Um, production will check, and they'll be in touch with the player as well. So for now, though, CG hitting some damage on party. Yep. Want to make sure everything's fair and, uh, and the integrity's there, and of course, yep, that'll be looked into if needed. Yes, and uh, this round will also be looked into because it it will be Latvia. So shout out to Peter, I think. Uh, shout out to Peter. We do have the Latvia hooks here. Let's keep going into it. I don't think this should be... That. Maybe, did I get those hooks wrong? Those should be Latvian hooks. But, and uh, look at CG cycling over the, the Latvian hooks. So, um, and party guessing capital, it looks like, maybe. Um, you know, region guessing country like this is quite impossible. Yeah, it's kind of RNG, as we like to say, so. We did get some hashtag corn meta in the chat, by the way, so people are liking that. Let's get it trending, guys. Corn meta. Corn meta. All right, and round yeah, four. CG's closer. CG closer. CG edging away now. So close. Let's oh not forget, God. everybody, in game one, Party started with a blistering pace. Did did such a good job. I think he might flawless. Yeah, no, it, I don't think it was flawless. I think he okay. did take damage at one point. Damage. And then that second game, CG came back, and now we're in this third one. And it looks like the momentum right now is stuck with CG a bit. Yes. Yeah, and let's see if, uh, let's see if they can keep it up and... This is actually a Belgian blur, I should say. A Belgian blur. Should be Bel so when you so you can tell because of the gauss, like the the way it's blurred. That's that's how they blurred thing when they went. Yeah, to it's Belgium. just it's just a very common thing you get in Belgium. You also have Belgian pole. CG's gone in fast there. They're both. Oh no, sorry, it was party, party, party guess, but they're Party's both they're both fast. They both reckon. Wait, wow. I mean, we we were all three just got bamboozled by that. So, but was that still within Belgium? No, that was France. Oh, that's true. It was completely, but yeah. Get, those blurs are so common in Belgium. Every pro associates those associates with Belgium. with Belgium. And then they both hedged and, their bets. And they, and they both went Belgium there, but it was France. Okay. So, let's keep it going. I always like the validation from when someone else makes the same wrong guess. Yeah, of course. It's pretty nice. Because you know, then we're all in it together. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm not silly goose. Like when you kept saying that uh, New Zealand was the UK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You kept doing that. It wasn't me. It. Anyway, yeah, round yeah. six, everybody <laughs> two extra damage. <laughs> On the screen now. Yeah, I don't know where I would go here. Maybe Czechia? You, where, where it's I guess it's coming from Party. Serbia. I turned around and saw a Czechia plate, or a Czechia, but maybe CG Croatia? Going Croatia, Serbia, Croatia, Serbia. I like Croatia more than I like... I'm so confused because I turned around and saw a CZ plate. Wow. Wow. And CG is closer. Uh, closer. <clears throat> And that was uh, there. That's where if you have no move, you everyone gets that. That's just an NPC very hard. Right now, my prediction about Party being a favorite because he he's like a no move specialist compared to the mover of CG. Mm. It's it, it's not going that way. CG is, is slightly pulling ahead now over one one k deficit here. This is what this is what CG maybe wants to see. We do have two USA players. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna start the round and just get into it. Two point five x should be the US, but we could also be in like somewhere in Canada or like you know Quebec or something like that. Maybe we are in Canada actually. The more I look at it, but Party uh, went straight in. That was it. That was a round uh, a game one send. Uh, did he already sent. Yep. All right. And is he is he was he in Canada? Um, no, US, US Northern okay. US. Oh, oh, oh I, no, no, I could be wrong. That is Canada. Apologies. Yep. Yes. Yep. Geography. Wow. Oh, wow. That is an incredible that? send from Pi. That's going to be so much damage. Is that game? Oh, 200 no. points. 142. Oh, my God. CG now reeling from that blow. The ref giving a standing going, eight. He's going to be, yeah. And this party is, you know, sitting pretty here. He's, he's very happy right now. Very happy. Let's see if he can continue the momentum going into the round seven here. Important not to get too comfortable for party though. Will they go in hard and fast to stack that pressure and on a stumbling CG? We will be in Colombia. We will be in Colombia. We will be in Colombia. Both players, wait. This party? Okay, Rainbow party staying Colombia. Party has gone for Colombia. Dropping their pin, not yet locked in. Let's see where CG goes. CG might end up going. Okay, CG's going Colombia too. CG has to get better. Locked in here. by party. Locked in CG now. CG has 10 seconds on the clock. 10 seconds, life on the line. You will not feel more pressure than this. Can or, you rise he needs the a moment? He's going just capital east of the Andes. Is it east of the Andes? Party's west of the Andes. It's where oh, party wins. That's going to be game, everybody. Party coming out on top. And you know what? I think it was the decision to swing back 
or try to swing back to that really pressuring style yeah. where those guesses come in as fast as possible. I could be wrong, but that's what it looked like to me. And Potty is our winner. Commiserations to CG. That was well played to both players. You wow. have to give props both for, for the both incredible gameplay there. Shout out to CG. It's not over yet. Party. Not over shout, yet. Shout out to him. Super exciting to yeah to, to, to see how different that match was mm -hmm. and those three games were, especially that first game compared to our, our, our first match of the night. Like it was just a complete different pace. It was like watching something completely different. And that's the beauty of this game and the players we have. We have so many different types of play styles tonight that you're going to continue seeing things exactly like that. So especially, you know, you saw that one round in Canada where you know, that switched the whole momentum for the whole of the rest of the game. You know, Party was going into the, the next game. He pretty much just had to click capital for the best. So, pretty cool. Let's get Peter back involved. Peter, you ready to share some thoughts with us plebs downstairs? <laughs> oh, definitely. We have some very cool and in intense games. So first, let's uh, show you the uh, JH versus Alok game. Uh, the no moving one. Uh, they played it after the previous one. Here we can see JH doing quite a lot of damage uh, towards Alok with a quadruple damage multiplier there in the Philippines. Quadruple damage. Big damage. And here Big Alok misses first. Uh, this is the final round of the game times six multiplier here. So things were getting very, very uh, intense in this game. Oh no. And you can see, yeah. And that's the type of guesses we'll probably see a lot tonight where it's, you know, comes down that one. That's awesome, got the road completely correct. The fact that he got the road there is wild. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then here we have, it was a super intense a match between Hubbard and Bolgor, uh, the moving game. This, uh, this is just around to see how intense it was. You can see it's round 10 and players have taken almost no damage. And the game move, uh, was taking, I believe, 18 rounds in total. Oh. 18, that's the longest one. 18 yeah. I mean, rounds these, in these, total. These so this is the final one in Ireland. Eight, you can see Bulgor with a very close guess, and wow. that was enough to win it. Yeah, yeah. shout out to France, Bulgor. He's one. Of the, he's you know he's notoriously known in the community as one of the best moving players. So this is not a surprise. Havard also an OG and a great moving player. So well played. That would have been a great game to watch. Yeah, very intense, and they're currently playing their uh, no moving game. So I'll keep you guys updated. Peter, thank you so much for your expertise. Wow, so far the action has been incredible. Two games down, Trev. Two games down. Yeah, I'm hyped. You were talking earlier about like um, like styles of players, or we've been talking about that generally speaking. Anyway, how would you describe yourself as a player, Mr. Rainbolt? Yeah. So if I spend more than three seconds on the round, I pretty much just like uh, don't want it. I, I have to just guess as soon as if I don't know within the first three seconds, I don't know it. That's kind of the way I look at it. Which is, you know, everyone plays their own style, and you know, the moving player I also appreciate, and I appreciate that skill set, but I just can't. Yeah. I just can't. Yeah. But yeah. So I'm a move, I'm a no move NMPZ player. Um, maybe probably an NMPZ one trick, maybe even you could say. So, but that's that's a beauty of the game. You can play how you want to play. If you want to play moving and you want to learn information. That's great. You can, you can you can have access to do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your thoughts, Rainbow. Everybody at home will be back after a short break. And what will we be back with? It's an absolute banger. Can I get those names again? Because I don't have them in front of me. We have them on screen. Consus Trickter. Now it's Consus versus Trickter. A huge game I'm and one up. that you do not want to miss. <sighs> Welcome back, everybody, to the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. My name is Still Parlor. And I'm still Rainbow. He still, still is. Rainbow. He's still that uh, awesome dude that sits to my left. And boy, have we seen some amazing action so far, my friend. We have. And I think it's only, it's only going to get better. You know, I, I think the games coming up are going to be exciting. But 
I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying every single second of this. Yeah, I mean, we can start talking about this next match. So it's between two very experienced players, right? Two very mm -hmm. good players, but one of them, Consus, apparently he's the number one to look out for. He, he could, or I mean, you mentioned that you think if he gets through his qualifier, he could very well take the title in October too. I I, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I don't want I don't put any you know un, unneeded pressure or bias on on, on the guy, but yeah. he's he's definitely one of the most skilled players, one of the most knowledgeable players, most humble players, I should say. So I'm I'm kind of rooting for both of them. They're both friends. I've uh, actually been bowling with Trichter once. So you went bowling with fun Trichter. Fact, fun fact. See, where's the content? We should have had a camera team there. We should be playing that right now. And what was it like bowling with Trichter? Where were you bowling? We were in Germany with all we the German lads. Germany. With the uh, Ziggy. You yeah, know, they're Jalotris and the really good. Ziggy. But anyways, yeah. So I'm you know I. I'm just I'm just ready to see them play against each other because it's like, uh, you know, it's like you're watching like you know Jordan versus you know, you know you start goat debates, but you know Jordan versus LeBron. Or Jordan something. versus LeBron. I don't know, man. But listen, this can be great. You're game. really building up my expectations for this matchup. Now, there's obviously great players in the World Cup as well, but for the qualities, this is like kind of one like my bias is towards this game right here. So. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I, I hope it, I hope I'm hyping. I don't want to, you know. So too much. at the very least, it should be a very competitive match. Do you see it going three games, or do you see it being two? I don't know, man. I could see both. I could see both. I could see, you know. I think it's going. It's going to take. I think there are going to be longer games. I think we might see some high multis, especially on the moving. Um, I don't think one person is kind of necessarily known for moving, but they're both very talented players in both skill sets. So it's going to be interesting. Let's check in with Big P upstairs in the war room. Peter, did you have a nice little three-minute break? What did you get up to? <laughs> I've been following the games. Okay. Well, other games. They don't let you out of the room. Hey, operator, what? <laughs> let give him a break. <laughs> so that operator is crazy. The game between Suvlaki and Emily. Okay, yeah. I have some clips for you. Let's see show. him. Let's see him. Big P with the clips. <laughs> Big P with the clips, baby. Yeah, so here we have a, a round where Sulaki guesses Mexico, uh, but it turned out to be Peru. So Emily got a nice, uh, nice damage there. Wow. Okay. Common 50-50. Yeah, Emily has been playing very, very well. This was the no moving game between the two. And here you can see Emily in Mexico also with a very nice Big hit, guess, big hit. Eliminating Sulaki, uh winning 2-0. Wow. 2-0. Zero. Zero. Shout out to Emily and shout out to Sulaki. Emily Apocalypse, big job. Yes, and we have uh, another uh, game between Harvard and uh, Bogor. No moving one. Here, Harvard goes Istanbul with a very nice and close guess. Wow. Very good guess. As you can see, it's round nine as well, so high multipliers between the two. And here, the final round of the game in Malaysia. Uh, Bogor with a closer guess. Wow. Winning this game. Well, the game, all of their games seem to go pretty, pretty long, so it must have been a, it's pretty competitive. Yeah, very, very intense, very interesting matches, so I'm excited to see what, what's to come. Thanks, Peter. And, you know, look, if everything isn't all right up there with, with <laughs> I'll, operator, I'll let you know. <laughs> you come down here and you tell us, and we'll come up there and sort it out, all right? Uh, that's a deal. That's yeah. a deal. Peter, thanks so much. A big shout out to Operator. We love you, brother. Big Pete. <laughs> With the thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, shortly, everybody will be getting into this next matchup. We can see where it's going to start right now, but we won't reveal that to you lot at home until we are just ready to go. Our two players are Consus and Trichter, the bowler, 33. <laughs> so did you win the bowling or did, did Trichter? Um, well, you know, I don't, I, I, Ziggy won. But Ziggy won. With an asterisk, I'll say. Okay. There, he, he, one of those where you throw in the gutter, bounces out, hits the pin, you get points. Oh, uh, you guys, wait, it bounced out of the gutter, or were you, were you using like the safety? No, Ziggy's ball bounced out of the gutter. He got some pins, he beat me, but I don't want to talk about it. It's in the past. Yeah. You know. What we should be talking about is how much of an epic matchup this should be. We've built it up, we've given you guys the story, Consus. For many, and many of the experience, he's a heavy favorite, but we're expecting a lot from Trichter as well. Round one. Let's make it rain. Let's just make it rain. Yeah. Let's start. That yeah. We'll work on the let's make it rain thing, right? Yeah, it might pick up. We'll see. <laughs> it might. But round one here, you know, it's immediately you know moving. I, like I said, I don't know who has the advantage here in moving. We do have piranha pines here. Looks like I don't know if any player will see that. But these trees, um, I think those are piranha pines. Are found, uh, you know, unironically enough, near piranha in Brazil. So 
We do, uh, so see. that's a type of tree, yeah, Piranha yeah, Prime. Yeah, we see uh, Trickter here zooming into Piranha. I'll be interesting to see if someone instant sends or how the gameplay develops here, but it looks like Trickter might have seen some information. I also wonder if our players are trying to watch the other matches as they go on. I think they're fans of the game too, so they probably yeah, are. Yeah, they probably yeah. are, and then they maybe see like oh, some of the matches. It looks like I, it looks like Contest found this, the name of the town on that sign that I think I just saw. And, and if that's the case, he will be spot he on, and he did! Wow. Consus! What? Coming out of the gate, swinging, and living up to all the hype. Listen, I'm gonna keep this going. Round two here is gonna be a pretty obvious Tasmania in Australia for most for most players. Let's see if they try and pinpoint, or if they just kind of uh, in, just plonk Tasmania in the center because it's- Bachelor. Uh, Bachelor Tasmania. That's what I'm seeing Bachelor on that signpost. And uh, just for those, for context here, the Tasmanian Possum Guard, it's like tinted green. Um, uh, yeah, it's like a it's like a green tent thing right here. Oh, so that possums can't climb yeah, telephone poles. Yeah, you don't poles. you don't want them. I don't think a player. I th I'm assuming a player has seen that. Maybe I'm tripping, but uh, I'm assuming those are Tasmanian. They you, they could you know be a little bait, but it looks Tasmanian. A little zoom enough. in by Consus on a number plate there, trying to pick up some hint through the blur. And uh, there we go. Yep. So looks like uh, so one is going Tasmania there. We'll see where the other. It looks like they. Are you gonna try and pinpoint and pick up some points in Tasmania here? That's uh, looks like what we're, what's what we're developing towards. Could be interesting. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to really narrow this one down. Both players. Yeah, looking for a road sign or something um, to just kind of pinpoint here. But you know, all in all, I don't see very many points. I feel like both players will you know get to the right uh, region here pretty closely. So so far, what you said is absolutely correct, Rainbow, about this matchup most likely being more methodical. Yeah, both of these are, you know, extremely intelligent players. Thorough players. Yeah. Very thorough. They, 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 one of those players that you, just, it's hard to see them blunder around almost, not to maybe a jinx someone, but. In. We have just we have got a guess, a guess by Trichter. from Trichter. Let's see if Constance, I'm not sure if I've seen Constance open the map yet, but we could potentially, oh, he is also in Tasmania, so we'll see. Well, we're gonna see no points here, but that's okay. But Consus is region guessing Tasmania, which is kind of just like kind of him activities. Small little bit of damage, chipping away at Trichter. Yeah, we're gonna so, wait with round number three, and that's kind of good. We're winning because I gotta figure out where we are at first. Because I'm we uh, are in the middle of a of a it, forest. It looks Scandinavian, I must say. So let's see if we can find some information. It is moving, but um, I will be. We'll see how the players move. Let's just actually just get into it, shall yeah, we? Yeah, the round is ready to go now. We can start off round number three move. between Consus and Trichter. To me, this is just a country road. It, it could be anywhere. I'm always interested in seeing if they both Europe. go the same way. Looks like they both are going towards out of the forest here, which is probably you know smart. But I'm gonna see if I can find some information quicker than them. Let's see if we can figure out where we are here. Yeah, if you're also going following down this this incredibly long road. Yeah, I do not think this is Scandinavian. The more you I'm mentioned together. earlier, sort of at the start of the show, that when you're going down a super long road and there's no information, that it's tough. You're winding down yeah, a, a path where, 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 which isn't giving you any value. Yeah. It's it seems uh, like the deeper they go, there's less and less to find. Yeah, it could be demoralizing. Um, I think I would Look go at like Czechoslovakia the, here. But Czechoslovakia. Not, oh, wait, oh, that is not... A, Oh, we found a signpost. Yeah. Consus you know, has found a signpost. Consus yeah. is the type of guy to know where those are, too. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I do agree that this will be checky, I think. So, we will see what Trichter does and Consus, but... Oh, zoom in. He's going back to the bridge, Consus. So, the bridges actually have bridge numbers that he's looking at here, and the, you can actually use that bridge number to help find. He's got a name. Um, he's got a name. A name too. He's zooming fast. That's, that's the most alpha zoom you could possibly do. <laughs> Just pure like seeing commitment. a random bridge <laughs> just name and just commitment. like committing to Western Czechia, that's just that's just that's just crazy. We can call that an AZ, an Alpha Zoom. An AZ, make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> that not the best time to use the make it rain. You I'm know, trying. that's what we kind of gonna. That's your thing where we get you to do an action. You know. Oh, okay, okay. So where where Trevor Rainbolt is doing something, he makes it rain. Talking about. Actions though, Consus has picked a location. And they have guessed. And he's committed to Western Czechia here. And we see Trichter with a safer guess, kind of just center hedging. Two and seconds. he's going to Germany. He sees German. And, and Consus once again. Wow. And Consus is very close. This is what I'm talking about. It's just he's it's gonna be very hard to find to get him to slip up. He's just he hasn't lost any points yet. He has not, but it's only been a couple of rounds and the yeah, points true. are not 
too like you, you're not losing too many points if you're tricked. But when those multipliers start going, that's when you've got to pick up your pace. Yes, and I'm assuming this will also be one of those rounds where both players get pretty close in South Africa. South Africa, because we do have the signs with uh, names here. Something to keep in mind about South Africa is sometimes the signs on Generation 2 coverage, which is this uh, coverage we see here is older coverage. So the signs, a lot of the names in South Africa have changed in, in cities and towns. So uh, we'll see if they maybe recognize any of these. Victor going north of Pretoria, then going back south. So uh, the reason why this can't be like Botswana or like Lesotho or Eswatini is because of the Generation 2 coverage. Um, okay. You don't get that. Yeah, this you don't get this is not part. Great. You don't get this camera quality in other countries um, around South South Africa here. Um, there's other reasons as well, of course, like maybe mountains. You probably shouldn't send Botswana, but yeah. So I'm assuming both players are probably going to be looking for some information here. It looks like Trichter has sent Constance is on the clock. Doesn't look Constance has a, a guest down yet. So we'll see. He's going to know it's South Africa. Let's see what region he goes. I do like that going game. extremely south. Two seconds. Constance. You know, with the mountains. Wow, Trichter! Trichter on the really money. Close. You know, that's probably a, a town name knowledge because. A lot of them, and look at that, takes the lead. Yeah, you know, with those mountains, I, I don't blame Constance as a guest there. Uh, did, I don't know if I would have ever gone that north as Trichter there. But let's keep it going in Brazil with a pretty standard Brazilian kind of eastern, probably Rio, Sao Paulo round, if I were to guess, with how green and rolling hills it is. But we'll see what the players uh, think here. Round five, green rolling hills. We've got a Volkswagen truck. Perhaps we can spot some sort of... No, we're not going to look at the truck in more detail. I Ooh, thought that would have been... Yeah. And it, the more he went to that coverage there, it looks more dry. It would go more north. It's crazy how different seasons yeah, wow. make it look so different. Yeah, because at one point it's gone from super green lush, and then it looked much more like desolate. Yep. Just a bit further. And wow. Yeah, so both players are probably here looking for a road name. Um, on the side of the road, you can see it, it says like BR and then like the road name or like the road number. So they're probably looking on the side of the road for those right now um, or a town name or something similar. But um, when Brazil and you're on multis, you have to try and get the closest guess as you can because it's oh, such a big we country. we got a sign. Ponte something. Trichter has found a blue sign. And another behind him? Yeah. And, and he found the road uh, BR222. Yep. That's a road name. And it looks like he's zooming in, trying to find that. Doesn't look like Consus. Maybe. Consus out in the dark right now. Let's see, though. Again, they're scanning for, uh, Trichter is scanning for that road right now. And it looks like Consus doesn't have as much information. Looks like he might have gone a different way or has been slower or just missed it. But we'll see. I do like how north they're guessing here, uh, Trichter. Trichter still in that location, looking for those extra dudes. Now lining the road up. Yep, he's lining the road. And Presumably see. meaning he's confident. He's probably looking for a road that's going more east-west now, um, rather than uh, on for the 222. And looks like... Consus looks like... Consus it, is so Consus has found BR222. Yep. Sorry, 222. Now, triple two. Yep. Two cubed. They've both seen... <laughs> two cubed. 222. They've both seen that road now. It just depends who can find it first. Right? Yes. Is that, am I massively I mean, simplifying probably, there? Pro no, I mean, that's close enough. And also, you know, 108 kilom kilometers. So they're going to be using all this information okay, to... Yeah, and look, Trichter are going back to line the rub. I can't tell if he's found the road number, but it would be nice. It doesn't look like he has since he's... Maybe he's trying to find the 5K. Um, and it looks like Constance is scanning way south, but he's going back up north to look for the 222. But like I said, on Brazil, such a big country, you can't really risk any points here. It could be devastating. Consus has come in with a guess. Trick to now under the gun. Seven seconds remaining. Got to make a decision, buddy. And they're both super close. Very ended up, close. Ended to each up pretty other. close. And wow, Consus is closer. And there's the 2 2 2. Consus just pulling it off. That's going to be a little chip away at Trichter's over 5k worth of HP. We're yep. going into round six round now. Round six, which looks like an interesting round. I mean, it does look like we're going to be in the Scandinavian, like probably Sweden because of this mailbox right here, this red, or like, I don't actually don't know. Maybe Finland? I don't know. Trevor, before we get into this round, mm -hmm. I would like to remind everybody at home to get your tickets for the grand final happening here in Stockholm, October the 13th and the 14th at Space, which is a state-of-the-art gaming sort of tech hub. It has an amazing auditorium studio, which is where the grand finals 
will be taking place. Be sure to get your tickets if you can. You know, if you've got the space in your schedule and the money to come, you get to be here at the first big physical event for this game that you love. Get involved. I like the pun there. You have the space in your schedule. That wasn't even on purpose, man. Space is just a word, right? It just came up, but I'll take it. We'll take it. I'll take your appreciation as these players will attempt to take round number six. Round six. Er, round six. Double damage now, everybody. 2x, let's see. This is where that damage really ramps up. <laughs> Very true. Let's see, though. We have snow coverage here. So a lot of the players, pro players, do like to learn where there's snow coverage, things like that, especially in certain regions of like Sweden or things like that. Like, let's see what that sign says. Let me see if I can get closer and make it neg negligible for me. But um, I would assume we're going to be in... I can't read what language this, it is. This gen does not look great, the the, the photo quality. Yeah, that I think it's just because it's like gray out, but okay. it should be f like Northern Finland or Sweden okay. if, I'm, uh, if I'm not throwing. Just a desolate but landscape of snow and trees. Yeah, because no you, you can't yet. see road lines, which is uh, because there's snow. And now that I'm getting closer, it looks like... I like that pun. There's snow. You were saying there's no, right? Or oh, that's, that, was, uh, that was worse than the space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continue with yeah. your, your, your point, Trevor. No, yeah, I, I don't know where this is. I'm assuming it's like northern Sweden or Finland. And it looks like Constance, you know, I always defer to Constance's opinion over mine because he's just him. And he's going northern Finland. So I, 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 was, I, um, Finland. I like that, I guess. Looks like we might have Finnish Have you had a there. chance to go to Finland before? I haven't. Super nice. I've only been once, but it's super nice. Got to go end of last year. Oh, I think all Nordic countries are a brilliant place to visit. I've enjoyed it. And it looks like Constance is, uh, yeah, very northern Finland there. Double damage. But both very close. It shouldn't be too much of a hit. Two yep. trick to, yeah, just about 200 points. Yep. And this next round is going to be no real blunders here because it's going to be an obvious country once again. But let us see how they played out because we should be in Spain. Round seven, 2.5 times damage. And they're immediately zooming on the language there to see it's Spanish. Calle. What does that mean? Street. There you go. Oh, that, I can't believe you actually, was there a part of your brain which thought that maybe I didn't know what street was in Spanish? What Calle meant? Come it's, on. Uh, Trevor, you know, we're, suppo we're supposed to be like Batman and Robin. I'm Robin and you you, you no, should I, expect I, that from I, me. I knew you did. I was just trying to you know, make sure, let you flex your Spanish to the crowd. Yeah, that a huge flex. Big flex. <laughs> it was. I was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Either player right now, you think um, good a good idea of where they're at, or are they just like um, steadily they're, looking for more information? I mean, there is some... So, road oh, he, he found the, yeah. the road name or the road number, um, and that is what you're scanning for. So, fun fact about Spain is that, like, I don't know what it says, like VA or something says, like, the, the region of Spain you're going to be in. I think that... Uh, I hope that's not fake news, but that should be helpful to find the region um, if you know how to guess in Spain. And there's a couple of really talented Spanish players out there that would know this without even a road number, but Constance and Trichter are, are getting probably there close regardless. Let's see. Methodical round this. Constance has been on the mini map for a while now, or should I just say the map? Looking around, he spotted that sign that was, uh, it's, it's like a road number or? Yeah, it says the road number. Yeah, um, looking to. And so now he's looking for, Trichter's looking for, I don't know if he found a road number, but you could region guess based off kind of just like um, how warm it is or kind of the terrain and things like that. You probably get pretty close, but Constance has guessed. Let's Constance see. Constance has locked in 10 seconds now on Trichter. Also found a sign, but it's quite and late. And they're pretty seconds. close, though. They're still, still pretty close on 2.5x. I don't see very much damage going on here. And Constance. Very close from Constance. My favorite part is seeing the, the upset cursor movements after, I guess. This is so close. Four. 1,763 on Trick to oh Constance ahead by three points on 4,760. Constance is behind by three points. Sorry, behind by three points. That's Apologies. kind of a, uh, I mean, tomatoes, tomatoes. Let's, Tomato, uh, tomatoes. And we're going to be, it looks like, again, in, like, I don't know, Baltics or France or something. Let's start. Round seven. Triple damage now, everybody. I'm just, I'm just, like, so excited to be a part of this game right now that I think we're on it. I think I just want to watch, but that's okay. It's been so close so far. But it's as soon as that, like, there's a big difference, a big discrepancy in where these guys pick. There's going to be a huge swing in HP. But the question yep. is, does that happen? Or do they keep just chipping away yeah. at each other? It's a, it's, it's a question of who messes up first. Yeah. Um, and I, it looks like we do have Baltic poles there, if I were to guess. But that could be wrong. Let us see. But anyways, yeah, so 
Church are zooming on the architecture here. Yeah, that is helpful. Sometimes the brick could be helpful. And he found the main road, which is super important. You're, you're trying to get to these main roads. Oh, we're in Poland. Is it Polish? These trees maybe look Polish. Okay, uh, trick to that is a Polish straight in Polish font. Um, so you have different fonts on signs in Poland. Let's see. Uh, so that if you can't decide that's Poland itself, that would be a good indicator as well. Yeah. Konsis is deep in a village somewhere. And zooming around. He, Konsis is going is to know it's Poland because there's Polish poles and as we like to famously quote Ludwig, Polish trees. Um, Polish trees? Yeah, the trees just look Polish. Okay, that's a big tell. Polish trees. Yeah. So we've got Polish trees, Brazilian dirt. Yeah, Mongolian um, grass. Mongolian grass. But yeah, so both players are looking for signs here. Uh, the, the Poland is not really region guessable. You have to look for information. Mm. There's some things around the language and like um, what the cities end in. There's also things like mountains. And if you are if you see more mountains, you're going to be guessing more south where there's more kind of uh, hills. Maybe not mountains, I should say. But I don't know where the players are currently, but it does kind of look kind of hilly, but we'll see where they end up going. Both players zooming around, taking a few moments to pause, taking the scenery, see if there's any information to pick up. As Rainbolt just said, it's very hard to just sort of randomly guess in Poland. You really want to be accurate here? Yeah, Poland is kind of notoriously known as, uh, you know, it's just kind of, yeah, you know? It's a tough place yeah. to sort of just... But on moving, you, know, you can find with. information, so yeah. it's it's less, uh, it's more of a no moving skill issue. Tricked has paused on this shop name, and mm. that seems to have given him some sort of tell because he zoomed in there on the map. Yeah, so maybe I, seeing if he could see some sort of like. I've talked to pros before around kind of Polish region guessing and how they knew certain regions, and sometimes it's like the end of the the town names are like CH is more common in the north. I don't know what it actually is, but okay. there's things like that that players are knowing. So that's what we're looking for now, or even just if they recognize this town name. But there's so many small villages and things like that in Poland, you can't really know everything. So we'll see. They're taking their time, though, as you probably should, because Poland is uh, deceptively probably a large country. So see if uh, they, anyone can get a good guess here, because it's only a three-point game right now. Anyone's game. This is a long, hard-fought round. Both players doing everything they can to extract as much information as possible. But Poland is not giving it to them. That being said, trick to right now, sort of looking at that sign. Any information right there? So they've seen the same same four town. They're looking for a bigger city that I don't think they're going to be able to find. But uh, is, is he zoomed in on Prudnik? Looks like he it might be. Maybe not. Maybe in different PR. Uh, yeah, probably not since he's scanning around. But... And my pronunciation of that is probably bad. Uh, you know, I might almost commit southwest here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that confidently. I'm gonna go southwest. You're going southwest Poland. I'm going southwest Poland. Okay. That's just my vibe. Got a, uh, a sign with a lot of information there for Consus. Oh, that's massive information for Consus. Last second here. Tricked is locked in. Pressure's on Consus, but it did look like he'd sort of picked out a location based three on that seconds. big information. Two seconds now. Oh. oh, wow. Trickta doing a great job. That's going to be a thousand points. A thousand damage. The biggest chunk yet. Consus is going to be feeding that one. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was Southwest. Did I just steal Trickter's guess? Maybe. You're just too good, Maybe. Trev. Maybe I did. Maybe that was, a, that was a slight skill issue. But we'll see on next round. It looks like we might have new Gen 4 Germany. Or if it's Luxembourg, I'm not that guy yet. I haven't. There's no yellow plate, so there should be new Gen 4 Germany. Gen 4 Germany, baby. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what player. So, like, I, this this just got released. Assuming it is Gen 4 Germany, it looks like it is to me. It would be very embarrassing if not. Looking high fidelity. It's looking it's, good. Uh, yeah, so this just got dropped. New DLC just dropped. The new Google Maps DLC. Consus has played it before. Trick to lagging behind 10 seconds. You've got to get a move on. This is going to be interesting. I'm not sure who's better. There we at, go. And, and Consus is not close. Is not close. Trichter but Trichter has is picked up 2,300 points in Germany. The money. Trichter. Wow. And next round here, round 10. The We're German done. in Germany. You can't beat the. That's probably why we saw an instant send by Consus, was because he knew. He knew. Uh, you know, Trichter is Belgium. He does live in Germany. Oh, Trichter's Belgium. Apologies. But guys. he does live. He does live in Germany. Oh, he lives in Germany. Yeah. Because yeah. I know you said you met up with him in Germany. Yeah. Assumption. Yeah. Yep. So he's representing Team Belgium, but he is living in Germany. Anyways, 
Round nine on Thailand. Like round said. nine. And, you know, if this is a tough round for Consus, he will lose game number one. Yes, but I'm not sure who's better here. I know Consus is kind of... He's pretty good at everything, so we'll see. But Trickster is showing quadruple you know, damage. I'm just excited that we we, we could get we get we get content more rounds out of this. Um, we do have tie pulls here. Nothing else really screams. Maybe Trickster's something. going straight. That's an alpha. That's an AZ. That's an AZ. AZ. It is. It's an AZ. It, AZ. Off the rip. Oh, Trickster. Have... Fast. Aggressive. And I do like the Eastern tie guess here with that soil. We probably see a similar guess here by Consus, and we do. The, and, literally almost the same road. They wow. are so close. And Trickster that's, just closer. So it's be a small bit of damage there. And that's what I mean by... 200. But it when you've only got 1.4k HP left, 200 is a lot. Yeah, and that's what I mean by Thailand. You know, both players and myself both thought it was Eastern Thailand. Yeah. And, you know, it's it could it's just bait West. But we're going to be South Africa. What do you think these two are speaking about? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. Maybe we could, you could ask them. Should we call them? <laughs> call them? Is there a name on the... <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> we start calling every number you see. We're just going to call every number we see. All right, round 10. We're still on 4x. No, round 11. Round apologies. 11. It's going to be 4.5x. 4.5x. Consus, 1.2k. Trickta, 4.8, roughly. This is moving. Um, I would just instance in Pretoria here if I was uh, the coward I am. But let's see what happens here. It is very dry, so it could be near like Uppington or something like that, maybe. Um, but I'm, I'm, it could be near the border over there by bots. Botswana. Botswana. But I'm not I'm not too sure. So there's another one of your nicknames for a country, bots. Bots. We had Monty Arge. Wa. Monty Arge. Yeah. W A. Wa. I'm trying to think of others. Yeah, I don't know. You could just call the USA U. You could. You could. That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking at desolate heat on screen. It's uh, wherever we are, it's looking Extremely hot. The ground is dry, and I can imagine that both players are feeling the pressure and the heat themselves in their rooms, wherever they're playing from. Yes, probably their rooms. It's a tough situation to be in if you're conscious, because you want to be as accurate as possible. You are on the back foot. Yep, Trickster is coming with an advantage, and I know he's probably still nervous because going up, going up against Consus, it's uh, it's still anyone's game, mm. especially against such a talented player, obviously. But we'll see if Trickster can pull off a pretty good guess here. Looks like no information. You get put in a random neighborhood, you know, it's hard to find the... You're looking for a main road right now, something with info. Yeah, a main road with info would, I'm sure, help them massively. So that I imagine that's that's a key thing. You're, you, you don't want to be on these little back roads. You don't want to be in like a little community like we're seeing here. You want to look for something where it's going to give you as much information as possible. Yeah, on these moving games, you're looking you're looking for info. Yeah. You're looking for something that tells you exactly you where want, you are, the road name, the yeah. town name, the city name, whatever you're looking for. Um, or even just a, a better clue, like a, a phone area code or something. Because um, I, I, I know, I think Constance might even know South African area codes. So, and it looks like Trickster has gone back to the beginning. Maybe he's trying a different road. He didn't like that road he was going down. He's going a different direction. He was not confident that he was going to find a major road. It looks like Constance is still stuck in the neighborhood too. It looks like he might be getting out soon. But we're just driving around South Africa right driving now. Driving around. And Constance has found the main road, it looks like. What way does he want to go? He's looking for signs or something. He's going left. He's going left. Going against the traffic. Against the traffic. Flying over the traffic like Superman. And now here he is. He has a massive advantage right now because Constance or Trickster is still looking for a road with information. But Constance could, or Trickster could find the other road and go the other way and there could be information right there, which is what he looks like. Will he go left? If he goes left, he will be going the same way Constance was going. Ooh, well, we've Constance. got some sort of um, real estate poster that has picked up on. And Church is going right. We have Church separate is going roads. Right. We're, we're seeing a deviation here in the pathing. Path the question is whose pathway will reveal more? 4.5x damage. And Constance, Constance could easily lose here in South Africa. You, you, you go Pretoria on when it's like near Uppington or something like that. That's a GG. So we'll be... Uh, He's definitely taking his time. And at this point, you've committed. You know, both players have pretty much committed to finding information. So let's see if they can then they can find anything. Home of Champions. Rand Tricked her, oh, taking that? a look at some artwork there. But it looks that like might be a big town. It might be a town name. I'm not... Oh, he's, so, he's, 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 he's communicating he's there. talking to us. Talking to us. What's up, Trick? Yeah, that's his... Uh, 
He's looking at all, all, this is he's looking at the advertising yeah, on the codes. wall. So this is 4.5x damage. Anyone's game here. I mean, Constance could also win here. But it looks like Churcher might have more information. Both Constance players gonna... spinning up. There's an AZ. Constance zooming in. He thinks he's got a good feeling of where he's at. Or does he? That's the question. How confident is he? I'm not sure if he knows what he's looking for right now, to be honest. Okay. But he's uh, also him, so I'm not too sure. This is a very methodical round. There, oh, oh, Mona, Mona driving, driving school. school. Two numbers, write them down, we'll call them one by one. <laughs> we do need, I do need help driving, I'm kind of bad. You've been traveling, brother. You've Ooh, been traveling all over. I was in South Africa like two weeks ago. Yeah. But this is, uh, yeah, I mean, I would go oh. more north here, to be honest. But this is where one of those, maybe party instant sending Pretoria, maybe he gets closer than both players taking 20 minutes. You know, it could be one of those things. So it could be more east. We do have some palms. It could be near water, but uh, it looks pretty dry. It is looking very dry. Both players taking their time. This is new coverage, too, so... What does that mean, new coverage? It's just like, uh, it's probably taken from the past two years. Okay. Oh, this is getting it. He's at oh. an intersection. Wait, we've got a guess. Constance has, Constance has guessed. thrown Just the north of Pretoria. I mean, I like the guess, honestly. And Trichter... It's put the pressure on Trichter. And look, in the end, you all end up in Pretoria. Yeah. It's Both relatively close. It's going to be a small bit of damage towards Oh, and Trichter's, Trichter's upset because that was the... the Not a small bit. Constance is now under 1K. And you see how upset he was because he saw the name of the of the town that he saw on the sign in the what was know, the what was the Randa Feinton or something? Oh, okay, Randa. it was from that. It did. Okay. It was it was just southwest of Pretoria. He's upset he didn't know that. But looks like we might be in Ireland. I'm just gonna keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yeah, let's keep it going. We're going from dry now to more green. Yes, you recognize this place? It, Five X damage. I would go Ireland here. I usually associate white housing more with Ireland over the UK, Oof. but I'm not that guy, pal. <laughs> so this could be UK. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it's definitely UK, like... like uh, Wales or something. Uh, I, it could be on... I don't know. I could never tell Summer you. Hill Road. This should be the UK. Summer Hill Road, we've seen. At least Trevor has found Summer Hill Road. We'll see where the players go Oh, here. and Tricked has just found Summer Hill Road as well. And then he's looked uh, at the Connor. opposing... Opposing uh, signage. Looking for number plates. Um... We have another Isle Man. Maybe he Quite saw a number plate that, that was... Uh, that's being locked in. That was an AZ on the Isle So of he Man. must have seen a number plate that had a red strip on because he did zoom in. I didn't see it, but if he's committing that... Tricked is going to is, Wales. If it is Isle of Man, he would pick up points. Has he guessed? Tricked guessed. is going North Wales. It was Isle of Man. And he's way off. Tricked her. Is that, is that gonna ever going to be enough? It's not. Only 2200. Taking that's a massive. lot of damage, but not out of the game yet. 2.5k. That's massive. That huge, huge for Consus. That's going to be a big confidence booster. Yep, and we're going into the next round here, round 12. Let's keep going. I don't want to slow these players down any more no, than I need they're to. in the zone, as are we, as all of you at home should be as well. Once again, shout out to all of you for joining us. Yes. Hope you are enjoying the show. We've got Consus fans. We've got Trick to fans. I can see it. See you all in the chat. The question here is, do I go Bolivia or Peru? I'm, uh, I'd probably go somewhere. Oh, there's a Bolivian flag there, so I would go Bolivia here. Um, and Bolivia is one of those countries, assuming this is Bolivia, is uh, where players know the roads. Um, they know almost so the, every the, the, road. So the high-level players know like Constance, the, the roads. I, I think Constance might know every road in Bolivia that's covered. Because uh, Bolivia is one of those countries that hasn't covered the whole country, and there's only okay. certain roads. I see, I and see. And so you only less learn. Roads you, to know. There's less roads to know. Most, most player, players at this level that they're at, have learned the roads, yeah. Um, but maybe not. Maybe this is a distinct one that they haven't seen. But I'm expecting maybe some 5Ks here. And Trichter goes to line up the road. He obviously knows the road, and Constance follows suit, lining the road Constance up. Constance going fast there. And uh, they're looking for the road here. That's what they're doing. Looking for something that lines up with the road angle. 5.5x damage. And you see we have that intersection east. That makes this pinpointable. So you can see on the map there's going to be a, a road. They're looking for the, the white road that sticks out. I see. East um, of this pinpointable, pinpointable road. Consus is just rushing along that road. Potentially, now changing roads, but potentially looking for that intersection that you mentioned. Now zooming yep. in on some water. Consus is, he's scanning like a maniac. Yeah. He's looking. 
He's looking at the rivers. I wonder if he saw a river name that he's looking at or a bridge name. There we go. Did he, did oh, he no? see a bridge name? I might have yeah. seen the bridge name that he looked at when he went north. Still scanning. I think Constant might be might be cooking up the 5k. Hold up. Let him cook. Who let bro cook? <laughs> Constant is still scanning, but he does not decide to commit to anywhere. He's just sort of scanned across. Yes. Have they both just reset? Are they both in the... They both reset to look to see if they can line it up. But oh, looks like this is a long sort of like... No, it looks like they're looking back for more information or if they can yeah. read um, the sign that they read previously. They made it for Gore. Grand Feria, Agricola. I couldn't read the second bit. A lot of information there. Scrolled on surfaces. Yeah, I mean, losing in Bolivia would be quite devastating. I think both players are both pretty talented in Bolivia. They both want to get a 5k here. It looks like Consus is, or Trichter's lining up roads Consus here. Consus lining up a road after seeing a sign. Trichter is also zooming in. Is that going to be a guess, though? No, just putting his marker down. This is this is getting intense. It is. Intense. Intense. But game. yes, I honestly, I don't know even if Consus can make he only has 900 points on 5x damage. You know, it's very minimal. He guesses the, the wrong area of the road and he could easily just lose the wrong intersection down the road. So this is massive. Or he could also win if Trichter blunders the road as well. So they're both taking their time here. Constance goes back to lining the road up. Taking their time, indeed they are. They both want to make this work. Trick to maybe trying to match up there. What he's seeing, he's, he's circling something. And this is the thing you get with moving games. You know, there's so much information available. You don't. You have to use it. You, you know? sometimes psych yourself out. Yeah, it's like the more you, the more you see, the less you know. Yeah. You know, sometimes your intuition, your first guess, is just better. You know, like both players, if they were playing NPC, they both would have instant in Pretoria. Yeah. And they would have probably got closer guesses than you know, their 20 minutes on that game. But we will see what ends up happening here. I feel like it would benefit either player right now to make the first move. I could be right. Well, the Consus has just gone and done it. Consus has picked their spot. Now has, Trichter how under the gun. How confident is Consus in his road or in his intersection? Five seconds. Is Trichter still moving around? I don't know where it was going to be. There we go. Trichter. Trichter right on top. That's going to be surely That's enough. That's game. That's game. That is game. It's the knockout blow. Trichter takes game one. Trichter takes game one and in moves Bolivia. ahead. That is a huge way to start off this series for the Belgian. And we'll say, both those players' strong suits aren't moving, as you can maybe see. It's uh, they're, this right here, no moving, is where they're about to see their their strengths showcase. Are we gonna see some serious AZs? We might see some AZs. All right, before we get into that though, let's check in once again with our man in the sky, Peter. How's it going on your end? Going really well. We have plenty of interesting games to share. Uh, the first one that we want to share is from Volker. Uh, Volker playing against the JH. JH. This was a tricky round here uh, where uh, JH uh, went with uh, Sweden. And Volker lost, uh, like, as you can see, no. it's round three. And Volker was left with 190 points. And he was hanging by a thread for many, many, many rounds. And at round 11, oh. uh, he could not hang on oh anymore and, and lost uh, to JH. Wow. But it was super intense. The From round three with 190 points right he there. He made it to round tw 11 with 190 points. Yeah, well, that, well, that was very intense to watch. Oh and my god. We, we also have uh, had two games, uh, two rounds, uh, well, yeah, two games uh, between uh, Derzigi and uh, Tilko. Ooh. Uh, this was the first uh, moving game bet uh, between both of them. Ziggy took uh, large damage at the very first round, uh, but then uh, they played quite a, quite a long game, got to round 10, and Ziggy made a comeback victory. Shout out to Arkansas. Yeah, Shout very close. Shout out to Arkansas. <laughs> Pine Bluff, been there. Rainbow, that's where you're from, brother. And this is the second game, no mo no moving game. Uh, but as you can see, Tilko oh, was, no. uh, took the upper hand oh, here. Oh, no way. Went with the wrong country, but was much closer, so... Pays off. Yeah, currently they are playing the NMPZ game. So and they are... Ooh, NMPZ. They're in game three, Olympia. so that one. Olympia's oh. known for his NMPZ skills. Oh, really? He's like a strictly NMPZ player, so that will be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, the game is interesting, I can tell you that much. 
Okay, well, Peter, we will leave you to it and check in again with you soon for more updates on the games that myself and Rainbolt are not watching. True. Very shortly, we'll get into game number two here for us. It's been tight. That first game, probably our longest one yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that I was mean, super that was, tight. Uh, very methodical, just as you predicted. Maybe not as many rounds, but that those their rounds lasted way longer. They took their time, methodical. So we'll probably see something less likely on no move going forward because uh, they're they're more you know they have the information available pretty quickly, so they use it. But now both players, you're saying, are in their realm of expertise. This is uh, this is their sweet spot. This no move is where we should see the action truly pop off between Consus and Trictor. No moving, everybody at home. Trevor, whenever you're ready, brother, sure. we can get this going. We're gonna start off in Japan here. It's looking like Japan. It is no moving. The, what we'll see immediately is them zooming in the plates. As I see here, both of them obviously do it because those plates are regional to Japan. I don't know which player knows which. Because there is a lot. Trichter looks pretty confident there in his zoom, but they're looking for things at the you know the, all over the pole there to help you know to, to decide. There's also um, guy wires, which is like the the wire that holds up the pole kind of, and those um, those are distinct to different regions. Consus, Consus, and Trick to guessing at the same time is Consus coming out on top. That's going to be a solid bit of damage. Luckily, that one for Trick to not happening in the later rounds with big multipliers because that would have been big damage. For now, though, just a bit of chip. Just a little. And this uh, next round here will be a very, very minimal round, too. And we'll probably see a pretty quick guess. Um, and I have already started, so we will get into it. You have them ready and rearing to... You have yellow back oh. plates. Both players will know what this means. You're driving right. Um, and maybe you might even say Consus might have the upper hand here as the Dutch, but Netherlands are notoriously known for not really being that region guessable. A guess has come in first from Consus. Tricked has got 10 seconds now to respond, lining up the road. Wow. Looking to really pinpoint the location. Only three seconds left, and, and it doesn't quite pay off. It's Consus. Both of them. A bit closer. Both of them pulling out the Northern Dutch vibes. Yeah. Which is kind of impressive. Only 50 damage, though. Only These 50. early rounds. Early rounds. Let's just keep them Let's going. Let's keep it going. This is Thailand. Nice. Keep going. Round three. Round three, everybody. You know, my region guess here immediately, I went pretty north, I think. Wait, is that, oh my god, is that Bangkok Pole? Bangkok Pole. No, it might be a fake meta. I know I've seen some in Chiang Mai as well, but if I zoom in on this pole, it looks low-key like a Bangkok Pole. And what are the markers of a Bangkok Pole? It looks like the Brazilian Pole. But you've also get them elsewhere, but I've seen them when I was in Bangkok a lot in Bangkok. And other members of the community have also mentioned the same thing. Not sure what they're looking at here, but I do see it's like the indent in the poll. I could be spreading fake meta here, which I love doing, spreading fake information. Fake meta, fake news. But um, I don't know. This doesn't really look like Bangkok at all. Is that a snake trap on the poll? There is snake traps on the poll too, I think. So I'm probably spreading fake. I think you get those polls more in populated areas because they're probably just bigger. But I am not too sure because both players here are going south on the peninsula, which does make sense. Both players on the map right now, picking spots, honing in on what they think is the correct location. Yeah, so I mean, it's super. it looks super tropical, which is why they're going south um, with all the palms and kind of just like the overall vegetation. You don't really see that that north, so I, I, I would expect pretty close guesses here by both of them. As we have Consus with the first guess in here, Trichter still looking for a road, and Consus was, I think, somewhat closer there, yep. Just a little bit, 21 points of damage. And uh, once again, I did spread, spread fake information, so we'd love to see that. It's a steady start. Round Trichter slightly on the back foot, but nothing to worry about yet. Yeah, you know, no big multis. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Round number four, everybody. Ayers, Ayers Visitor, Visitor Center. Center. You know where this is? Ayers. Oh, well, I know in the UK there's a place called Ayers, but I, I don't know if this is the UK. Yeah, it is. It is, okay, yeah. So you, maybe you're just, uh, you're just him on this location. You would. Where is it? I don't know, bro. Like it's hey. apparently north, according to Trichter here. We'll see. Um, it doesn't look like very Scottish. Scotland. Okay. So going. Sc oh, we've got. Oh wait, maybe. Conscious going South Island. Wait, maybe it is Ireland. Now going to Northern Ireland, swinging back to Wales. Conscious is dodging all over the UK right now. All over. Wait, I think we're in Isle British of Man. Isles. Why are we always in the Isle of Man? 
It is. Maybe you should. Is there a conspiracy there? We always maybe, end up in the Isle of Man. Maybe the Isle of Man is. Maybe we are the Isle of Men. <laughs> wow, my mind is blown. No, I don't. Know. I don't know what it means, but it's provocative. I would almost go. You know, mainly because I'm kind of using the meta of the map so far as well. I would almost just guess Isle of Man, just because I think I've seen it. It's Gen 2. Consus is settling in on the north of Ireland. Okay. Sticking it there. Trick to Trick going currently Scotland. Scotland. Um, if it's Isle of Man, no one's picking them. I'm, I'm probably just not. This is going to be a solid it was. score. And it was Isle of Man. I was going to say, it's going to be a solid score for if either player is closest based on you know where they actually got to. But neither was. They were neither quite were, evenly yeah, was away. Even, yeah. But the man next to me. The man place. is fast as lightning. You know, I might have called the region Rainbow. wrong at least 90% of the time tonight, but that's okay because I got yeah. one right and we can stick on to that. Yeah. Next round. Round five. Let's get it going. Let's keep it going. You can already see. There's lots of information on this round. Signpost there. And ZA, presumably. South Africa. I know. I know what you Or it could be Eswatini, to be honest. Or Lesotho. Oh, it is Eswatini. Mubane. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a, uh, um, oh, they know the, the city's better than I do, I guess. It is, it should be a SVT. And we do have a ridge. This will be 5 k -able, I would say. You think this is, a, we're going to see a 5K here? We have information. I'm not sure if we will. We could, though. We definitely could. We haven't had a chance to see a 5K in this matchup yet. Perhaps now is the moment. Cons is really zooming in there, but then switching back to a completely different location. Trick is looking at the roads. Trick is looking at the pylons there. Yeah, so they're scanning for the, up the road. I guess the names here. Um, we're gonna be near the capital, regardless. So I think both players are pretty close. I mean, Trick is right outside, so on 1.5x damage. In there the we go. Country, like I guess comes in from Consus. Trick to now, looking to make his move. And it's Consus that's a bit closer. 1.5x damage now. Wow. Massive 38 points. 38 pickup. points, everybody. Wow. That is devastating. Pop your champagne. Wow. It's popping off in here. It is. Yeah, and no, this is I thought it was going to be more, but then it was. They, I thought it was. Um, yeah, small country moment. Yeah, small yep. country moment. And it looks like we might be in like Bulgaria, is my best bet here at the winter coverage. Look at this. When it looks low key, Street View did Bulgaria dirty. It's, dude, like. They did. It's like anti Bulgaria. Like, yeah, they're, they're, and this is on a no move as well. This is tough. Or, yeah. and, and, and both zooming It's crazy, because if you look at this in Gen 4 coverage, and new coverage, it looks Consus like a... Went, went in with a hard AZ lock. Yeah, like this is a, it's a pretty standard bulg. Okay, they they both sort of went nice. yeah. you know, standard Nice, yeah. And there's no information available, you're kind of, you know... But 982 points. That's pretty big. Starting to, well, with, on double damage, we're starting to chop up, and Consus chop, chop up the HP. Consus needs to needs to win this game. He does. Otherwise, he takes a loss. A loss. That doesn't mean he's out of doesn't the tournament. Doesn't mean he's out. But it does mean he does take a loss to Drifter, yes. which would be ratio. Okay, right next round here. Let's see. We're going to be in Australia. We have a domain. Oh, can see flick.com.au. Got soap. Got soap. Hygiene services. That's interesting, right? What are we talking here? Are we talking, do they clean your house? Do they clean you? Do they clean your car? It's just general hygiene services. It looks like they have toilet paper, so maybe they do clean you. We've got sponges. We've got toilet paper. We've got shavers and syringes. And uh, anti bag there's all types of stuff going on here. Yeah, anyway, as we far as region, I'm not sure. I would go <laughs> Queensland here with the palms. Queensland. There's a large body of water to our... They both that's... like. They both love this flick truck just as much as we do. Yeah, information. You look for information. Are they in Queensland right now? I would go Queensland with the, with the kind of how tropical it looks. It could be something like... I don't know. I, don't, I never see NT here unless it's like super east. What's NT? Uh, Northern Territory. Okay. Um, but there's also a large body of water south, I think, which would be inf which would be interesting. I don't know if that's the ocean or if that's like a what that is. It could be a lake, but it was just north of uh, Queensland there. Two point five x, barely a discrepancy, but but when you times it by two point five, it makes a hundred. Yep, and this round we will see some points. I think. Oh, you think there's going to be? A I think because why well, is that? It uh, looks pretty, you know, generic. My best guess here would be somewhere in like the prairies in the U.S., or it could even be like Sask. I don't see Sask. I see like a North Dakota or something. 
And wow, Trickster just validating me instantly with that North Dakota zoom in. North Dakota zoom in. Let's see if there's any information available, though. I do not think there will be. Yeah, they're both players are scanning, looking for information. Do have corn there, I think. So maybe the corn. Maybe we see a player go near where there's some corn. We do see a South Dakota guest Trickster going a little more south near Nebraska. It does make sense with the corn, I presume. Kant's is making his guess There is here. corn here, but it's not as impressive as that corn we saw earlier. That big corn statue. Big corn. I love that. Corn meta in the chat. Corn meta in the chat. Don't forget it, everybody. <clears throat> Let's get it trending, guys. Looking at the polls here, nothing too distinct about these polls. I don't think that would... Uh, I can tell you one thing. They're not Bangkok polls. Mm. That's true. What if they are? There's, That'd be crazy. They're, 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 unless they imported them, they're Man, not I'm, Bangkok I'm going to take one to Bangkok and just prove you wrong. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's, that's what you can do when you're Rainbow, you know, millions of followers across social media, all the views. If you want a Bangkok poll in Gosh, darn it. another country, you just say, Thailand, send one over. Nice. And we do have two, uh, we have Nebraska and the, look at North Dakota. Mon uh, Constance is going Montana there, getting closer. Montana, okay. But only 90 points, so. We're already, we're in triple damage, but this is very close. It's also, it's also important to remember how how nervous these players probably are going into this. You know this game. Yeah. Looks like we have a Brazil again. Let's just keep it going. Keep it going, keep it Brazil. Going. Round nine. I'm trying to see if we have any Piranha Pines or anything like that. I would almost go. We. I don't know where I would go here. I mean, we have these hills again that would say somewhat east. We do have a round pole here. A round pole, I would assume. I usually associate more with southern Brazil. Okay. So that is what I'm looking at here. But I cannot tell if that's a round pole or not. I'm not sure what the players, if they'll make that out. But I looked for Piranha Pines because it immediately looked like that Piranha region to me. And we do have Trickster zooming in kind of close. But we'll see. I would go pretty south here, I think. Like maybe Sao Paulo, Piranha. Well, Tr oh, Trickster is, is outside Sao Paulo right now. I'd gone north, though, not south. Consus is also lingering between Sao Paulo and Catiba. And, but, and Consus makes that their guess there, closer to Catiba. Curitiba, sorry. Trick to now. Pressure on five seconds. He's going to stick. Yep, sticking north wow. of Sao Paulo. And it's on the money. No, it's not on the money. Apologies, missed all that. But much, much closer for Trick to, and it's going to be a big chunk of damage against Consus. Consus, Trick are kind of asserting his gameplay right now. It's uh, quite the spectacle to see. He's, very, very, he's made very little mistakes. The Trickster. The Trickster. Wow, that was good. I'll give you props on that one. Thanks, brother. Let's get it going. Round number 10. To start South Africa again. Let's see if they quadruple take quadruple damage. The damage is really spiking. We could see some big damage if there's a bit of a blunder, a bit of a misplay. Yeah, I mean, again, I just sent Pretoria. I'm just, I'm not sure. Douglas was that spa? It said spa Douglas on on that. Yeah. D Doug, well, shout out to Doug. Shout out to Doug. Maybe that's the person's name. Maybe it's a town name. I think it's a town name. I'm pretty certain, to Doug. I don't know why I know why, why this is in my head, but I, Douglas is definitely a town name. I hope it is. It 100% is a and town if name. If there is, shout out to someone watching this from Douglas. Yeah. Out there. Shout out to you in Douglas. Both yeah. players spinning around. Get out of their way. Yep. They're coming. Zooming kind of in the same area, too. Let's see. Is he zooming in? On? Is he in Douglas? Who? I think Consus is in Douglas. Con Consus is in Douglas. I told you here first, it's a town Wait, name. If, if this is a real... Consus has found it. He's found the exact location. He found Douglas. The quadruple damage. Oh, what man. is going to happen here? 1K. It's going to be oh down God. for the wire. Nine 900 six, points. Four. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Douglas. Consus needed that. Shout out. But let's, let's wait for the, the camera. Shout out to Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> And this is going to be zero points. Ooh, zero zero points. points. Why is that? Because it says Fun Chao right there. It's just everyone, they're both going to know this is going to be uh, Madeira. Okay. I've actually, yeah, yeah, they're both going to know this. Okay. Yeah. So. Richter's going at it first, going on to the Isle of Madeira. And yep. And it has an airport. I mean, yeah. I mean, Trichter doesn't lose 900 points on Madeira. So this will be going into round 12 here. Um, there is water. You Looking go. for a roundabout. Roundabout. Yeah, I've uh, I drove I drove a lot in Madeira actually. Yeah, I did. I actually. Did you drive on this roundabout? 
You know, I did do a video where I visited every I, single I, yes, diverse I, yes. world. I, I, yes. Yes. So we have a man in the studio that has been on this exact roundabout, and it's Trickta that will hopefully be picking the location that Rainbolt was living in. Who was closer? Constance. Constance on the money. Is that five paid? Nope, it's 5K, not enough. No, it's not enough. It's Only not enough at all. Small island. Left. Small island. And oh my God, this next round will decide it. This next, do you think this next this round? This is Brazil. This will decide it, I think. I mean, what you mean, either way, or you think if Constance wins, Trick is going out? It's, it leans towards, Con let's just start. It okay. leans towards Constance's favor, though. All right, but everybody at home, listen to our expert in the studio. I know many of you are experts at home as well, but Rainbow is saying that this could be it. This could be the winning blow for Consus. This trick to have what it the takes, let's find is, out. The general region is kind of almost obvious. It's going to be near that Sao Paulo region again. It depends on who gets the better region guess here because these mountains are quite distinct. We have the southern poles, with the round poles. It's a, it's a matter of who gets the better region guess here in this region that Trichter's in right now. Could it be a little more south? Yes. They're currently looking for mountains north, um, which is kind of a lot of places here. Um, but yeah, this is going to be intense. And they're again, they're both zooming in. Consus needs on 5x damage very little. But there's no information to go off of. There's nothing to read. They're going strictly off of this mountain here. So and that uh, mountain, they're trying to line up the geography. They're probably looking for the mountains on the map that kind of gives them in the pocket that makes sense. Because other than that, they all know the general region, but that's about all they know. And that's kind of what Consus was hinting at right there. And that's why they're so close to each other right here, right now, and getting closer. Consus has gone in first, tricked to now, with five seconds left making their oh guess. God, Consus, Consus is closer. Is that enough? Could that be it? It's enough. It's going to be enough. 1.4K. Consus does it. We're going to NMPZ. We are going to NMPZ. 1-1. One, one. We'll Dude. be going to game number three, the decider. Consus with a huge, like two huge plays there that sort of ended it. That was clutch. Massively clutch. clutch. The Brazil. The Brazil pays off. And I also think him taking the initiative to, again, I can't, I don't know well enough, but it, him making the, the first move really yeah. puts the pressure on. Yeah, and yeah, that's Consus. He, 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 he's pretty confident, I think, in his guesses. He, he knows this game more than most people, and so he knows he's him. So he's, he's playing like it. Let's see if Trichter or Consus, it's anyone's game going in the PC. They're just as talented in this format. Yes, he is him right now, and we are going to go to one of our favorite people upstairs, Peter. Big P. Big P. <laughs> hello, hello. GOP. <laughs> GP. <laughs> We've been following some of the same games as we will, as I briefed you before. Uh, let's first pay attention to Bulgar versus JH, the no moving game. No moving. This was a very interesting one because, uh, as you can see, Bulgar uh, 5Ks it, aligns the road, he 5Ks it, and uh, oh, no. Yeah, JH did not recognize Bermuda there. Wow. So that's a massive damage right there from Bulgar, and they moved on to NMPZ. Ooh. Uh, which was a very interesting, uh, interesting game as well. As you can see, the damage uh, multipliers 2.5, and that was enough here. Uh, as you can see, uh, Island. Oh, he went straight yeah, long Bulgar gun. mixed up the countries. Oh no, that's devastating. Yeah, on NMPZ, this, these things happen all the time. Uh, and the other game we we were following was their Ziggy versus Tilko. In NMPZ. Uh, it was NMPZ. Yeah, they moved on to NMPZ. Uh, at first, uh, oh, their no. Ziggy took on a big damage, very big damage, right Huge at the start. Huge damage. DR. Wow. Losing that was a, in round, in round two. two? That that's was a, that's round a big two. blunder there, right? Yeah. That's the only time you see points like that in those initial rounds. Yeah, it happens. And as and you can see, the game moved on up to round oh five. Oh my god! And their Ziggy no. clutched it. No shot. Massive, massive no comeback way. from the way. Ziggy right there. Huge by Ziggy. And you know, Ziggy. That's the comeback Ziggy wanted earlier. And you know, on NMPZ, on a roll round like that, Ziggy's known for his uh, his gameplay in a map called ARW, A World World. And when you get a map like that with no information but just trees, that's where, Z that's where Ziggy that's rides. That's where Ziggy shines. He definitely yeah. shined right there. Climbs those trees and sees over the canopy. All right, back to you guys. Thank you so much, Peter. We're ready to go with the third and final game. This is the Decide It's NMPZ, still image, toughest game mode, and perhaps going to be our most electric game yet, Trev. What do you think? I'm hyped. I, I've waited for this moment for a while. And like I said, whatever happens, you know, both players are just talented and um, 
uh, uh, they, they'll both, you know, probably do their do well within their own group. So we'll see what happens though. Who gets the win here? It's gonna be massive. It's gonna be massive. Consus versus Trickta. It's been such a hard for battle right now. Do you have any initial impressions from it looks the image like, on screen? Looks like Gen 4 Germany, I think. It's looking like but my we'll favorite see. thing in the world. Gen 4 Germany. Everybody at home, get hyped. It's the decider game between Consus and Trickta. The winner gets a much wanted W. Yes, and uh, let's see if it is Gen 4 Germany here. Um, it could be Luxembourg, Lux Luxembourg, like I said, but they are zooming in to Germany here. Let's see if Consus does the same. Looks like he will be. I mean, you know, Trickter is living in, in Germany. So that we'll see. I don't know if that is much of an advantage because Germany has just came out. So I'm not sure which player has learned the most, but Consus has, you know, obviously done somewhat. Usually in that East Berlin area, you do get more sand in the area. So it does make sense with what we saw right there in Germany and those guesses right there. And this is going to be another uh, standard ground for these guys. So especially on NNPZ, you can see the car here. This is going to be car mode. You can tell we're driving right. Let's just start the game and see what happens on NNPZ round two. I am excited. This is a... Uh, this is good. And on an NPC, this is good, you know, framing so far. They're going to know it's Senegal. Uh, Senegal recently updated Gen 4 coverage as well a couple months ago. And you do get this more green stuff in the south. And they both know that. And they're both instant sending that. That is a great thing to see. Only losing 200 points. And this next round looks like it's going to be a fun one. Looks like we might have the Gen 3 Columbia Antana here. And excuse my pronunciation of Antana. I am saying it like that. I do not care. Antana. But I could be wrong. Let's find out. If you didn't have this car uh, meta available, I'm not sure if you would go Colombia here. I could be wrong, but you do usually get this the, get this antenna in Colombia, Ecuador, Mexico, and Brazil. But usually with the black car, you do go Colombia here. Um, but I'm not too sure what we see from the players. We do see Churcher zooming into Colombia. I'm assuming we see the same from Constance here with how skilled he is. And we do. Um, they're region guessing. Um, maybe... They center hedge. I'm not too sure what exactly they do here. Let's find out. And they're both pretty close. So, 10 seconds left on the clock. Church are still trying to get a guess down. This is going to be, this might go the distance. We got to lock in. We got to lock in. Church is closer. How many points is that going to pick up? Only 400 points. Once we get into multis, that's going to take a lot more. And this next round looks like it's fun. It's going to be Russia. I'm not sure who has the Russian advantage here. I know Constance has grinded Russia. I'm not too sure about Trichter. I think we find out. I think we find out. Let's do it. NNPZ in Russia, round four. I'm going to keep the pace, pace quick. You guys don't want to hear me talk. You want to see them guess. Let's do it. And they both immediately know it's going to be Russia based off this black car with long antenna. We also have a Russian pole in the distance. I think. No, we don't. But it's fine. Let's see where they end up guessing here. No player with a guess yet. I would go somewhat Western here um, because uh, it kind of looks, I don't know, more Baltic. We do have a guess here. What do you think? A guess from me? Russia. <sighs> okay, I want to say Russia. Yeah, big congratulations to Rainbow, by the way. He just completed successfully his first ever solo car. So let's get hashtag Rainbow solo in the chat. Yeah, I had to sneak off, deal with some stuff behind the scenes. But I'm back in the studio. And we're, well, already, we're already into round four. Hey, I know I was barely gone two minutes. Listen, bro, we got we got content galore. We got to keep it going. Oh, my God. And, and Consus is already like quite a massive bit. Not massive, but he's, he's lost a solid chunk of HP. A third especially. of HP, a third of his HP there. Let's keep it going. We're, you know, listen, we're not here to slow this down. We're going to no. be in Sweden. And they're both going to know we're in Sweden. Let's see where in Sweden we're going to be. I would go pretty southern here, just based off the vibes. I would go like maybe near, you know. You told me earlier, vibes are important. We are western Stockholm, or west of Stockholm, I should say. West of Stockholm, that could be correct. I've spent time around there, and this looks slightly familiar. Could this be Eskultuna? They're both being, we have one, wow, Trichter. Where is it? He's just in his bag. I mean, Trickter is totally in the zone right now. I mean, now. he's 40 kilometers away. Constance is only 80. Like, both extremely good guesses, but you can't. If, if, if Trickter keeps playing like that, you yeah, can't Yeah, Constance is it. in a tough spot now. Because he's playing out of his mind, too, but Trickter is just kind of 
keeping it just going as well. Just ahead of the curve. And we're going to keep it going in South Africa Yeah, here. I tried to throw my opinion in there. I said one of the few towns I know that's around Stockholm. I was completely off, but at least I tried. Yes, and that's all that matters. And I tell you who needs to try right now, Consus. Consus needs a big round, in my opinion, to keep himself mentally in the game. None of these players have played on this type of stage before. None of them have felt this pressure, and he needs to rise this occasion before it slips through his fingers. And Trichter's guess right here, I really like Trichter's guess. I do think it's going to be North Victoria. I really do. I really, really like this guess based off these mountains in the background or these hills. I think Trichter might be close. I could be wrong. Let's see where Consus ends up going. It could, you know? They kind of, all these places kind of look the same, and at the end of the day, no one's going to guess down. A Victoria guess Hedge is safe. Has come in from Consus. Trichter is lingering more to the north of Pretoria. This could be a huge round for either oh, player, Consus. and it's Consus with double damage. That's going to be big. Six, 1,200 points. It's going to be. 1,200, yes, exactly, 1,200. And that is going to be a, a, a nice blow for Consus to land onto Trichter. Keep it going. Needed that. I stand by what I said. 2.5x. We're getting straight into round number seven. And see, both players will know this is Australia, but can they read enough information on this sign right here? It looks like all they might be able to read is national park attractions. Not sure if there's much else. Um, if I move around, I can see more. We are, we are going to be in South Australia near the Victoria border, I presume. Consus going south. Ooh, a Kangaroo Island guess by Consus. Kangaroo Island? I did not even... There's an island off the coast of Australia called Kangaroo Island? There is. And they just recently got Gen 4 coverage, I think. I don't they know if this Gen is Kangaroo 4. Island. Um, I wouldn't go... I would go more southern, but uh, who am I to say anything, you know? Oh, no! We have Trichard going Perth! Perth. Which is way wrong. Are you oh, sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I can move. I see information they don't. 2.5. That's true. That is true. You can on your Did screen. We have Stoby Poles. 2.5x damage. So if Consus doesn't blunder this either, this but could be Consus huge damage. Consus is currently in South Australia. Yeah, so this could be huge damage. Could it be game ending damage? See, the, the, I, do, I do see there's a thing called Wa Curbs. I think that he might think this could be. But I don't know. Is he? Oh, he's going back. Trichter's going back. Oh, he's in Victoria. Trichter is going back. This is going to be, this is, oh, but even if he's in Victoria, he could lose here. No, I don't think so. Man, that would have been devastating if he lost in Australia right there. Because he would have, and Constance is going back to Kangaroo Island. And Trichter. Trichter also on Kangaroo Island? He's somewhere. I, I didn't get to see where he zoomed in on, but this is getting... No, it wasn't. He's just, he's just, but he's just on the island. similar coast that's north uh, northeast of it. Yeah, it's going to be. This is. I mean, the, he ended up getting there in the end. Let's see if they both stay there and see who picks up points. But man, if Constance they're would have put pressure, they're both lingering around this coastline. If Constance would have put pressure on, or, oh, is he back in Perth? The, I guess he's coming. He's in. back in Perth. Constance has placed their guess. Oh no, he's he guessed and tri he guessed and, and tri he guessed. Is, Wait, has he placed his guess? Trichter is not. With five seconds left, now going. He's closer. He's good. He's closer. He is good. That's going to be some solid damage towards Consus. 668, chipping wow. away. I was almost, I, I kind of almost, uh, I got ahead of myself there. That was close. That's right. As if, with the drama. If, if Consus would have instant sent earlier, maybe Churcher would have got caught up and sent Perth on his first instinct there. We're going to be in Ukraine here. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep it rolling. Round eight, 3x. 3x damage now. And Ukraine. I don't know where in Ukraine they go. I'm not very good at reaching in Ukraine. Maybe northernish. Maybe northwest. I'm not that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. Trust me. You're not <laughs> that guy, pal. I'm not that guy. <laughs> I wonder whatever happened to that guy. He's probably living his life. And and Consus is going west. <laughs> Consus is going west and locking it in very be, quickly. You know, Ukraine's deceptively big as well. Let's see if uh, and Trichter's Trichter's also going well, he, to the west, well, but now going central. Who's closer? It's a question. I, this could be big points. This could be big points if someone's closer. Consus, Consus is closer. Consus is much closer. Oh, Triple damage. My God. That could be it. Nope. 3K. Oh my God. Quick maths. 1,500 points left for Trichter. Oh, 1,500 points to Trichter. I was off there. Never do maths on broadcast. They say I should stick to that. You I don't do that have all, to. I you do were that close, all the time. Don't yeah, worry. you're good, brother. You, you take the math. Take the yes. Take the math. Where are we, Trev? Where are know. we? I, I, I don't know, brother. I go Indonesia here. Okay. It could be something else, though. I would go Indo. There's maybe distinct poles they would know here. It could be Malay. It's definitely going to be Indo, I think. I would definitely go Indo here. But this is like when those consists is known, maybe, 
or at least I know him to be have some very very talented Indonesian guessing region guessing. But Trichter, he just did a little bit of an AZ there, if I'm being honest. That was that was an aggressive and he's going zoom, an very, alpha zoom. He's going in Sumatra. Oh, they're both in a similar area both now. Similar area on the Singapore. map. Wow, this is going to be interesting. I mean, it does, uh, maybe these road lines, I don't know. The yellow outer road lines or something could be distinct to a certain region. I'm not too sure. But overall, the vegetation makes sense um, for that for that region of Indonesia, I would say. Kind of looks like uh, Borneo, Malaysia. That's usually how I remember it. But Indonesia is such a massive country, and you forget how massive it is, and Constance is in, and he seems confident. Let's see where Trichter ends up going. I don't think he'll lose if he keeps his guests there, and Constance is close, but Trichter could also be closer. And Trichter, how does he know that? Trichter with a oh good my God. job, but Constance. not good enough, and Constance with almost a killing blow. Trichter now on just 200 and 84 points of health. Cons is sitting pretty on 3K. Let's go, let's go, bro, let's go. This Trichter gonna... truly has it all to do. We are on 4X damage. It's round 10 and we're staring at a beach. And both players are gonna know this is Argentina and we do have water east. They might try and line up this road here. It's gonna be pretty... Yeah, I really like Trichter's instant guess here. He might know this town. You have water east with this very distinct landscape in Argentina, you could line it up the coast. You could line up the coast. They're looking at this coast. Trichter's already put a marker down. Constance is taking his time. Not looked at his map yet, if I'm not mistaken. Calm and measured. He's just, he's just looking. I mean, assumingly... It's so little. To me, to my eyes, like, it's, this is tough. This I mean, is really tough. I mean, and look, tough. they both zoomed into the exact same area. This yeah. makes sense. This part of the world does make sense for these guesses. And I will assume they're both close. Oh my god. And Trichter has put his guest down. Constance is on the is clock. Down. Will he be closer to win? 284 points. We'll the find out in six seconds. Very close to each other. Trichter's closer. But it's Trichter that's he closer. Holds it. So Constance is the one that's going to be taking damage, but it's only 188 points. Nonetheless, of course, Trichter stays alive. Oh my god. I, I, I don't want to say it. I'm just keep Let's just keep playing. Go. I, run it. This, Four, this, looks, like, this looks like Australia. 4.5. I would go Tasmania here if I were to guess. Instant in Tasmania. I don't know. I could be way wrong. Let's see where they go. Trichter is in. And he's in South NSW. I do not know what this is. They will see it. We do have the eucalyptus trees that do indicate that maybe it's more likely Australia. I'm assuming both players do get Australia here. But let's see where they go in Australia. Because I'm, uh, I'm not the guy on Australia. Is Trichter guess? Trichter has gone in with He's a very fast guess. The pressure. He's trying to play that meta Where of pressure, go? of speed. Consist now having to he loop around. He's going to Spain. No, he's switching. Switching back. No, he didn't get there. Wait. What? He did not get there in time. It's Hawaii. It's Hawaii. Both players very far off. What is but that? But Trichter closer. Oh. Wow. That is the biggest... Biggest blunder that we've seen from both players at the same time. And like, myself. And from yourself. I was so confident that was like Tasmania. Yeah. Huge. And that is why you like NMPZ. You get moments like that. A spanner in the works. It, could you imagine if Trichter lost on Constance going wherever in Spain, on Hawaii? That would have been the wild That was literally in. down to the last second. Oh my. Okay, keep it going. Round number 12. Round 12, 5x five damage. 5x damage. That was an insane location. You can tell from a round like that that the players now, and in, of course, because of this NMPZ, That's that they're feeling the pressure. Yeah. That there is yeah. a bigger margin for error here. Yeah. Sorry, a smaller margin for error here. I think we might have the Gen 4 germs. Gen 4 germs. My Maybe. favorite it could type. Be, it could be Austria. I don't know the difference between two nowadays, but let's see where they end up going. Let's see where they end up going. They're but, both well. The Austria and Germany are different countries. I don't know if you know this, but they're different countries. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, you send on the border and hope for the best. We do have Constance <laughs> going Austria. Send for the border and hope for the best. Constance sends Austria. Constance is Trichter going? Talking about sending, he went straight for that. Look Austria. how close they are. They're sending on the border. They don't know the difference. They've I don't know done the it. difference. I don't know who it is. I don't know who's closer. Three seconds on the clock. Constance needs a 284 points. He's closer. 
Colts is Austria. closer. That might be the That's killing blow. Kansas wins. Trevor, you said it. Sent the, is, is that what's happened? They both sent for the border? They both sent. Um, I thought you were just full memeing. They no. both sent for the border, but Kansas is just a smidge closer. And because of that multiplier, comes out wow. on top. The player that is rumored to be the favorite, not just in the qualifier, but going through to the grand final, getting another W. What an impressive, after losing game one. He After came back. losing game one. That just shows, you know, you can't give up. The composure. It's never over. The composure. Post. Incredible. That was such an exciting matchup, and it truly went down to the wire. Some back and forth action. Cons is coming out on top. That was incredible. Incredible. Very, very intense. I, I, it, it's, it's actually, I, I'm still thinking back to the penultimate round, the round before last, where they were just both so far off. And that's the beauty of it. I love moments like that, where everyone is like, they don't know where to guess. There's a, there a, a point of probably emphasis where you saw Contest zoom in to Australia, but he didn't know if it was. He didn't know where to guess. The, the time was on. He just got spanked because he didn't know. Hawaii? That's wild. <laughs> All three of you were so far off. Like, it's it's crazy to think that, yeah, there can be, in if we get to these game threes or if we get to NMPZ, that, that, that it does become so much tougher that you suddenly see these sort of wild guesses that yeah. are so different from one another. Yeah, like you would never, like on a moving game, you would move around and see English. That's why NMPZ, you know, both of them have our, our amazing game modes, but moments like that are special to me. I love it. I love it. Everybody at home, let's take a look at our groups. Let's see the lay of the land and how everybody is doing groups A through D. So Scrapero now leading group A. Five wins, three losses. Group B, conscious six wins, one loss. Wow. Massively ahead in group B. Well, and so if you guys don't know, one player will be eliminated from each group going into the next round. So the lowest record will be, you know, eliminated from the tournament. And that's how this is working until we get the knockout stages. Until so. we get to the final four. And so group C, player in the lead is Polly. Five wins, two losses. And group D, it's Alok, Mr. Moonhead. Wow. With the five, two, three win to loss ratio so we can see our strongest players right now and those players that are battling to stay alive which is the closest group it we, it's, it's it presumably like group a group a looks it looks like olympia might be coming up an uphill battle there yeah um, i'm not entirely sure how many know. losses before a player goes out and we can maybe yeah, get that yeah, maybe information group C's looking pretty close but yeah i don't know do we have that information anybody in my ear mr producer man okay all right, so we're, we're working on it and we'll, we'll get that information for all of you at home, like how many losses before you're actually um, out of this stage of the tournament and how many wins before you move on mm -hmm. to the next one. But some of the groups close, um, some of the other groups, and I guess less close at the upper echelons. Yeah, it's so funny because when we were watching that matchup between um, Consus and, um, sorry, it's Trichter, Trichter it, it seemed close, but then we look at the, and it was close, but then we see um, the actual score in the groups and Consus is way ahead, only one loss. That's that's a conscious moment, if I've ever seen one. All right, here is the moment, everybody. Let's take a look at our knockout graphic. We can see up on screen now, stage two, the knockouts. It's going to be Der Ziggy versus Bulgor. And then we've got Emily Apocalypse versus CG, who had a very exciting game earlier. And then we've got Polly versus the Zeitgeist of Suvlaki. Then Havard versus Blenley. This thoughts, Trevor, initial thoughts, taking a look at these knockout matchups. You see quite opposite game types uh, playing against each other. Ziggy versus Bulgor, that's, that's going to be an amazing game. You see Emily versus CG, both moving players even. That'll be amazing to see those moving games. Uh, I mean, across the board, you can't, you can't ask for much more. Everybody at home, now that we've seen how our knockouts are going to shape up, I need to tell you all at home, you have a chance to influence what's going on here. So head on over to GeoGuessers Twitter, twitter.com. Oh, is it twitter.com now or is it x.com? Maybe it's still both. It's, a, but it's, it's Twitter. It's yeah, Twitter. okay, you know where to go. GeoGuessers Twitter. We have a poll up of which game that myself and Rainbolt should cover on the stream. So go and vote, uh, get involved and, and choose which matchup that you lot would like to see and Rainbolt and myself to break down. Yeah, 
I'm going to vote myself. Yeah, go vote. I'm going to vote. Let's see. And for now, everybody, that'll be it. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back in a few minutes with more amazing GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier action. Welcome back, everybody, to the GeoGuessr World Cup Qualifier. My name is Still Parler. And I'm still Rainbow. Yes, we've actually got a thing going now. Yeah, this is thing. great. Thank you to all of you for tuning in, and especially all of you that took part in our poll on GeoGuessr's Twitter to find out who we will be watching here on the stream, which matchup we will be watching next. I can tell you all it's going to be Ziggy versus Bulgore. That's the matchup you lot chose on Twitter, and it's going to be the one that myself and Trevor are covering. Yes, it's winner go home. Yes, at this point we are in the knockout, so winners move ahead, losers are out. This is last chance saloon. You do not want to be losing now more than ever. Yes, and it is also the difference is best of five versus best of three. So we will see different types of uh, some play style there too, which will be interesting. It is. It is also best of five. We played the initial part of the competition best of three. Now it's best of five. Up on screen now, we are going to take a look at our groups. Groups A through D. The biggest standout player consists six to one in group B. Wow. Group A, relatively competitive. Scrapero coming out on top. Group C, it was Polly. Came away with five wins and only two losses. And then in group D, it was Alok. The moon head that did the work. Any surprises there throughout any of the groups? Uh -huh. Players that you thought would have maybe had stronger performances? No, I, I, I think that's the nature of the game. Okay. Everything kind of just evened out, honestly. I think what you saw, like, it all makes sense, honestly. Yeah, and these are our knockout games on screen now. So Dezigi versus Bulgore, that's the one we are going to watch. And yeah, three others there also. I suppose we should start focusing in on this matchup. How do these two players, Ziggy and Bulgore, stack up against each other, Rain? Yeah, so Rain we ball. saw, we saw, make it rain. We saw, make it rain. We saw Ziggy uh, and Bulgore. I mean, Bulgore is known for his moving games. So that's kind of where he thrives, especially in the first two games of the series are going to be moving. So it's going to be moving, moving, no move, no move, NMPZ for the best of five. So. I think, you know, Bulgori saw maybe some blunders in the no move and things like that, you know, in his games at, you know, Big P showed us P, uh, Peter upstairs. Big P. But um, yeah, so we could see anything happen. You know, Ziggy may be a fan favorite. You know, he's been in my tourneys a lot, so close friend of mine. I have no bias though. I want a good game. We'll see what happens. And this is Germany versus France, right? Mm. So, you know, there's there are a lot of storylines there. Football, of course, being one of the main ones. Big rivals. Soccer. Big rival. Ne Sorry, I'm, I think I had something in my throat. What was that? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Two big uh, rival nations in the best sport in the world, football. Football. There we go. All right, hey. we've got it on stage. <laughs> European now. No, yeah, of, of course, I'm sure both of them want to show out for their countries, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you know, France is uh, has representation in the World Cup already, so is Germany. So we'll see what, what ends up happening. But um, I'm sure they're both ready to play and get it going. Yeah, I wonder if at this point they're sort of used to the pressure of being on a stream, competing live, or if it's going to just ramp up again now it's do or die in the knockout stages yeah. of this World Cup qualifier. Yeah, it's quite literally do or die. Yep. If you lose the best of five here, it's uh, yeah, it's back, uh, I guess you close your tab, I guess. Close that, your back home, yeah. Yeah, like you just X off your browser game, I guess. But, well, uh, they can always tune into the stream. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they'll, they'll support the stream. You know, Germany, still, uh, you know, France. You know, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we're just waiting until we can get this matchup ready. Ziggy versus Bulgore. It's going to be a big matchup. Yeah, Two so very was... talented players. We've seen them already firing off on all cylinders. Both have provided exciting gameplay. In the matchup that we covered of Ziggy's, we saw him almost have a huge comeback, but then just miss out. And then one of his games, which we didn't see, but Peter did see, um, he did have a big comeback. Anyway, everybody, now is the time. It's France versus Germany. Bulgore 
versus the Ziggy. Trevor, you ready for this one, brother? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We're not going to press like start, start yet, just for everyone at home. I kind of hyped that one up, but yeah. no, the, the round's not quite ready, but we're almost into it. You can see up yep. on the screen now our first map. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but let's just get into it, shall we? Yeah, at this point, we can get it going. Our knockout game, everybody, our first knockout game. Yep, and uh, the other games are being played right They are now being as played well. concurrently at the same time. Round here, round one here. It might be, you know, let's see. It could be, this is a moving game, and this is where it could be a... Luxembourg is what I think. It's a very small so Ziggy's country. Ziggy's going in. And Ziggy is going straight to Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Very small country. If they both go in there, not going to be too much of a discrepancy. Yeah, these are Lux Luxembourg signs here with like the white piping around the yellow. That is. Uh, the question is, how much do you care to region guess or to get a good region in Luxembourg where if you click the scenario, you maybe lose 200 points max? Yeah. There we go. Bulgor with the first lock in. Does Ziggy now both play close. against the clock? Three seconds left. Just and, three seconds. And that's Bulgor. He's one of the best moving players in the world. And he is showing that right here against Ziggy in Luxembourg. Round two, we're looking at what looks like in Indonesia or something of the sort. It could be Malaysia. Let's just get into it, shall we? Round two, moving on. At this point, this, no big multipliers. Yep, and this will be mainland Malaysia. If you can see here, we'll see a player probably zoom in on a telephone pole pretty soon here, I would presume, right here. We'll see Ziggy, I guarantee we do. I'm just psychic. So what he looked at there was the black sticker on the telephone pole. That indicates you're going to be in mainland Malaysia. Okay. You do not get that in Borneo, Malaysia. And just to remind everybody at home, whilst the Ziggy locks in their guess, we're going move, no move, move, no move. And Got if it. we were to get to a fifth decider, it would be NMPZ. Understood. Move, no move, move, no move, NMPZ. And was Western Coast there. Round three. Both very close. I'm gonna keep the pace up. Let's Little keep it going. bit of damage there. And yes, we are going to keep the pace up. You know, this is the first round, I would like to say, just on stream real quick. This is a beautiful location. So, the, what, and, and why is it beautiful? It's just Tell kind me. of a, a known thing that every time you get South Korea on GeoGuessr, you're supposed to say, beautiful location. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I'm learning a lot of the yeah, memes it's, it's here. Part the, it's part of the culture. lore, you know, just to say that. So Specifically, where in just South, South Korea. Korea. If, if, you're in, if you're in South Korea, mm -hmm. beautiful location. Beautiful location. And beautiful I'm sure the location. chat is spamming beautiful location right now. Yeah, I, I bet they are. As soon as they see this, they're going to be saying beautiful location. Beautiful location. South Korea is beautiful. And oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Good job there by Ziggy. Still a small country. So. Still a small country, but if there had been a multiplayer on that, that would have been a big chunk. Instead, it just a little not bit. Been 3, fun. 5, 7. Yeah, let's keep it going, honestly. Got no time to waste. Let it rip. Let's keep Round it going. number four. And this will be, I'm not sure if any player here knows Ukraine very well. Um, they both will know it's Ukraine. That is, I do know for a fact with the red car here. But um, it depends on who knows Ukraine better. Is Ziggy instant sending a movie? Ziggy's going instant See, send. See, he knows how good Bulgor is North at moving. Northwest. And I'm assuming he's probably pretty good at reading Cyrillic. Bulgor Ziggy. similar, but Ziggy just absolutely on point. And we're going into round five here. I think the multis are coming in. Let's see. Back and forth action, and the multis will this? be coming in on round five, I think. Do we see a player go Isle of Man here? Let's see. Is it going to be the Isle of Man if conspiracy for our is first the Isle multiplayer? Of Man conspiracy <laughs> real? 1.5x. You almost have to instant send it, you know, just as a... Maybe for the meme at this point. Who is going to do it? Who's going to take the initiative? and go with the quick send. I honestly think it could be, unironically. Ziggy. See, he's going Ireland? He's going oh, Ireland. Sense of Ireland right is. now. We do have white back plates, which would say you're going to be in Ireland and not the UK. So this cannot be Isle of Man. Seven seconds. Takes a couple to zoom in. Will Gore with just three seconds Will in place. Looking at and South Ziggy. That's it. And very close, both of them together there. But the 1.5 times multiplier making it a bit chunkier, a bit meatier. Yep. And uh, here we go again. Let's keep it going. I like the pacing so far. Let's keep it going. Double damage now. Double Every damage. round, we're seeing an increase. It looks interesting. I would go Spain here off the off the rip. I would guess maybe somewhere northernish. I'm not too sure. It, it is going to be Spain. Let's see what they see. And we do have Spanish there. This is some good quality here. I'm thinking this is a Gen 4. This is Gen 4. This is definitely and we do have cool. coast there to the west, it looks like. Is that water? It looks like water west. This is definitely a coast. Or south, or I'm not sure my directions, but that's okay. Oh, I boss map there. If only the quality was even better. Oh, is that enough? Can they really... Yeah, you can kind of... You can, you can see the text at the top. 
Yeah, yeah, they're looking for the the town. I mean, Fue, the, Fuente Bravo. I think Bulgur might have found it. And Ziggy's going to an island here. Going Let's to see. an island, Ziggy. Not sure where he zoomed. He's in Palma. Not looking that in though. Let's see. Oh, they're both on Palma, or he's looking at Palma. Let's see. Two X multipliers. You know, on Spain, it, you you could pick up pretty big points. You know, Bulgur. Bulgur is a is a pretty big moving player, and you know the more information you give him, the less that is likely for Ziggy to do well. So we'll see. I'm expecting Ziggy maybe at this point he just has to commit to oh to this. Oh, we're going to an oh he's an going to island of Morocco. He's going to the Canaries. He's going to the Canary Islands. It could be. That would be massive points. That Ooh, would back. be huge points I don't this think early. This would be maybe it is. I'm not that guy, pal. <laughs> We do have Water West, so I do like this guess right here where Bulgor is. But it based Naval de Rota. You have a Spanish flag there in case they... And Ziggy's guessing on... Is he going back to mainland? 10 seconds on the clock. Ziggy's under pressure. Bulgur I like his in. guess. It's West. There is Water West. You do get Water West on uh, the other coast. Let's see where oh, Ziggy Oh, wow. Goes. This is a big difference here. If the Ziggy does stick around Palma... Oh, my God. He's done it. Oh, wow. That is huge for Bulgor. Oh, huge my God. Huge. 3.5 almost 5K. That's massive. That's a yeah. huge hit. Another one like that, and Ziggy would be out of there. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's holding on to a threat here. Two, 2,100 with 2x damage in the U.S. Start the round. Let's get it going. However, we have seen Ziggy in tough positions before. Once almost bouncing back, and then once bouncing back completely, which Peter, the man in the sky, updated us on. So let's not count Ziggy down out, but he's got Don't to be careful. Out. He cannot and we make should, a big mistake we here. We should be near the center. Oh, insta-send. Oh, wait, do we have... I'm not going to say it. It looks like we have wide road lines, which looks like you could be in like Arkansas, Mississippi. Maybe. But I do like the Georgia guess. I do not think Bulgore is even getting close with this guess here. That's going Canada? It was Mississippi. We did the wide, wide road lines. Real meta. And that's 2.5x wow. on that. If, if Ziggy sent Mississippi there, he Big could. Big send. That was a... That was a... Huge send huge. from the Zigmeister. And we're going to... Let's keep it going. I don't want to... Uh, I, I'm, I'm invested fully into this game. Triple damage, relatively easy, like 2.8k to 2.2k. It's like it's, you're, you're both of these guys need to be careful. You do not want to make a big mistake. Perhaps yeah. the pace now is going slow. I don't know, but maybe we're not going to see a big fast you send. You might take your time here now, knowing the stakes. We should be in our. The Ziggy, that's an AZ if Hill. I've ever seen one. That's a deep. Deep send, and he has actually committed to it. They're in different countries. I'm not sure who's oh right my. here. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's... It could be all on this. I don't think this going to be enough damage. I do like... I do think it's Arch. I'm not sure, though. I don't think it's Chile. Oh, goal. You've only got a couple of Triple it, damage. It was Arge, but Is it going to be enough? No, no. no Ziggy's near. closer Sorry. in. I'm terrible at reading these maps, man. I thought they were, like, so far apart. Yeah, yeah. Apologies, everyone. Ziggy was closer That's in... That's why I'm here. <laughs> ...in Chile there, which was... Okay. Uh, with a black Google car, which you can't get in Chile, so yeah. I think he's obviously showing some nerves here. And we have a Taiwan. Taiwan. Uh, but that, uh, that is a place I've been. Oh, nice. Yeah, Wonderful so country. the black and yellow stripe holes that go all the way down the bottom. And they're zooming into information for Taiwan region guessing. That is insane. The fact they're, they're even going to, they're, they're using the plates on the, on the pull, pull mm. there. They both went straight for it. Ziggy has actually locked it in. They're relatively close to each other right now. Yeah, they, I'm assuming those plates mean something. Not really too much. Yeah, that's Bulgore. Of a difference. Bulgore, though, with the damage. And now, at this point, that's chopping away, like, a very healthy chunk of yep. what Ziggy has remaining. And this will be a non-matter round, if I had to guess. We should be in Albania. Just let me, if I look real quickly. So non-matter in terms of you think they're both going to get it very close? I think or? they'll both get close, okay. small country. Um, we have black on the back of the sign with a rift in the sky. Uh, both oh, the of those. black hole, the rift, the rift in the sky. Yeah, I'm not sure where they are. I'm assuming they're in Albania, but do they try and get the the region? Is a question. They probably do. I mean, Albania. You could pick up a couple hundred points here. It does matter at the end of the day? We'll find out though. No lock-ins yet. A more measured approach here. Roundabout. Does Ziggy is seeing? Yep. So Ziggy goes a lot of the road. There. road. He's and they're both get on the 5K, same road. And they're both on the same road. And we see two 5Ks. Two 5Ks. That's zero beautiful. Points. And I, I zero did, points. Zero points. That's the first time we've seen that today. We have. Yep. Zero. I did say this might be a no matter round. And Dude, quite literally it was. You know what? You should look into playing this game sometime. I, I might. I might. Yeah, I, it's kind of fun to watch, <laughs> at least. You know what? You should, you should make like a TikTok about this game. TikTok I should, account. What's that? 
It's this app that's like um, oh, is it short really form like... video. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Anyway, all right, round number 11, 4.5 I got X. distracted by Frank's hot dog. Looks like a pretty good hot dog. Anyways. Oh my God, Malmo Vecqua. Is that? That's <laughs> where what, I used to live and where I live now. Yeah, self, uh, <laughs> uh, That's quite funny. Um, Have you been here? I don't know, I need, I need to see a bit more. I mean, I could look on the... Yeah, go ahead. I mean, this is quite funny. Yeah, I, I definitely have. I th is this the producers trying if they like pick this location? <laughs> um, it's I don't actually know if New I fully recognize it. Yeah, I've been. Po wait. They're both players. No, I don't know if I've been to that the location. I can, te I can tell you where this is. Um, and also signposting like that for Malmo and Vecra, like oh. they, they, you're, you signpost from hundreds of kilometers Luckily away. Luckily for you, they uh, um, both players do know where they are. Where are they? Oh, they're outside Hall, which yeah. I've never been to, but I've seen it on. Uh, wow. And Bulgore gets the 5k. And Ziggy's slightly off there. Oh. This is insane. Round 12. Sorry, one second. I've kicked a wire there. I'm just making sure it's back in properly. There we go. I couldn't hear myself. Okay, next round. It looks like we're going to be in Spain again. I'm going to keep the pace going. I don't want to sit here and let's keep it going. Round 12, 5x damage in Spain. I'm not sure who has the upper hand here. I would probably assume Bulgore with moving immediately. That is a. You guys see the spam on the pedestrian sign there. You get tons of those pedestrian zebra lines on the pedestrian sign. That's a good indicator for Spain. Um, as long as, you know, as well as Spanish. Oh, there's a cat on the road there. I hope that cat was okay. If it isn't, let's say a, uh, just in case, RIP, but hopefully mm. not, you know, that that cat survived. That's a cat. I think we would hear about it somewhere on news if like a Google Earth cat mm. uh, incident happened. So mm. I think it's alive and well. We have separate guesses, or we have, mm, not really, but mm, it's in the middle. <laughs> Okay, that's still, I think with that multiplier though, that's going to be, yeah, 1k. 1, so 1, Ziggy has 800 points. Ziggy on. in a tough spot now, everybody. We've got 2.5k versus 800. As Round I've 12. mentioned before, and I'm going to mention again though, let's not count Ziggy out. We've seen an epic comeback from him and a near epic comeback too. And so he's still got it all to play for, but definitely now back against the wall. Yep, and you know, if you lose... This is a winner go home. Not this specific game, but this series. Best if of five. If you lose, you are out. But of course, it's a best of five. So this Let's is game one. Round 13, 5.5x damage in. You want to start off on a on a good foot. You want to get this first ga uh, game win in. Yeah, we're going to be in the UK. This UK, yeah, it could be. Should be. It definitely is, yeah. We do be driving left with some English. That's all do you do. Do be get. driving left, though. Let's see who is better at UK. Going Scotland here by Der Not Ziggy, Isle and it's locked Man. in. Ziggy instant sent. Instant sent. He doesn't want him to get information because he knows he could probably Outside is. Outside Bannockburn and above Denny. Three seconds. Bulgore going close oh, towards Wales. Oh my god, Ziggy's closer. big discrepancy is there. That Ziggy That's is That's going to be enough. That's going to be enough. That's game. That's game 4.9k, we said it! From the... Do not count him down and out until he's off the server. Ziggy makes happen and takes game one. Germany taking down France game one against one of the best moving players in the game. That was a uh, comeback for the... That's a Ziggy moment. Ziggy's... He likes to just clutch it up there at the end, I guess. What should we call... Uh, that, a Ziggy moment... Ziggy moments are pretty good, like it sounds good, but like... What do we call that? Do we call that doing a zig? Doing a Ziggy? Mm. Yeah, making it rain. That's your one. That's your one. You keep that I can, one. I can share. No, but like keep it. T that's yours. Your name's okay, Rain Bolt, okay. making it rain. Fast as lightning, Bolt. Mm. That that is doing a Ziggy. Maybe doing I don't know. Chat, let us know. All right, we'll take a look at the chat and uh, <laughs> what do you think we should call that? Because Ziggy now he's he's shown us twice that he makes big comebacks, and he's shown us a third time that he's he was close to making it. Like that he li he's good at playing under yeah, pressure. Yeah, he likes he likes the suspense. And he he likes, likes the suspense. Maybe he's just doing it for the content. Yeah, he could be. He's a man of content, you know. Maybe. Okay. I think I think he might just be you know teasing us and giving us some some moments maybe. I like that. Yeah. A man of the content. Respect. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, again though, everybody, just the first game of a potential five. We're in best of five territory. The loser will be going home. Do you expect going into game number two that we're going to see Ziggy continue that momentum, or could he falter? I think he's going to hold on to it. I think he might. It's you know we're going into no, a no move game if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Here. So I would give Ziggy the upper hand in move in no move. Um, so if he takes his two or lead here, that's pretty good. Pretty good momentum going into game three with the moving and back. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to see Bulgore do? Would you like to see him with some big sends, fast sends? You know, on on no move, it's kind of tough because I just want to see him. I, I think if, if both if both if both players take their time and get the right country every single time, I don't want to see 
you know, maybe instant sending to try and get Ziggy to throw him off his game and ending up, you know, blundering the wrong country or something like that. And, you know, dealing with a mistake like that for the rest of uh, his life. Game two, everybody is pretty much ready to go. Just waiting for, you know, the specific instruction that we can uh, start it off. But that first game definitely delivered. That was an exciting one. There's always... Yep. There's always poetry and, and, and satisfaction seeing sort of like a comeback when someone's down, down and yes. it looks like they're out. The and, underdog. And, and yeah. they, they're able to pull it off. And yeah, Ziggy doing that in spades. That's the beautiful thing about multipliers is, you know, one round, you get a good guess. It's, it's all that matters. Yeah. You know? So No, I cool. think that's a great system. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I think I mentioned that straight right at the start of the show, the way um, the Geo gets a team have sort of structured um, this competitive side and like the different rules and, and how it plays out. It, it definitely creates like um, even more of a game level to it. And uh, yeah. it really, uh, it's, be, it's been exciting to watch. I, I'm curious to see how it continues over the course of tonight. Some hype moments and, you know, the moments are even get hyper is when the stakes get higher. Yeah. You know, as, as we're looking to qualify, like Ziggy here, it's, he knows, you know, he wants to go and see his friends in Stockholm. So is the uh, Bogor. Yeah. So that's going to be such a test for these these players when they actually have to be in person on a stage. On a stage, I, I can speak for myself. I've played with most of these players before. It gets nervous. Yeah. You get nervous, especially. Keep in mind, the you guys are seeing for you know over a year ago, we were in Twitch chat for 20 people making silly guesses together, and then all of a sudden, you know, it has this whole scene behind it. Yeah. They're not used to. The pressure and the crowd that that we're seeing here today. So, it's a different it's a different thing. And even in being in person is going to be a completely different monster. Yeah. Most of these people, you know. Haven't. Here we go, everybody. Game two between Bulgore and De Ziggy. We've gone from move to now no move, no movement at all. So our players will be at a standstill, spinning around, trying to figure out where they are. Let's do it. Let's go. Round one in. Round one of game two. In Ukraine. Both players, I would go Western Ukraine here. That's my that's How? my instant guess. So right, that initial image that was on our screen just now that people saw and yeah. wait, how can you just tell this is Ukraine? It's just like uh, it's green and... <laughs> no, I mean, the pole here is kind of helpful, but uh, the road quality, the road condition. The, oh, we have a guess in. A He's guess. going Western Ukraine. I do like Ziggy's guess here in Ziggy Western Ziggy goes Ukraine. straight in, putting the pressure on. You, oh, the reason I said, oh wow, great guess by Bulgore too, but it was that Western Ukraine. The reason why I said that was because of those green rolling hills you get. That's big first damage, Ukraine, big country. Yep, and this is going to be one of those freebies, as I like to say, for the both players, because we are going to be in Andorra, which is a free country. No, it's a, it's a, it's a very easy country to guess once you've seen it, as most okay. pro players have, um, because of the Andorran brick, and it's a very, very small country, as you might see as Bulgore zooms in here. It's a, uh, you know, in between Spain and France there. And uh, Bill Gore with a deep zoom, not locked it in yet. They're going for the 5k here, presumably. Yeah. You, know, you do lose maybe, if you guess center, maybe maximum 100 points in this country. So it's not uh, it's not the end of the world if you don't get the 5k, but it is kind of, you know, for bragging rights. Yeah. Both of them now scanning the map, looking across the street again. Trying to pinpoint to Ziggy and liking that roundabout. Yep. And so, like I said, the architecture in Andorra is super, super distinct. You'll see this brick all over the country. It's okay. kind of like uniform. Uh, no, no, really. Like the gray, red sort of. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Just like the, every house looks like classic that. Classic Andorra, building. classic Andy. So there's Mongolian grass, Brazilian dirt, Andorran brick. Um, there's, the list goes on, I guess. But they're both looking, Ziggy does have a roundabout here. Yeah, he's he's sort of been really hyper focused on that roundabout, but not yet committed no to it. No lie, spending a, spending a lot of time on indoor on no multis is uh that show, shows you how dedicated they are to the each and every score and yeah. they get. They really want to maximize those yeah. points. Yep, and it's also you know it's fun to 5k. You, yeah. you want to try and get the exact point because you know satisfying. It's pretty satisfying, especially on no move. So that's what they're looking for is roundabouts all over the country right now. Yeah. So we'll see if they end up finding one, but. Many, many roundabouts, right? But which one is the one for you? That oh, one. That, he that one. That yep. is the one that Ziggy wants. And, and straight away, oh, Bulgore responds. And Bulgore right on top with the 5k. Losing a massive course, 15 points. 15 points only at this point. No Ziggy multiplier. is devastated by that loss. We have a Japan. Let's start. Keep going. We have a Japan. And um, this looks like an interesting Japan. I'm not sure why, but it looks like different. There's something about it that looks unique to like a, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, an, it's an island. I guess maybe all of Japan's an island, technically. But 
This is a like it's a, there's there's not. And Ziggy is going to an island, and he isn't an island. Whoa, okay. See, I I like the vibe guesser. I did get an island vibe immediately. I'm not sure which one. I do like the southern islands there. Ziggy. But does Bulgor go mainland? Initiative. Does Ziggy? He does. Oh, we're gonna see pace. big points here. Big points. Yeah, someone's gonna be right. Big difference. Ziggy's right. And Ziggy is on the money. And that's massive. If that was multipliers, two point six, put two point seven k essentially, and that's only in round three. No multiplier. If that was multi, that was a. If that was multi, Bulgore would have been a very unhappy bunny. Yep. Keep it going. We got Brazil. Keep it going. There was something that that's that's where I talk about the vibes. You know, it's just a vibe. It looked like an. It looked like not mainland. That red dirt. That's Brazilian dirt. You taught Brazilian me that yesterday, dirt. brother. Yep. You taught me it earlier. I can't remember. But you taught me a lot, and that's one of the things I learned. Brazilian if that's, dirt. If that's what you take away from this, I'm happy. Brazilian dirt. Hey, it's, it's already been taken. Let's go. It's been taken. I'm learning more, brother. Look, Bulgor is You're loving be... that Brazilian dirt. He knows he's in Brazil. Be... Ziggy's also lining up the roads using the compass. He is looking for a slightly east-west road here. Um, but let's see where Bulgor goes. He's like the same-ish region. We will see... I do like Ziggy's, maybe, Ziggy. a, maybe your token teams or something like that. We'll uh, see. You know what, what I'm finding interesting right now? I said before I would like to see Bulgor push the pace. And what's actually happened is Ziggy has wow. been the one MG. primarily pushing it. And Ziggy once again closer. 1.7k damage. Bulgore is in a tough spot. It's not that, a flawless yep. right now, but Ziggy is massively ahead. And hugely. This, yeah, and looks like we're going to be in Romania here with uh, the dash power lines and the... Okay, I'm gonna make a region guess. I'm uh, I'm gonna go northeast Romania here. Northeast. That's All my. Right. That's my. You know, just to try and see. We'll see how where the players go. But I like to you know put an egg in the basket. An egg in the basket. 1.5x damage. Let's see. And they're both. And look at Bulgor. He's going in. And they're both going northeast. So. The Ziggy again making that first pick. Bulgor responds. And look at they're that. both very close. Both very very. It's just close. one of those vibes. Northeastern Romanian vibe. That's I guess. not going to be huge. But. Nonetheless, still damage. Nonetheless, and this does damage not, always good. Damage is always good. I'm gonna keep the pace going. I'm excited. Bulgor is on the thread. Ziggy has 5,600 points. Let's keep it going. Round six, two x damage. This doesn't look like an immediate recognizer. I would maybe go Spain off the bat here, but it could be something like an Italy. Uh, I would have to look around more, but I'm confused. Maybe it's Spain or Italy, in my opinion. Maybe Spain. This is the first time I think on the desk that Rainbow has said he's not entirely sure which country he's seeing. There's been times I just, you know. No, but I mean here on the desk with me. I don't think yeah. you've had like straight off the bat being not really knowing. Ooh, we, have, we have Ziggy going Italy. I do like Ziggy's Italy. Ziggy's gone Italy. The question is, will Bulgor also? Yes, he yeah, will. And they're both going the Bari region. That region does okay. make sense for Italy and it was Bari. And they're both so close. I was really excited to see if um, one of them went to Spain, like you mentioned. Yep. But not this time. Nope. Not this um, time. I'm just in my own little boat over there, I guess. A little damage. I did a little bit of damage. Italy, but Nigeria. Let's see who's better in Nigeria. I don't think we've had Nigeria today. No, we haven't. At least not on stream, I should say. Uh, yeah, 2.5x damage now. So fun fact about tough. Nigeria is you get these follow cars. You get the police car following you in Nigeria. Okay. When you Oh, a guess has come straight. No, Ziggy's really pushing and his And so I think the reason why Ziggy guessed Abuja there is because we do have hills um, oh, to, wow. our, to our south. And I think... Bulgore. I like his guess. I'm not sure if Bulgore. Three could be seconds, right. two seconds, dude. You got to pick something. And it was and he's miles away. That might be game. That might That's be game. game. That's definitely game. Ziggy storms away with game number two. Ziggy mm. just putting in the work. Yep. And it's looking like good work. Wow. He's one win away from moving on to the next portion of the competition and knocking out Bulgore. Yeah, but he is going back to moving. Yes, which, is, is. which is kind of Bulgore's home, even though Ziggy did still game one. Yeah, no, Bulgore, but Bulgore got off to like a better start. Yeah, and then it true. just sort of were like a couple turns where Ziggy yep. bounced back. There's no there's no reason to think Bulgore can't come in strong on game number three. But I, just before we move on from it, man, that, that, that was really impressive by Ziggy. I, I, I was mentioning it during one of the rounds. I'm not sure if I got to finish my point, but I was hoping, and again, I don't know how exactly how it works in real time when you're playing. But just when I think about it in a meta sense, I was thinking, Bulgore, you should come in quick and try and put the pressure. And it just happened to be that Ziggy was the guy that did yeah. that. And I think it benefited a bit on a couple of the, of the rounds. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it ended up paying off there in the end, too. If you know you know you know i think ziggy saw the the hills that he's recognizing in abuja before and he's like oh, you know no time to waste let's i hope i catch my teammate off guard and he doesn't recognize these hills in the background or something like that so pays off will he take game three though if you know you know and i know someone who knows peter big p over to you 
because you're the guy in the sky with the plan. Or maybe it's all the operator. Maybe the operator is actually the one sort of feeding lines to Peter, and yeah. the operator is the, is the mastermind. I don't know, but Peter, what's going on, brother? Yeah, we've been following the game between Howard and Lenley. It has been quite interesting. They have finished one game thus far, and I have some clips for you to share. This was the moving game they had. And as you can see in this first round, we have here uh, where Howard is making a pretty wow. close guess, as you can see. And with a five times multiplier, he did a, quite a big damage. 3K. Quite That's... a big damage to Lenly there. Man, this game is so fun. Yeah, this has been a very, very close game. And as you can see, the multiplier here is times six. And it was a tricky t Thailand guess. And Lenly made a comeback and then took the first game. Shout out to the Eastern Thai region guess there. Yeah, shout, risky. Out, shout risky. out to the Eastern. Why is it risky? Uh, because you know a lot of the Eastern Thai like that could look like we're hybrid guess as well. Okay. You know, but he had to he risked it for the biscuit. Risked it for the biscuit. Oh. Peter. Indeed. Yeah, that was a very intense game, and we're gonna keep track. They're currently playing their no moving game, so okay. I'll keep you updated. Thank you, Peter. I'm not sure if you've seen, but we've just seen Ziggy and Bulgore, and Ziggy is 2-0 right now. So if if uh, Ziggy takes this next one, Bulgore is going home, or as. Rainbow said, just closing the tab and maybe lying yeah. in bed. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to be following that game as well. Yeah. Peter, thank you so much. Enjoy your time up in the sky with the operator. All right, everybody at home, we're just going to wait until uh, game three is ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. It would be it would be great to see Bulgore come back, but man, I'm on the Ziggy train right now. It would have to from A to Z. See, it's so tough because now he has to win an NMPZ game if he wants to beat Ziggy. That's true. He needs a reverse Which, sweep. I'm not sure he's. I think Ziggy's just too strong in that category for this to for for this to. It, 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 we've seen it. We could, it could happen though. It could happen. Yeah, th there are so many like ways that situations like this can go right. There can be like a reverse sweep. There can be like Ziggy just holding on to the momentum. Like it's tough to say, but at least in my opinion, I think Ziggy's in a very, very good position. Like yep. he's going to be feeling good from the last two games. Going to be feeling warm. Paul Gore could be in his own head here, but it's time, it's time to find out from the players themselves. Everybody at home, this is game three of our knockout match between Bulgore and Ziggy. The loser goes home and Ziggy right now is up to zero. So Ziggy everything on the line. He advances. He advances. I think we might see some quicker guesses by Ziggy with some confidence. It worked really well, yeah. I think. Yep. I think. Let's see. And we're going to be in Sweden around one. Are we good to start, yeah. producer? Are we good to go? We're ready to go. Let's get it. On Let's the road, it. literally. On the road. We've got a road on the screen. That was good. Thank you. Yep. Space. Space. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ooh, we have bus stops. Bus does, stops. Does Ziggy know his bus stops Z in Sweden? Maybe. Z Ziggy has picked up that bus stop straight away. So currently looking for information for signs. They all are going to know we're in Sweden. We do have a .se there, which would you know further indicate that we're going to be in Sweden with the domain. Bus but stop now also found by Bulgore. Oh, and Bulgore. Oh, no, Ziggy. 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 Guessed, and he's guessing water. What? Yeah, it's just a, a space plonk. He thinks it's that general region, not going for I the exact see. road. Okay. So he will be, you know, it's fine. It's not going to get a 5k, but they're in a very similar region again. That's and just insane. northern Stockholm there, or north of Stockholm. And it's Bulgore that's closer. So Ziggy taking the first bits of yep. damage. Good start for Bulgore. That's what he needs. He needs to get his foot back in the door, jam it in as Ziggy's trying to close it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Can, go. can, can they keep it up? I don't know. Let me move around. It looks like Spain or Turkey or something. I don't think Turkey. I think Spain. Let's figure it out. This is one of those where moving does help a lot because you can look for more information. Yeah, we are back to move now, of course. Our last game was no move. And this is a, we're on a small dirt road, so finding a main road here is kind of the goal for both players. Let's see. They might have to travel. They may have to drive quite the distance here. They might have to drive because these small roads don't lead you much. But I do like the Spain vibes. I sometimes get Spain mixed up with like an Israel or things like that, but um, or in Italy apparently. So we'll see. But I, I do I do like the Spain here just off my initial vibes. But we'll see. Long but road here. Ziggy's trying to zoom into the distance there. Looks like he's trying to pick up some buildings or if it's like a little town. Am I right? Oh, he's found a main road. He found a main. Okay, yeah, he's looking for a main road. He's on it a main road now. Be, uh, ooh, that was not Spanish, was it? 
I don't know. I didn't see it. I don't think they, I couldn't see if there, if there was even text. Oh, it is Spain. Oh, okay, yeah. Bulgore there, finding like some sort of traffic signage. I think this is where he thrives. Is on when you have information like this, and Ziggy maybe isn't. Ziggy found, found it as well. They found the exact same information. They found their bridge. They're going to use that bridge and backtrack to get back to the dirt road they were on. Let's see if they can find it in time, or who finds it first, I should say. NA. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, I do think that NA stands for the region of Spain. They are in. I'm not sure which one that stands for. I could be spreading fake news, but that let's see. Five. Also, that sign there, NA5202. Yeah, I think the first two layers indicate that. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah, that's of course that's what you're referring to, the NA. Or we could be in North America. What? NA. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. I'm going to stick with Spain, brother. I like it. Great call. Yeah, you put me to the test there, and I hope I've passed with flying colors. Mm -hmm. And Ziggy's right now currently just capital guessing. As he scans, he has his marker down in the Madrid. Madrid. And um, looks like Bulgore is making progress here. Oh, looks Bulgore like he, is looks, yeah, really looks like, honing in. I think Bro just He's found gone. the 5K. Bulgore has gone. And that's where the moving expertise, I'm assuming that's a 5K. That's where that just comes in handy. Dude, that looked insane, like where he was like on, on the map. He so made that speak. look way too easy. He was yeah. like in the middle of a white roads in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I think he's getting closer. And of course, round Bulgore. two. Bulgore, right Ooh, on top, 400 not, meters not out. 5K, but 4999. Yeah. And Ziggy is thrusting his monitor in aggravation there. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Round three. Round three. Everybody still no multipliers yet. Let's see what we got here. I'm moving around. It looks like it could be like a... I don't know. It's obviously Europe, but uh, I'm looking for more information. It could be like a Monty or like an Albania or something. I'm fuzzed. Let's see. There should be an Albania here, I think. That would be my, my best initial region guess here. Uh, maybe centralish. I'm not too sure. You have a lot of mountains where you go more south. Not too sure. And Ziggy flipping ooh. around, trying to check out that number plate. Yep. So Albania does have red stripes on their number plate, so that's what he's looking for. Versus like maybe a Monty, where it has a blue stripe. Zooming in on that telephone pole, whatever whatever kind of pole it is. Taking a look yep. at the horse quickly as well, Ooh, enjoying we the great, fauna. We have a large body of water here, which is really going to help the, the players pinpoint down to where they are. You know, granted there are a lot of large bodies of water in Albania. You can make somewhat of an educated guess. Ziggy moves first. We'll go now, under 10 goes. seconds. Uh, do we know if he, does he know it's Albania is the question here? Surely. Oh no, oh, he's, no, he's got he it fleet. This is huge. This is big. Oh no. Oh, and Ziggy right on the top of it. Or wow. very close, relatively, and that's one point. 1k of damage. And if that was multi, again, you if saw that, that was multi, Japan. that would have been absolutely savage. You gotta, be, you gotta be glad that wasn't multi. And let's keep let's keep it going. This looks like some of the Philippines. Let's see where the players end up going here. Evening and up now. Round Just four. No multi yet. 300 points between Ooh. these two. See, when I see these big buses, I immediately just think of Manila. I don't think that's a real thing, by the way. But that's a me thing. Okay. Uh, it is the Philippines. So, um, let's see. They're looking for, uh, you know, obviously, information here, like a town name or something. And Ziggy's locked in from quite a so, distance as well. So this is that a marker. that's just a Cebu hedge. So it's a very central hedge. Okay. Um, it's you know you can do no wrong. I like I it guess. though. He's putting that pressure, like you mentioned, yep. before we got into it. And we see we see Bulgar going more north. And quite it, a difference wow, the vowel. there. Wow. Oh, and it's actually a completely different yeah, location either of them. But it's points. good damage, 900. Just from that pick, even if it was like, even if it was off, Ziggy's made yep. a lot of it, gotten a lot of value out of that. Going into the next round here, Ziggy, four thousand damage left in Bulgore, and this is where we do enter the multis. So let's start. multis now, round five onwards. Where do I go here? I would go. This looks like one of those long roads with very little information. So for me, it looks like an Equa Brazil fifty-fifty. I would probably go Brazil here. Actually, I think I'd definitely go Brazil here. Like, let's see where they go. Could be Mexico. I don't know, actually. It's not Colo. But we have a license plate there. Let's see. It could be Colombia, actually. Let's just see what they do. No, let's, let, let's let them cook and not me. Well, Gore found, <laughs> well, Gore found a, a, a truck, but didn't stop to check the number plate there. Why would that be? Um, you know, I think we're in Mexico. I, I don't know why. He probably, maybe he knows where we are and doesn't need it. I'm not sure where Ziggy okay. is zoomed in now. Um. Yeah, I missed that as well. Oh, he looks like he's in Colo. Your screen and Ziggy once again I do like trying to make that, uh, making that first move. 
So I was in between the Equa Brazil 50 50 off the top. Oh, we have a Mexico guest here by Bogor. Oh, see, wow. This is someone's huge. Gonna, someone's going to pick a massive points or this win here. This is huge. One second. It was and Polo. It's Ziggy. But how much damage is that's, it? That's, that's, is that, that? No, it's not. It's not game, but it's close. Bulgore, 500 points left in the tank. Ziggy is going to be screaming joy. Oh and Bulgore is going to be smashing his desk. Bulgore's got to collect here oh, no. and, and, and focus in because he is almost being knocked out of this GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. And it comes down to this. Round six in Russia. In Russia, double damage. We might see, I'm not sure who has the advantage here. Ziggy right now is so sad that he sees a Russia here because he's hoping he gets like a, a Netherlands or something where he can pick up very quick. But he's going, he's, he's going. going he, he's, 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 he's sent it, it's smart, it's yeah, smart. It's a good region if guess he has like a It's a good, great region guess. Good, if he has like a relatively okay region guess, it piles the pressure on his opponent that's almost out and Will forces them to make he's a He's going the exact same area. Same area. Will that be enough? Very close, close to each other. And Bulgore is closer. He needed that. That is a huge play. And with double damage, it's 450, but at least it's something. At least I'm, it's something. I'm going to keep it going. Let's keep the hype going. Round 7, 2.5x damage. It looks like Portugal. So what have we got here? We've got some sort of like like farming. we got some... Yeah, something like that. Like a vineyard or something. Vineyards, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. We do have a Portuguese orange pole here. Roofs, Th those Portuguese, are Portuguese roofs. Portuguese roofs. Portuguese roofs. I should have mm. remembered that one from earlier. The Z instance in Portugal here. He can't pick up 515 points on 2.5x. He does. Let's see. Ziggy's gone straight and in. So right now, Booker is spamming his arrow key, looking for information. Nine. He just needs a town name. Well, he he won't find it in time. He has to make a region Five. guess. Four seconds left. Region guess. He's going strictly north. Someone's going. This Ziggy, could Ziggy's be close. it. No. Oh my God! And Bulgor stays alive. It's a closer <laughs> guess. And once again, chipping away at the leader, Ziggy. Round seven, 2.5x damage. And we saw Ziggy. You know. He lost on that in that first game we watched, and then late round like this. But I don't think you triple know, damage now. Three triple X. damage, and this will be a very fun location. Let me see what I think it is. I mean, it's obviously Europe. Ziggy's gone in again. Is it Albania? He is going Albania. Did he see a? a let's see. I don't. I do not think Bulgor goes Italy here again. This could be the moment where Ziggy going triumphs. Too? Okay, they're going the same. And they're place. very close. Very very close to Zero each points. other. Zero points. Zero points. Wow, he could have potentially won going capital there. That would have been wild. Round nine, we're going into with 4x damage. Oh, look at this road. Ziggy up 2-0. 515 points left for Bulgore. Can Ziggy region guess South Africa? Ziggy's being so smart here, I think, by really trying to like press. Because like even if he just wins by a bit, the multiplier at this point is very much in his favor. Yep. Of course, he doesn't want to blunder, but... see. He's pushing, and I think it's smart. South Africa, if, for Bogor, is one of the easiest countries to 5K. So if I'm Ziggy, I'm trying to find the information as fast as possible to get guess off as fast as possible, hoping Bogor doesn't find information because I think he does have an upper hand here going into South Africa. But we will see because no guesses so far and no information so far. Do we just see region guess? I think guess? they went in, in, in different directions. Ziggy's getting a guess with no Ziggy's information. Ziggy's just going in. He's saying... Oh, I don't care. this this is a gambit. It's a it's a gamble because Bulgor can find information in the next t ten seconds. Oh my God, there's a or, car in the distance. Five seconds left, Bulgor. You've got to respond. Similar area, farther. Who's farther. closer? This is going to be a big one. You should oh Sempertoria. Always Sempertoria. You're always closest. One thirty, oh chipping my away. God. Three eight five on Bulgor. Ziggy is pulling his hair out right now. Keep it going in Spain. Round 10, 4x damage. 4x damage. And this is an information round that will thrive for Bulgore. We will see, though. In Spain, Palma. Palma again. No points with Palma. Bulgore's going going fast, fast zoom here. You know, it's very, very small. They have information. This will oh, be he, a, he's dropped it straight. Yep. He's trying to lay the smack down right now on Ziggy. Yep, there's information that says Palma. So they both know the city is very close. And they're going to pick up no points here. But it's 4x damage. Yeah, this, of course, it's a small aisle. Yeah. Yep. And we're going into round 11, it looks like. Yeah, barely any difference. There's 40 damage. Ziggy. But still, though, 40 damage when you only have 400 life. If Bulgur comes back and wins this, that this would, would be, be insane. Incredible. And this is the round that he could do it on. Oh my god, look at this. We'll see. Just a, yeah. just a random residential area. Yep. He, they closed will in. You're going to have to move a lot. And like you've said before, you'd think that will favor. You'd fa that, yes. that would favor Bulgore. And this, I'm not sure who favors in Indonesia. 
both players. This comes down to your knowledge of different uh, Capipotans in Indo Indonesia. So we'll see, assuming I'm right, and this is Indo. Um, we have Black Gen 4, which is a good sign, but uh, yeah, that's my, I'm not sure where I would guess. This does look very in Indonesian. Um, yes, we are going to be in Indonesia, of course. But the Indonesia is such a big country, Bulgur can get such a good guess here, or even not Bulgur a good guess. Stop for a long moment easily, there looking at that roof. Easily win this. So right here, they're looking at the banners because most banners have addresses or, t or um, like city names on them yeah. that some players have memorized pretty much all the the regions of uh, Indonesia. I think Ziggy might have done a lot. I know a couple of players, other players have. So I'm assuming Bulgur with his knowledge on moving, he has. And Ziggy's just going straight on, um, he's getting guess in. Ziggy's Pressure got it on. in first. Bulgur. Oh, he's not with information. Will there be enough information? It's now or never. Five, Five seconds, seconds left. Different area, someone might Different win Different area, this could be the winning blow. Oh, oh my, god, my god, it's not. But who's closer? It doesn't even matter. It's Ziggy, 104, oh he my god. He almost won by that guess. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Bro, if Ziggy, Bul Ziggy if is Bulgur makes a comeback here. If he comes so, back, oh wait, so this round is crazy. Crazy. We're going to be in Brazil again, but this, you know what this looks like to me? This looks like Acre or something. I don't know. 5X. The Where thing is, though, here? at this point, literally, if there's, you know, if there's like a, a reasonable discrepancy, if that's 5X, like Bulgore could hit like a monster uppercut from the depth you know, to take Ziggy and out. And this is Brazil, huge country. I really like that. I'm not going to make a fool of myself, but I like Acre, which is like that Western region of uh, Brazil here. I could be way wrong. We have area codes, area codes. Who knows Ziggy's area codes? Ziggy in. knows his area That's codes. That's an AZ. North. He's going to lock that in, man. He has instant in, hoping he, he doesn't is, get his area code. He is, he's locked it in. He's hoping Bulgore doesn't find the area code. So if you guys don't know. 10 seconds. The area codes in Brazil are regional, and he's looking for information. Oh he doesn't God. find anything. Six seconds Five on the clock. Seconds. Will he find anything? Oh, will he no. Guess? Will that be enough? Who's closer? Oh, he's oh closer. no way! He stays alive! He's, he's still alive. in it. And, and, and 800 even points. Even though there's just a small difference there, it's like an 800 point hit. Yeah. That is a. That is definitely what, of course, Bulgor wants more, but that is a step in the right direction. He's creeping, tiptoeing. Round 13. To making this happen. Let's do it. 5.5x damage. This Round 13. is going to be insane. Round 13. I don't know who or where or what or why, but this is, I don't even know. Let me look. I don't even know where we are. This came, no, this is Indonesia? What is Rainbow this? Rainbow stumped on the desk. Could that mean that Bulgore and Ziggy? East, are these East to, are these, I think, I wait, was position. it Timor? Where was it that you get these fences? I forgot where you get these fences. I think it's Eastern something Indonesia, Indonesia, like in the islands east of Bali. It's funny because I do think that both players are probably feeling similarly to you. Right now, there are a few options yeah. going through and they're trying to get their extract, that extra bit of information. Bulgor now going on a marathon, sprinting down that road. And you know, I do think Ziggy, you know, without information is, I don't even know if we're in Indonesia, I'm being honest. I don't know where we are. I mean, we're looking for information. Those fences, I know. I've seen. I know there's like a thing where those fences are east. I think it's East Timor. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm. I'm just right. I don't even know where we are. I could be missing the continent here. And if our big analyst on the desk, the man as fast as lightning, Rainbow, is stumped, perhaps this is the round that could end the game or end the match. Who is going to take it? Will Gore? Or Ziggy. Let's see. They might even end up picking close to each other, but we've got a 5.5x multiplier. They could both make really bad guesses and no one's even. And just, it's just fully it's just, yeah. up in the air. But, you know, I'm confident in my. I don't know that uh, I actually know. Oh, Ziggy. Ziggy's going. And he's going where I, exactly where I thought. And he's hedging all of the islands right there. That was the exact region I was hedging thinking. Hedging the islands with a, wa I, a water. A water hedge. A well, water he hedge. went on a water hedge going in the ocean. Oh, Six little seconds seconds there, the Paul Gore. Could he just... He's going Timor. Could, could he, he just, just take like, this? Will he win on the water hedge or will he win going Timor? He oh, wins on the water. That's it. Ziggy yep. has Game. done it. Bulgor is out of there. It's a 3-0. Commiserations to Bulgor. You will not be progressing, but do you know who will? It's Big Z. The Ziggy, Ziggy saves himself wow. from being knocked out what of the GeoGuessr World Cup qualified. That was... A very exciting game. Ziggy, so Ziggy came in there and just he, he, he imposed his will on the game, and I think it paid yeah. off massively. Yeah, and both players thought, thought the same region there too. That shows just just how much you know 
yeah, how much how much randomness sometimes you just don't know and just it comes down to that last guess. That was insane. Wow. Brilliant matchup. I mean, credit to Paul Gore in, the, in in that game three for holding on yeah. as long as he did. Like six rounds. I want to get Peter's thoughts. Let's head over to the war room. Peter, how's it going? Did you see the matchup that we just watched as well? Yes, yes, Ziggy, he did. Very what, intense. What, what a brilliant performance Such by Ziggy. Such guesses there. But what, what, what other you know tidbits and information do you have for us? What else have you been watching whilst you've been in, in the war room? Yeah, we've been following the Hubbard versus Lenley game. It has been going very, very intensely. Uh, they played their no moving game, which went uh, went very, uh, as you might expect, g really good guesses. This one, uh, in particular, both players 5K did. Both K. Well, <laughs> both 5K with the emoji react. I like it. <laughs> of course, and here we have a 3.5 times multiplier where. Wow. Some. Insane, insane guesses right here, as you can see. Hover taking the uh, second game and uh, tying it up. That was a strong one by Hover there. Only lost just over 300 points. Wow. Yeah, really, really intense. That was game two? Here. Through nine rounds. Wow. wow. Indeed. And I, I'll keep you updated on how it keeps going. Thank you, Peter. Your expertise is brilliant. And uh, yeah, for now, everybody, let's take a look at our playoff bracket. I think you guys still need to turn off Peter's mic. Just gonna double check that, that have, there we go. All right, back to us in the studio. So you can see our playoff bracket up on screen now. So we know that it's gonna be Scry versus CG. Wow. Consus versus De Ziggy. that oh is the my big one. God. And now we're waiting to see who Polly is gonna uh, play. And then Alok versus the winner of KO match three and just match three. And so for all of you at home, I can tell you after a short break, we'll be back with one of those matches. Der Ziggy versus Consus. It's going to be Der Ziggy versus Consus. Do not go anywhere. It's a heavyweight battle oh of the Titans. It could be the most explosive matchup yet. And it's one 100% you do not want to miss. So don't go anywhere. It's been a long, tense evening of epic action. And now it's time to watch our first game from the playoffs here at the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. He's Rainbolt. This is Paula. There was a bit of a delay, but you, you, you got it in the end. I love that. I was too Bro, focused on the I've been having the so games. much fun working with you. Uh, and, and like the, the action that we've seen, like you've guided me so well through it. How, what are your impressions <clears throat> so far, having been involved in your first broadcast up until this point? You know, you can probably tell by in the beginning, I was like, dude, I don't know what I'm doing at all. No. I, I'm like not at freaking all. nervous as hell. I'm shaking. But, you know, this is fun. I, I'm like, a, like, I keep saying this, but like these games, I'm just happy to be here. Look, I, I didn't have ec expectations about how games would play out, etc. when I was asked to do this, when I got to the studio, because I don't know this side of the game, right? Mm. And I've been blown away with how actually like exciting it can be. And like when those moments get tense, it's very easy to understand as someone that doesn't know the game that well. And like the, the, the little details, like it's, it's really obvious and, and cool when something of interest is happening. And we've seen that just in spades over the course of this evening. Like when these guys are playing at the highest level, it is a real spectacle. Yeah, and uh, the, the level's only getting higher. Yeah. They keep going, so. Yeah, talking about high levels, what is up next? As I said before, it's our first game of the playoffs, but who is playing? We've got Der Ziggy, firstly. He's a guy that we met at the start of this tournament, and he was on the edge of a comeback, but didn't quite make it. Then we heard from Peter upstairs that he'd actually made a big comeback off stream, and he'd gained a really good result. And then, just now, we saw him with a fantastic win. He, he really brought the heat. And now, he's here in the playoffs. And who is he fighting against? None other than the biggest name uh, here at the event. The, the guy that you lot have all been talking about. Trevor, who is it? And tell us about him. Consus, who is kind of not probably, probably the favorite to potentially win the whole tournament, the whole World Cup. He's going, going up against Ziggy in the finals right here to advance. I mean, he's internationally known as the best, one of the best players in the world, if not the best. But can Ziggy pull off another crazy victory or will Consus 
who went like six and one, I think, in the group stages. Exactly. It's Consus versus Der Ziggy. We've got arguably the favorite of the tournament going up against Der Ziggy, who's really grinded it out to get to this point. And now they square off head to head in our first playoff game. I'm hyped. I'm very excited. It looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Yeah. And, you know, keep in mind, too, just to reiterate, this is a best of five. Winner of this best of five advances to Stockholm. The winner of this guarantees their spot at space in Stockholm for the grand finals, October yep. the 13th to the 14th. Remember, everybody at home, get your tickets. If you can, if you can come down, you're going to witness something special. Now, what else is there to do? Nothing but get this one going. It's Consus versus Der Ziggy. Best of five. We'll start off with move, then we'll go to, we, we, yeah, we start off with move, go to no move, repeat that, and if we end up getting to a fifth game, then it will be NMPZ. Rainbow, you ready? I'm ready. And Let's it's our it. first Greece location of the day. Let's do it. Let's see if Consus or Ziggy are down with Greece, shall we? Let's go, yeah. So, Trevor set the scene here. Yep, round it's one. It's Greece. It's our first Greece location of the day. I wonder which player is going to pick up on that first. Yep, it is moving. Um, but you know, just for the for the viewers watching, uh, how do you know it's Greek? Well, besides the Greek alphabet right there, uh, wooden poles are way more common in Greece. You also have these light poles that go off of the pole that you might see here. Uh, those are, are like these lamp posts. Those are very Greek. And uh, both players here know that is the case. But I'm not sure who is the better region guesser here in Greece. Um, but Constance versus Derziki is an insane matchup for the playoffs. It's for the a Pauls. big battle. This is like... I know. don't want to say it's David versus Goliath, but it kind of feels like that a bit. And Ziggy's making it... Oh, David is making the first move. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's see. Taking I think it to he's the going giant. To south of Athens here. Let's see where uh, Constance ends up going. He's going more north. He ends up going back down. and was way more north there. But that is okay. Only losing a couple hundred points in round one. As a decent first hit, though, with no multiplier. Yep. That's a solid blow. And we're going to be back in Nigeria. So you can see, again, we have the follow car right here behind us, the police car. It's a great sign. This is a new Gen 4 Nigeria coverage that is new. I'm not sure what player knows Nigeria the best. When you're learning Nigeria and things like this, you're learning things like what, what police car is following you where, things like that. So you learn, you know, some meta within the camera. But I do like Ziggy's northern guests here, um, both going north. We'll see if it pays off in Nigeria. Ziggy versus Constance, best of five, winner advances two. Wow, how did he, how did he know that? Ziggy literally across the road. Constance. Constance across the road, apologies. That was a... Uh, Sometimes get the icons mixed up. That is a huge, huge, that's Constance getting off to a flying start, flawless yeah, right I'm now. I'm not sure how he knew that road. I don't know if he lined it up. I'm not sure. Let's keep going in a fairly small country here in UAE. Who can find the roundabout? Probably both, but we'll find out in moving. I, I honestly don't know. That's one of those things where Constance just does something, and I'm just like, how? There wasn't something, so, unless you just like memorize that road before. I think oh, that's, we've that's already the, got a lock in yep. from Ziggy. Makes sense. Trying to take it to Constance, trying to claw back some points, do some damage. Constance now moving at the speed of wow. light. Both getting it. Dude, this game is going to be insane. I can Both wait. getting it so close. Only 21 points of damage. But again, it's in Consus's favor. Yep. But this is in Ziggy's favor. I like Ziggy that. holding the world record for New Zealand. Okay. We are in New Zealand. He'll be happy to see this, but also sad that we're not in higher higher multis. Multi, higher multis, because it could have been big points. Let's see. Who knows, though? Maybe Consus can surprise it. How much of an upset in this round would it be if Consus beat Ziggy? Not would it be a huge blow to Ziggy's, like... Mental um, to yeah, their confidence. He, you know, Ziggy is—he's—he's—you uh, he's, know—he's not—he doesn't get everything right all the time. He—he he seems to know this though, and he's lining the road up already. It's—it's it's always great to see players. It's like you know, how, like in some games, players main different characters. Yeah. And Geo Guesser, you main a country. You main a country. It's like everyone okay. has their own country. You know that they kind of like really study and learn. And we have a but South Consus Island guest here gone, by Consus. Consus has gone first. Oh no! I—I I, I just presume Ziggy's right. I'm not sure. It'd be crazy. They are in completely opposite ends Ziggy. of the country and right Ziggy's now. Right. And it's Ziggy! The oh expert! My God. The expert on New Zealand showing what they're made of. He's him. He's but him. He he's said, this is my country. Consus is glad that was not multi, and Ziggy is sad that was not multi. Going yeah. into round five here. Let's keep it going. Wow. Round five of game one. 
I'm not sure. First multi, 1.5x. That was um, that was insane. I mean, Ziggy, like I said, so the, if you guys don't know, Ziggy immediately zoomed in on a street sign there in New Zealand. And so he's pretty much memorized most of the street signs because they're region specific in New Zealand. So that is what he looked for there to get that region, presumably. Corn, it's corn. corn. The corn meta, hashtag get the corn meta going in the chat. Corn meta. That corn is not looking too fresh, <laughs> looking a bit, bit dry, but nonetheless so, corn meta. It looks like an Ecuador pull to me. So I'm assuming both okay. players will get Ecuador here. And Ziggy, and they're both going south which does make sense where it's pretty dry. So we'll see. And yep, just over there by the Peruvian border. Not going to be too much of a difference there. There's no three, three points. That is devastating. He is crying in his room right now. Round three points. Six. And this will be a fun round. And by fun, I mean quick and painless for both players in Spain. 2x damage. Who will find the information first? Let's find out. Both players. Starting to stroll, starting to move. Oh, wait, am I... Consus is zooming. Consus is looking at this is Israel. Israel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. they they both picked at almost exactly the same time. They're both very close to each other. So once again, going to be very little damage. As you said, painless. Yep. I uh, called He's the wrong country, but I did see yeah. the license plate a little bit late there. And I will call the right country here. Cope. Indonesia. <laughs> Let's see if I'm right. Indonesia. Start round. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I would realize that. Don't worry, guys. Round seven. Two point five x damage. Two point five x damage. I hope they zoom in Indonesia. Um, we'll see. I think you're on the money. Yeah, so this is a uh, consist is notoriously known for knowing random things in uh, Indo. This is their abbreviation. So when you say random things, random like what? It's just like, he's just the type of guy to just like find the road. And you're just like, how does he know that road? Um, or just like things like, Ziggy knows things even, I'm, I'm assuming consist knows as well, of like, oh, this telephone pole layout is only like this in this certain region or something like that. Yeah, you know? okay. So. so he knows obscure details that other people tend he, to not know. Yeah, he, he studies countries and does his own research a lot of the oh, time. Wow. So sometimes you'd be like, wait, that's not. How did you know that? Yeah. That's just like, oh, you just Consus. And so, and, and Consus found the country there in the end. He is going to Indonesia, and he is going a very obscure or specific area that maybe makes me think he's confident in his guess. We'll see where Ziggy goes. Pressure on Ziggy. Just about five seconds left, mate. Also oh, going this is a completely Indonesia, different. But a completely different area. Oh, no. Who's right? 2.5x damage. Right. Consus almost the right on the money. Out. That's that game. is huge. 9.1k. And in such a spectacular fashion. And that was exactly what I was saying, where you're like, how does he know that? Consus just bobbing and weaving, coming up with a huge blow there. That wow. is night. We've not seen damage points like that anywhere near, sorry, uh, damage like that yeah, across good, the yeah. whole of this evening. Wow. And that's Consus, where he just figures something out. That's and the you, Consus effect. Yeah. And, you know, Ziggy's a great Indonesian player. So, like, you expect, that is not easy Indonesian lock by any means. So, shout out to Consus, shout out to Ziggy. Had, he, he had Consus there. It's not over. It's not over. Not over. Just best of five, it, it, just the first game of our best of five. For now, let's head on upstairs and check in with Peter. Peter, we've just had a brilliant start to a battle between Consus and Ziggy. What's going on with you? Yeah, what I guess, what I guess. And we have a, a few games more to share from the last few uh, knockout games. So here we have Harvard playing against Alain Lee, uh, guessing we in uh, here in Malaysia with a. Pretty, wow. pretty close guess by Lenley. That's a great Borneo guess. Lenley's done a good job there. Wow. With the big damage. And this was the, I believe, moving game that Lenley won. The, uh, the in second. the lead 2 1 at this point. Got it. And here we have the no moving game. Wow. With a very close guess into loose. And with the taking <sighs> off a big, big chunk damage. of damage great. there. And I believe this was the last round of the game. Very intense, 4.5 times multiplier, as you can see, very close oh, with game the wrong between country. them. But the more points. Yeah, and the wow. Lenley, Lenley took it. Wow. 3 to 1. 3 to 1, Lend the man, Lenley. Lend Germany. the man. Two Germans. Have they are it. good. As are you good. said at the start of the show, the, the, the German nation, a, a nation of fantastic GeoGuest players showing out. Definitely. All right, Peter, anything else you want to say? All good up there? Operator train, you good? <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. Thank you very much. And Brilliant. Uh, we'll, we'll keep watching the playoffs now. That we will. Peter, thank you so much. Back to myself, Rainbolt, in the studio. We're going to get going with game two uh, very soon. Very soon. That was an electric game one, Dude, though. This is what dreams are made of. This is. 
absolutely what dreams this are made is, of. Uh, I, I, I'm a fan of this game. I'm a fan of both players. So seeing this high level gameplay uh, for both is such a it's such a treat. So I, I want to see. I wonder if we could get a stat if if, if Consus is what was it 9.6k? If that's the highest of the tournament so far. And in, in what in what realm? In, in, in that last round. Oh, we had like we? a thirty thousand earlier. There was a thirty. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. I must have missed that. Yeah. But. It looks like we might be ready. Yeah, anyway, we are ready, everybody. Consus versus Derziggy, game two of five. Consus in the lead by one. It looks like we're at some sort of airport here, Trev. Something like that. Let's see. We are going to be in Russia. Start the round. Russian airport. A, a seat, round one. No multi, so you're lucky no if multi. you aren't good at Russia, I presume. This is a no-move game, so players have this one 360 panorama, and that is it. Zooming in on the antenna there, as Consus does. We'll see. We do have Skrillic here with long antenna. That is why you know it, it is presumably Russia with the no um, blue strip on the license plate there. Okay. No move now. Either of these. Oh, he's going super east in Sakhalin. And Russia is very, very big. Wait, is there cabbage? Usually you get cabbage in that region. I'm not sure. That is a great guess if he's right. And maybe he can. And they're both he's looking they're for both, an airport. Okay. So they both know the airport then, or they're both at the airport. Yeah, they're both. This is both like. I'm not sure if they're. Yeah, they're, they're both in the exact same location right now. Yep. Consus is just looking for the airport. He's kind of skimmed over it where it was a bit further south. Oh. Wait. Sorry. I've, I've missed. Yeah. No, so Ziggy, Consus, Ziggy, Consus Ziggy, did put yeah. it down. And Ziggy found but, the 5K. But yeah, Ziggy did find the 5K. Great guess there, round two. Brilliant guess. He found that airport so slick. Yep. And this will be a very. Um, and then no move. This is a very standard game. Uh, so the Google car here gives away the country pretty much. It's going to be Guatemala. Both players obviously will know this. But let's see who can region guess Guatemala um, better. And Ziggy's trying to line the road up quite alpha. But just going Guatemala City is probably a safe guess here when it's this urban. So I do not mind it. I'm assuming you see something similar by Constance. We do not, it looks like. Do we? He's deciding. And Ziggy has... Not sent. Consus has sent. Yeah, Consus sends. But both going the capital. Well, they're both so. on the capital, so there shouldn't be too much of a difference here. Small points gained, if any. Ziggy, though, right on top. How did he... How did Bro find the neighborhood and... That, Little bit of chip towards Consus there. That was kind of crazy. And we're going to be in Turkey here. The, the, the points at this... It, 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 like, this far in, you know, just round three... Not so important, but yep. I, I still think it's good for the mental. Ziggy's going to be happy. Yep, he's down 1-0 right now, or 0-1. Yeah, and um, he, needs to, he needs to build that confidence up. So they're looking for kind of information here. You, you know, in Turkey, you could use things like the um, the water tanks. There's um, a pro player named Jelotris that's actually watching the stream right now. Shout out to Jelotris. He's the, the best Turkey player. He knows everything in Turkey. And I know Ziggy has taught Italia. him a lot. Ziggy's just gone outside in Talia. So we'll see if... And Consus right now is in a completely different region. Uh, they're somewhat similar. Okay, they're somewhat. Apologies. Ooh. Terrible at remaps, guys. <laughs> yeah, not much of a difference there. 49 points in the end. Yep. Difference. Yep, getting the right kind of southwestern yeah. region there. So Consus now bouncing back slightly. Yep, it's a very even game. Four point difference. And we're going to be in. You remember this? This car? This is the police car that follows you around in Nigeria. Yes. Yes. He's learned. Yes, I have learned. I've Let's leveled go. up, guys. Let's go. I've made it. So they know they're in Nigeria. Yep. And currently looking, it is a move, so this is all the information they get in this neighborhood. Um, not very many signs or really information that they can use to their advantage. You kind of just have to use the terrain and things like that to region guess. Um, you know, some people have maybe even learned the yellow stripes on this car and like where those are found. Okay. Not sure any of these players have, but that is kind of the, the links some players do go. To Does Ziggy there was guess. zooming in on tires? Would that be something where he could see like the tire trades for like a specific area or like? Uh, I, that's just a Ziggy moment. It's a Ziggy moment. And let's see, he's 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 going. He's in between a couple of regions here. Does he go Lagos or does he go more east? Is so I know you do get kind of more red soil that uh, more east kind of near Benin City and things like that. But it was wow. Consus locks in first. That was but uh, both very both north. Close. That was yeah, not yeah, not the easiest round there yeah. in Nigeria. Close to each other. I should say. Next round, are we in? We're in round four. Round round five, five. now. Sorry, we're Let's in round five. See. It looks like it could be like a San Marino or something, but I'm not gonna say San that. San Marino. I'm not gonna say that too confidently because I'm not too sure. We'll see what the where the players zoom in on. 
You showed me some San Marino skills earlier. Yeah, there's even we the, the, the plates here. So looking for the see if it's a cool. Oh, that one's an covered. Italian player or something like that it is a little bit covered there. This is our beginning of our 1.5x multi, so these games do matter going forward. Yep. I'm not sure where I would go here, TBH, but that's okay. Would you still that. be sticking with San Marino or? Um, I just saw a constant not zoom in the San Marino, so I'm gonna say no. Oh. Yep. I guess it's come in. Consus has gone. His Italy. On so. that western coast of Italy. Yep. Those might be like Rome trees, you know? Something like that. What trees usually found around Rome? And Ziggy Rome. does think they're Rome trees. Okay. They weren't. Okay, they weren't. That's okay. They could have been. But again, not too bad. 254 points of damage. Ziggy clawing away at Consus. Little bits of damage. They build up over time. But when these multis start getting. This is where it gets exciting. Thicker. This yeah, is where, this is where the real excitement starts. And this to build. is uh, maybe your neck of the woods. 2x. Um, uh, in the, yeah, it's in the UK somewhere. Yeah, we got water. I can't see the compass on my screen, but it looks like water north. So maybe you can find the port that they're at right now. Um, could I'm be Scotland. Could be. It could be. Let's see where they end up going here. Eastern side of Scotland. You know, with water north, Scotland would make sense. You oh, you, it. you know it's water north. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Where Ziggy is zooming in on Scotland right now. And it does look very Scottish. Looks like. There's so many I islands around this part of yep. Scotland, though, so this is tough. So they're currently scanning for the port, because you will be able to see the port on the map. Okay. Um, and Ziggy found one that maybe lines up. That would be quite, quite insane. He doesn't think it lines up. He keeps scanning. Constance is looking for mountains or maybe something, uh, an, an island in the distance or something that maybe helps him line up the road as well. Because yeah. if you see an island in the distance, you can know, you can find it on the map as well with Water North. But. I'm not too entirely sure, but they are both committing Scotland. Round six on 2x damage here. Looking for the port, Ziggy down 01. This is my second dub. I said it was Scotland. I could tell it was Scotland. It's vibes. I'm vibing, man. You're vibe guessing. Vibe, vibe guessing, brother. Vibe guessing. No parking. That oh, another port, port now for Ziggy. Ziggy, the port. Ziggy likes, likes the, that, Constance but Constance found, first. Found, found something, I'm not sure. If Constance is in the port, they're both very, very similar. Yeah, they are in very similar Negli locations. Negligible points regardless. Yeah. Let's see where it is. Oh! Wait, Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. Oh, okay, oh. but it's still not too much. Doing. But with the double damage, it's going to yep. be like a decent chunk. That last minute change. I don't yeah, think it's that bad. Change. I mean, only 250 points. So Even seven. Stevens now. Very close. Round seven. I think we might be back. I think we might be. Let me see. Let me start the round and look around here. But it looks like we're going to be back in Scotland, or it could be somewhere else. And um, it's definitely sort of British countryside for sure. It looks like Scotland to me. It could be something different, but we'll see where the players end up going here. This is no move for the players. You cannot no see And they're lining up roads. I do like going in one of those northern islands there um, by Ziggy. It's a risky guess, but it could pay off. And Constance is sticking to the main Scotland. We'll see if. It pays off. Currently, I'm not sure what they're currently looking for. Ziggy is panning all over. And Constance is in. Constance. Ziggy on the clock. Ziggy's committing to the Northern Ireland, a uh, Northern Island, not Northern Ireland. <laughs> Constance is in. Ziggy spending all the time he can to just try and get a bit of a better wow, it location. Was. And Ziggy actually, that's that should be like a, a you know, little bit for Ziggy there. 2.5, exactly. Yep. 1.2K against Consus. That's the biggest blow yet yep. in game two. And part of me thinks playoff match. he wanted to commit further north, but was too scared that yeah. if, if you're wrong, you lose too many points. It's not yeah. worth it to make that big of a... And what a beautiful mountain range we're in right now. Yeah, Holy, stunning. That's a good thing about Geogaster as well, is you get to see all these types of things. Start round in Peru. Triple damage now. The players will turn around and see a black and white stripe pulled up. We'll confirm they will be in Peru in three, two, one. Ziggy zooms in. There it is. Yeah. You know, we've done this once or twice. But, yep, and now Ziggy is going. Um, so, usually more west is more desert, more east is more mountains. Ziggy is going in the mountains there, which makes sense considering the mountain range we're in. We'll see if um, Constance does the same, presumably. He's going more north near Terrapodo. We'll see. I, I kind of like it, to be honest. I don't want to go that north, but I do like a somewhat northern hedge here, especially knowing... Oh, he, Consus has locked in. No, sorry, Ziggy Ziggy's has locked, locked in. in. Consus is going super south here, which Consus could be the case. Pressure. Someone could pick a pretty big point here in 3x damage north. in Peru. Who will do it, though? Quite Someone a distance will. here. 3x damage. Consus! Consus on the he money! The he got the road right! 
5,000 5K Ziggy back in a position he's known too well over the course of this evening, oh being at a massive God. disadvantage. 434 points to his name. Last second, click the right road. How? Consist, bro. Consist. Just consist things. I don't even know. I, let's just play. I'm gonna see. Let's I'm go. See let's this keep these up. guys in the moment. I, I honestly think we might be in like Ireland or or or, or um Northern or like Scotland again. To be honest, we're gonna be we're gonna be we might be in Scotland again. Yeah. I think we're in Scotland again. That's a. This is maybe this was your game, bro. You could be Constance. my game. I could be Constance or yeah. beat Constance. Beat. I could beat Constance. I don't know, man. I don't think I could be or you beat him. If you keep, if you <laughs> you're not, are you not that guy, pal? I'm not that guy, pal. Trust me. Ziggy's going more south that here. Guy. So I like it. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see where Constance so is going. Constance is going Scotland. Ziggy's, Ziggy's going, going south. southwest England. We have two max commits way and different. And then Constance completely Constance north is up in, in Scotland. Scotland. Well, Ziggy, stay down here. Ziggy's Ziggy. cracking north now. Will he commit north? But he Ziggy. does not have much time if he's going to flip. Five seconds. On if a Ziggy's dime. closer, he could win on this, though. Oh, Ziggy's going to stay around here. He's staying. He's, he's scanning. Consist. Oh, Consist. That's got to be it. That's it. That's going to be it. That is going to be game. Consist 2 0 now in this best of five. Our warrior from the Netherlands. Wow. Just Consist things, proving why he is an absolute favorite. Ziggy not able to produce a comeback there. And one more loss in this next game would mean that Ziggy goes home. That he's done. He's knocked yep. out yep. of this tournament. We're going back to moving, I think. We're going back to moving. Can we talk about... I think Consus has only lost one game this whole day. Yeah. I think, well, I mean, at least when we saw the... He was like 6-1. The one. group scores yeah. earlier, he was 6-1. And, and one. he advanced automatically here, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. So he's only... He's 8-1 right now, I think. Yeah, he's only lost... Or 9-1, maybe. I don't know. He's only lost one match, yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. All right, let's uh, get Peter back involved and see what he's been looking at up in the war room. Peter. I've been following yeah, a very intense game between Scrypero and Chicago Geographer. Okay. They literally just finished their first moving game, and I have some clips to share with you. Uh, they spent so much time on this particular round, like something close to five minutes, uh, moving around looking for clues, and they ended up 5K in both oh of them. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> so this really is, going for it. This really is GeoGuessr. This is. Exactly. But there were some faster rounds uh, later on as well, uh, locking it in pretty much instantly. There have been some instant guesses as well in this game, uh, without much moving around. And as you can see in this particular oh round, wow. it makes a much closer guess Dude, in Mexico. CG. Big blow Big from CG there. CG coming from the pre qualies making it. Beautiful location. Yeah, and this, this round literally happened a minute and a half ago. We clipped it right as we were switching to us, and uh, wow. CG takes it. Is that game one? It is game one, yes. So wow. CG is up there versus CG, Bright. two more games, and he advances to the qualities. Yeah, good, good chances, but we're wow. going to keep following the game and, and see how it goes. Nice one, Peter, and thank you for your expertise from the War Room. The competition is truly heating up, Rainbow. Dude, I love seeing all my friends playing this game, yeah. all, all thriving, all, all making good guesses. It's There's so much thing. on the line as well. Yeah. So I'm sure you've watched these guys play so much or played against them, but right now you're getting to see them play for the highest stakes that they've ever played. Right now, everybody, it's time to jump back in to Consus versus De Ziggy. Let's set the scene one final time. Whoever loses this goes home. This is the knockouts. This is yep. the playoffs, sorry. And whoever wins it secures their spot at the GeoGuessr World Cup, October yep. 13th to the 14th. And so, Consus huge game. Consus game. right now, 2-0 up. If he wins this game, he will be that person going through to the World Cup. Ziggy, Ziggy come down. the pressure is on. We've seen him come back. We have. We've seen him come back countless times. He would need to win via reverse sweep, Against including Constance. on an NM NMPZ. All right, Trevor, if you're ready, we can get this one underway. I don't know if I'll ever be ready, but let's do it. Round one, Constance versus Ziggy. Let us go. Let's see. Starting things off. Back Round into one. move. Back in yep. to move. Which I don't know who quite has the advantage in move. They're both kind of similarly skilled players. I know Ziggy has been practicing a lot. Consus has been practicing a lot. Consus is um, is a very talented player regardless of the game mode. So 
as a Ziggy. And it, it will be Chekia with the sign. You get these arrows more common in Chekia with Gen 4 coverage. Constance has instant send. I'm not sure they're both going the exact similar region it looks like on the screen here right now. So it's actually no multis. This will be a... Wow. Both in very similar locations. They have a uh, similar vibe guesses, I guess. Or is that yeah. they're just clicking the middle hoping for the best? Six points of damage. That's Constance poking Ziggy saying, hey, mate. Yeah. Better watch out. I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, so Ziggy's looking not to get flawless. We'll see. Next round here. I'm just going to continue starting. We're going to be back in Europe. Let me see if I can look around where we are. This is going to be insane. I'm kind of hoping that I mean, Loki might. I want to see an NPZ game, you know, in one of these in one of these qualities. It's that crazy. would be crazy. I mean, we know Ziggy's capable of producing comebacks, but... To win two in a row and then win an NMPZ versus the Consus, the, 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 the giga brain of Consus, that's a tall order for any player, even one of Ziggy's talents. But Ziggy right now, zooming in, he's thinking Bulgarian. He locks it in. Yep, this will be Bulgaria. Putting Consus on and the back. The but yeah, Bulgarian you can see flag. the flag. Yep. And Consus is on the clock right now. You know, region guessing Bulgaria isn't the easiest, especially when it's more urban. So um, I'm assuming they know similar things. But Consus is getting the Consus vibes on northern Bulgaria there. Yeah, 331 uh, from a round two is not bad. Nope, nope. It's gonna be sad there's no multi there. Yep, and Kant is still not losing any points. Let's start round three. Let's keep it going. Let's keep, keep the pace it going. going. Keep it rolling. This should be similar territory. Let's see if they pick it up in round three. One X damage, which pretty much means nothing. Let's see. This is uh, this is getting quite insane. I'm I'm so excited to see the other the finals as well, with you know Scry and CG and other you know participants. This is uh, and uh, it's gonna be insane. And you know, Ziggy, Ziggy locking with the, in a fast lock there. Conscious reacts accordingly. Both similar distances away. Only 100 gonna, points. It's gonna be 110 points there. But once yep. again, Conscious doing the doing the dirty work. Not letting him pick up any points. Getting the damage in. Not letting Ziggy get any points. Round four. Let's run it. You know what? I don't want to. Sp sp <laughs> I once read or saw somewhere that this, that like a red tractor or something was like common in Serbia or something like that. Yeah. I don't think that's true. But if it is Serbia, that'd be wild. And shout out to red tractors. Maybe it was a green shout tractor. Out Maybe it was a green tractor. The red tractors. Maybe I'm spreading that. fake and in, 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 in misinformation again. Yeah. It's Let's see you, though. That's like your hobby. It's like your side hustle. It's fun, you know? Fake news. And the more I look at it, the more I actually think I'll be in Serbia. I'm not, not sure. We don't have antenna on the car, which is a uh, common in Serbia. Kons just likes this, the, the the messaging there. It took quite a bit of that information in. Ziggy, though, yep. just suddenly at one point honed in, it's locked a, it in. Yeah, Serbia's a small country. Click middle, hope, hope for the best. And uh, Kons is also going Serbia, similar area. Pretty, once Still again, great. he's just a bit closer. The red tractor. Red tractor. That's a baby. fake. I think it was a green tractor, but it's a red tractor now. It's 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 that. That's it's, it's forever that. Round four or round five. Let's keep it going. Constance versus Ziggy. Moving. It looks like this looks like Ukraine to me with these square poles. But we'll see once we move. I I would assume so. We'll see what the players end up if they validate me here. Or is it a Baltic country? I'm blundering. Should be Ukraine here though. If I. You get these often side roads more kind kind of in Ukraine. These side roads are and so we do have a red car, so we will be in Ukraine here. They're so tough to me as, yep. a, as someone without anywhere near the education you guys have. Yep. It's experiencing these things and like I feel like usually when we see areas like this, the players spend a lot. Oh, I was going to say a lot of time, but, but Ziggy proves me wrong. Ziggy doing, thinks he's got it. He's just doing an instant. I think a, a center hedge again, and. Uh, We'll see if it pays off. Center hedge, Constance. Three seconds now. left. Constance is going in the same exact region. But yeah, they're, they're when in doubt, center knocking on each other's doors. Yeah, that's a common, you know, I'm not sure. Click center hope for the best type. Even thing. with our first multiplier, 1.5x. Yep. But going. that being said, at least Ziggy now getting on the scoreboard. Yep. That's going to feel good to He's have gotten got around. Yeah. Yep. Outplonked round six. Let's keep it going. 2x damage. This is where it gets interesting, especially when we get to countries like this. Let's see where they go. Countries like this, what am I looking at? It looks like a Colo to me, or maybe a Colombia. Con Let's see if Consus. I get validated by Consus. I do. Consus he's went sending. straight in. Ziggy is saying, uh, okay, buddy, would you know that I don't? So these yellow and black stripe holes on the side, those are very Colombian. And that Ziggy will know that as so well. so aggressive. And he knew the city. Consus. Consus right knew on top the of the city. city. Now with double damage, we're talking 2K. 2K. He makes it look so easy. 
effortless. That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, that just looked like he, he, he locked in. Yeah. Like he knew exactly where it was. The AZ. The AZ. Yeah, let's keep it going. Round seven. Ziggy now in and a tough is, spot. And 2.5x damage. We're going to be in Brazil here, presumably. HP almost hard. I would go pretty north here. I, I, I assume we see both players instantly instantly start painting That north. red dirt. You do get that red dirt, but this dry, kind of arid climate with these hills, maybe I see more in like Piai or something like that. I'm not too sure. We'll see if I get validated. I think he's going to that east. Ziggy going more northeast. I liked it a lot. Let's see where Constance is going. I, at this point, you just have to trust Constance. Ziggy locks in. Yeah, I mean, Constance, it's like it just comes to him an epiphany and, and each these time. Games, these games are so fast for moving. Seven seconds. Is he going to pull it off again? They're going the same region. Similar region. Saw you more north. Three seconds on the clock. And, he and does he's it. done it again. And that with that multiplier is going to be solid 1700. damage, seventeen hundred. And Ziggy ends up on seventeen hundred. Consus is just—I don't know how he—he's doing this. It's like even if Ziggy moves fast, Consus moves, and he somehow moves closer. That's the thing. Consus doesn't have a guess even place, and he zooms in and gets it. Round eight, we're we'll back in the UK slash Ireland. I'm not too sure which. Um, I presumably uh, would assume the UK here, but let me see if I can see a license plate to confirm. We could be in like Northern Ireland as well, so that would be a fun round. Um, Ziggy, he's going for he's looking at Scotland right now. I like the Scotland call out. I do like the Scot the Scotland call out. And he's going to stick with it. Do we see a Scotland? Gets it's right? Consus once again just going to be like you can't push me around, and nope, he's going to put his Scotland. pin down on the exact right spot. Let's see. Ziggy really needs this three x damage. Ziggy, and Ziggy the, does get it. He, got, he lined it up perfectly. Ziggy does get it. 813 damage. It's a solid amount of damage, even though Consus has so much HP. Ziggy, yeah, definitely going to be happy that he got that one. Yep, and we're going into Norway here. I know Consus, I think he has some friends that are good at Norway. And I think they might have learned and taught him a lot. We'll find out right now. Round 8, 3x damage. Round 9. Let's get it going. Round 9, 3.5x. Consus just leaving no room for... for for any error, but Ziggy getting a great Scotland guess there. I think so so far from having watched Constance gameplay, one thing that you can tell is that he doesn't seem to like um, get phased when he's not the first person to move. Like when when he when he gets like when his opponent locks in before him, mm -hmm. it's like it's just it suddenly accelerates into this no, uh, another gear. Exactly. It's it's bizarre. It's really oh, really some joy information to watch. There. I'm not sure he's not using it. I'm assuming he wants bigger town names or bigger, bigger cities. You know, I would go near maybe Bergen or something like this here. I'm not too sure. That's my best bet. Classic Norwegian tunnel right there. <laughs> why, why is that classically Norwegian? As it's, uh, it's just like a very common thing. You sometimes get Norway tunnels. Okay. Kons is now suddenly zooming in. He's seen this signpost. He's sticking on it. Yep, he sees E39 there. Let's see if he scans for the road. Ziggy sees an E39 as well, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, seen and Bergen. similar times. And look at Bergen. Me. Look at me. I'm like just, you mentioned. I'm just kind of him. But Consus locks in first. Both similar. Both on the E39, it looks like. Both on E39. So, and they know how far. I think Ziggy might have better information, though. And it does end up paying off. With Ziggy, Ziggy right on top. 5K. By Ziggy. That is 17. He was, again, he was like across the road. And, 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 and Ziggy is going to be very happy with that. I mean, it's yeah. not huge damage, but it, it's, a he has to he has to be doing little little bits of chip. Yep. He's got to be coming at Consus. Yep. Because if Consus gets one big win here, yeah. Ziggy's out, Consus moves on. Yep. Ziggy is one one blunder away from being uh, eliminated from the from the tournament and Consus advancing to Stockholm to play in space on October 14th. And Literally, 14th. Ziggy's really, really in touch. 3.5x damage, round nine. Round, sorry, 4x, 4X round, round 10. 10. I mean, Ziggy's got to just play every round here yeah, so well. Back in Colo. And you know, we saw that Colo guess by Consus earlier where he, he's new to the city. So he, he seems to know some information about Colombia that maybe Ziggy might not know. Let's see if, it, if this translates here as well on 4x damage in Colo where it's, you know, you could pick up pretty big points with one good guess here. But it's not one of those rounds where Ziggy could win on. Ziggy. He can't. He needs to slowly chip away on a bigger country to get or hope for a blunder. Both roughly looking at the same area. Yep. They were both they're, like hovering around Medellin. Yeah. Looking for looking for any sort of information, but they're, again they're stuck in kind of this like small little, little village. Is sticking on the map for all. I wonder if he's he, he's got a, a, a he tell must, somehow. He has some information yeah. probably in his head that he's scanning for right now. Maybe it's mountains in the distance. I'm not too sure what exactly goes through that guy's head, but I trust whatever it is. 
Because he said, he's I don't, really I don't, sticking on the map. He's got some information. He's looking for something that we've not picked up on. And Ziggy's going back to that same building that oh, there definitely is, and they're they're both in similar areas. So there's definitely something on that sign that I can't read, that definitely gives away this kind of general region of Colombia, as most both players all are right there. Yeah, they're both in very similar areas. I, I can't help but feel they're both oh, doing the exact same thing right now. They're you're on their map, and they're just trying to line something up, right? Yeah, but well, they're probably looking for a specific smaller town outside of this okay. region that it says, um, maybe we're in Jordan. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> crazy. Consus is finally out of his map for the first time in he said about a minute. More information, but, you know... With both players right there, I presume. Oh, he's he's reset, right? I think that was. Yeah, he went yeah. he went back to the start, maybe going a different direction, looking for different information, or if he wants to line up the road because he thinks he, he thinks he might have the road. And Ziggy. Yeah, Consus reset death. and then picked his spot. Ziggy, and Ziggy now is going over under pressure. This will be very minimal points, regardless, because they're both in the same exact region. But on four X damage, on one point seven K. Yeah, you don't you don't pick up very many here. Oh wait, it's super east. So Ziggy. Ziggy's actually and picking up at least another yeah. like little little blow there. Three hundred seventy-two. That's a good win to get. It's those little things that yeah. you know Ziggy needs it. Those little points that Ziggy needs to pick up and just keep going, keep that momentum. Otherwise, he is out of there. And we're getting into round eleven here. And what I look like, I would go Peru here. Um, in my it could be Bolivia or something. I'm just not. not I'm just not that. I always get those mixed up. Because I have not learned every road in Bolivia, contrary to popular belief. And uh, assuming that Ziggy's zooming in completely, it is Peru. So the reason why it isn't that's really there, a pretty we have a, a that's a pretty there. alpha zoom by Ziggy. Why is he, he's like when, when they zoom in that far, they must know something. Yeah. Um, but he's not confident because he's zooming elsewhere. Yeah, but he's going straight or deep onto a road there. Yeah, this white painted brick on the side is also very Peruvian. You get that white painted brick very common in Peru, and these uh, three kind of tridents outside of the. There's so many Peru clues here. I like the North guess here a lot with what I'm looking at on Constance's screen. This like kind of farm or like this plant, I, I I think I've seen that way more likely North. So I do like, I don't think Ziggy has seen that exact information. I do like that Northern guess by Constance. Ziggy hasn't really moved yet. He's moving now. He was playing no move initially. We'll see. Ziggy, 1700 points. He can lose the road here now, in Peru. Ziggy. We saw Constance make guess the right road in Peru somehow a couple rounds, uh, or a couple, maybe a game previous. So he's definitely capable of doing some of the same things in Peru. I can't see like their relative positions right now. I'm unsure. You, did you know how like close or far away they, from each other they are? No, I, 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 I think, I do think uh, Constance is a little more north, okay. but I don't think it's too devastating where they're like opposite sides of the country. Yeah. 4.5 4. Oaks. Ziggy on just 1,761. One he wants to go more north, and he does. Ziggy's going to lock in that road. And Constance is looking for information still. Oh, and there is commit. quite a difference there. At least that there one is. There is. Oh, Ziggy's way more north. Or Constance. Yeah, I mean, I think they're both. Five seconds, Constance. It could be in between them. This one could be the, right. one second. the qualifying blow. North. No. It was so south. Oh, my God. Still, it's going to be good damage for Constance. Yeah, 936. Ziggy's in that position. Oh he knows too God. well in the red under 1K. And this is this what? On the complete back foot. I think we're in Chile, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start the round and let them figure it out for us. Five X damage. You know, Chile's a very fun country to guess, to region guess, because it's you get all different types of climate. And They're both going in the same direction right now. They're both looking at the same uh, billboard. We have long plates on the car. I would presume we're gonna be in Chile. Let's see. Yep. And I would say I I love Ziggy's guess here. I would almost, I I would almost instant send exactly where Ziggy is right now, because I think he's gonna be pretty close. But on Chile, Chile is is super, super long, and you pick up a lot of damage without ever realizing. So if Ziggy somehow pinpoints a pretty close road here and constantly blunders even by like 100 miles, it's a, it could be a massive point. It could Chile. be a massive point. And they're going in the exact same region, on the exact same road, in the exact same intersection. And it was just Oh the my Port god, Lamont. Ziggy! Wow. Yeah, 100 points. It's such a shame it's only 100 points, but Ziggy was, was know, so, so accurate there. You know, Constance may have won. He might, might be 2-0 right now. Yeah, but, but some of these... Every game yeah, has come yeah. down to the... It's been close. So many of these games have been so close. So many of these rounds have been so close. It's Yeah, round 13. 
Ziggy doing everything he can. Round 13, and, getting deep into the round. And we're gonna now. be in Russia now too. And this is where, this is where you separate, you know, the the, the players. Because this is when when you when you start rage guessing Russia like this, it's uh, it gets pretty pretty difficult. So, but both players have been studying Russia and have been studying roads in Russia. So this I'm expecting where, some hopefully good results here. Rainbow saying this is where we separate players. Apparently Russia is a country that can allow the best players to rise to the top. Could this be the moment for Consus, or is Der Ziggy going to dig deep and put off a result to stay and they alive? They will probably take their time here looking for some information. I do think Consus can read Cyrillic. Keyword can. So I'm assuming and Ziggy is going... Is Ziggy guess? Ziggy's guess, Ziggy's guess is down. This is our playoff match where the loser goes home and Consus is currently two ahead in games. If he were to Three win seconds. it on here, he would go ahead to the finals we'll and Ziggy Consus. would be out. Consus advances. That's it, that is GG. Consus, as predicted by Rainbolt and as discussed by many as one of the best players in this qualifier has secured his spot at the GeoGuessr World Cup, October the 13th, 14th. Commiserations oh. to Ziggy, did what they could, but yeah, Consus oh. really living up to the hype. Consus, he's just a force you're working with. And you know, we, we built his hype up, because I, I I know Consus. I've talked to Consus for a while. I know how good he is. I know how unbeatable he is. And that's that's the Consus you get all the time. It's going to be insane to watch him in Stockholm against the other top players in the world. Live and in person, the top wow. players from the world, and he and is going to be there. I'm just excited I get to meet him in person. Yeah. That's like part of the thing, too. I'm just like, wow, I get to see my friends. Yeah, let's check in with Peter in the war room and find out what's been going on in our other matches. Peter. Oh, it's been interesting time here watching CG play Scrypero. Uh, we have some clips for you, as always. So let's let's have a look at some of them. This was a very interesting round here in Australia. As you can see, Scrapero going kind of somewhere in the like southern central Australia. Uh, but in a second, we're gonna see CG with a wow. very very close guess. CG's pl been playing amazing. Yeah, CG has made some very impressive guesses in these games, and this uh, next round, very good one as well. Sees the sign, zooms right in onto Edmonton. And after waiting for a little bit for the other player to make a guess, we're gonna see. Well, this was the no moving game. This was the no moving, I believe, or was this moving? Which one was this? Oh my god. Here we go. CG. <laughs> CG right, right on the, the money. Sign and right on it. Is that was this game, game two? This was the game two, yes. So CG's up 2-0 right now. CG is up to uh, up to 2-0 at this point, and this is the moving game. Oh no! And oh this wow! Was the final round. Yeah. Oh no! Square Quadruple went with Hawaii. CG seventeen point five on USA. CG is known for his USA. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! So that's how the game number number three ended. So it's currently two to one. So. We're going to keep you up. Who's, who's in the lead in that one? Who's got two? Scry or uh, CG? So CG, CG okay, CG involved. was going for the sweep there, but just missed out on it. Funnily enough, in his on his favorite location of the US. Yeah, that's, it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, okay, well, wow. Peter, anything else you'd like to share before uh, we leave you to it? Uh, doing great. Operator is taking good care of me. Yeah? Has he got a gun to your back? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? I, I'm sure, I'm sure. All right, wow. wicked. Well, Peter, thank you. Mr. Operator, behave yourself. All right, so um, right now, what I can tell you all at home, currently waiting to see if we can do our first interview of the evening with Consus, of course. And uh, yeah, just waiting to see if we can make that happen. That would be that would absolutely be, Yeah, sick. I'd love to talk to the guy. Yeah, so... Uh, well, yeah. Consus, really not, you know, he really, I don't think he made really any mistakes. I, I Someone can fact check me at home or maybe some of the producers, but I think he might have went like 10 and one the whole night, which is like, to have that much consistency in this game, where like one mistake can you can like throw so much off, it's quite insane to be that consistent for that long. So um, we'll see if he can keep it up in the in the in the main you know World Cup yeah. coming up. But yeah, it's the next game we'll cover will be Arlok versus Suvlaki Zeitgeist. Um, I think that'll be the last game that we're covering. Are we still ch Are we still chasing Consus for the interview? Can I get? We asked. 
Okay, he's on his way. So everybody, stay in. The, uh, stay in. The, I don't think we're going to a break right now. Just stay, stay tuned. If you want to see this Consus interview, because yeah, it's going to be our first one, and I, I'm yeah. very excited to to see how it goes and to hear from the man himself. Yeah, no, I've I've said like three words to the guy before. He's mm. a very very quiet guy in the community. He's very humble. He gets his he gets his guesses in. He gets them he gets them right. He lets his guesses speak for themselves. So mm. I'm expecting a a pretty cool. Um, Pretty cool interview with, with and the guy. Consus was from where? Which country? He is um, from the Netherlands. Netherlands, so yeah. So we have Dutch. two Dutch representation in the GSR World Cup. Yeah. So, you know, classic Dutch representing. So we'll see. So if you're if you're Netherlands out there, shout out to you guys for uh, yeah. you have you have two in the fight versus one now. So. Yeah, the cool. World Cup is uh, shaping up very, very nicely. It's going to be, I think, an incredible event. It's going to be super cool. I wonder. I imagine people are going to be bringing flags and stuff, you know, in the crowd. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a whole thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, there's definitely going to be some some patriotism, I think, in the crowd. Have That's you been cool. to any sort of event like that before, Trevor? Like any sort of sort of esport event or big gaming event or convention type? No. No. So this is my first. This is my yeah. This is my first real esports mm -hmm. event, you know, ever. Oh. By the way, I'm just getting in my ear that CG has gone on to win, and he so won? CG beat Scry, and CG is advancing. Will be advancing. Oh my god! To the World Cup, dude. Finals. Fun fact about CG, guys. Just for the viewers out there, and maybe you want to know this context too. CG, he wasn't even part. Supposed to be part. He was of in your qualifier. He wasn't. He was invited to my qualifier last minute. He has bought a plane ticket and a ticket to the World Cup to watch, as a as a viewer, hope he's got, can get a refund on Hopefully that. He that refund. Was free. <laughs> He'd never expected to make it this far, and he's now qualified for the World Cup. Wow, what a story! CG, very much an underdog oh, of sorts, if you God. consider how he qualified for this qualifier, and now he's gone on to make it to the actual World Cup to the finals I, in October. I, I love that. He's he's so deserving. He's one of the one of the most OG members of the community. So to see him thrive and to make a name for himself tonight, it makes it makes my heart happy. Yeah, that's awesome. Everybody at home, yeah, we're still chasing Consus for that. Wait, 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 wait. Or we get to see the CP standing, standing by right now. We might actually have Consus on the line, but we'll see. I'm being told to keep things at a halt. We're not going to a break just now. We're hopefully wow. going to get Con so Consus So CG and Consus are our first two people qualifying. Up CG and four. Consus. Wow. CG managing to beat Scry as well, who Scry being very tough competition. Yeah, uh, the German. Yeah, Chicago geography really. Uh, wow, great showing. That's you love to see it. Especially, I'm glad he didn't end up, you know, losing. Especially after missing that USA round. Yeah. So I'm glad he won't hold it over his head. So yeah, that would have been season. tough if he ended up going out after kind of. Uh, yeah, going after your specialty is never fun. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe it was a hard location, so he didn't get to see it. The Ho the Hawaii's today have been throwing people off. Yeah, there was that one Hawaii where you and our two competitors that were the, uh, at we the no time, idea. no yeah. one got it. Yeah. No one got the right continent. One moment. All right, everybody. Something very special. World's first. We've got Consus in the building for his <laughs> winner's am. interview. Consus, great to see you, man. Can I just ask you initially, how are you feeling? Congratulations, you've made it through to the uh, World Cup, the finals in October. I'm very happy, of course, and a bit relieved after a stressful night. Yeah, you, dude, you played out of your mind. Uh, how many games did you end up yeah. losing? Just one? Yeah, just the one against Trichter. Classic. Consus, like, w w did you feel any extra pressure where being involved in a competition like this, or did it just seem like you were playing normal games that, you, that you'd usually play? Uh, before the, the tourney started, like one hour, two hours before the tourney, I got a bit stressed, but I don't know, even this final, I, I was pretty relaxed, and I think it, yeah, that, that helped, um, helped me play. Awesome. And uh, Consus, can I ask, that, how long have you been playing this game for? I think from the start of 2021, it was. 2021. So, uh, like is that considered year. like a relatively new player then? That's Rainbow? about when I started. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's like a wave yeah. of players around that time that are making their name for themselves now. Yeah. But Consus, he grinds it. He deserves it. Shout out to you, Consus. Congrats, man. Yeah. It, it, Thanks. Is it, Thanks, man. I'm curious. Is there anything that you could tell us about yourself as a player? Because, you know, sometimes we're sitting here in the desk and it seems like you do these things that are so difficult to explain. Like, there were a couple points where you made a guess where it's like, yeah, you had a rough idea, but then bomb, you were like, you were so close. Yeah. Like, how are you putting things off like that? How are you doing that as a player? 
uh, well, in this final, I think I got uh, a bit lucky a few times. Like the Nigeria round at the start, I knew it was one of those roads, and I just plonked in the middle, and it was like what 12 about, meters off. What about the Peru? That was also... The Peru. Yeah, I was considering, is it north, middle, south, one of those uh, just guess the right road. roads to, through the Amazonas, or through the through the mountains. Uh, yeah, I got the right one. No, I'll take awesome. It. Causes, have you had a chance to travel much in your li in your life, um, or is it like coming to Stockholm going to be like a, a really big deal? Not just because of the competition, but for the chance to travel. Mm, no, I'm just happy to to, uh, to be able to see everyone who's okay. there. That's uh, the main thing, and yeah. Amazing. Well, yeah. Congratulations once again, Trevor. Do you want to ask or say anything else before we let Consus go? No. Shout to you, Consus. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. Well deserved. Yeah, Consus. Thank you. Yeah, Thank well you. deserved, man. You absolutely killed it, mate. Pleasure to have you in the in the competition, and uh, see you in in Stockholm. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. All right. Tell you what, we've got someone else cool coming up too. Special guest for you, Trevor. Hmm? We're going to do another interview. CG. We are going to be interviewing CG, my brother. Wow. You ready for that one? I'm, I'm, I guarantee you he's on the moon right now. Okay, well, I'm excited to do it. We're just waiting to get him on the line. I didn't know we were going to chat to him, and I know that you two are close. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, this should be super cool. And with that being said, everybody, on the line, we have Chicago Geography. What's going on, CG? Nice t-shirt, bro. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Let me firstly say congratulations. All right, you've made it to the finals in Stockholm. What's your initial reaction? How are you feeling? I I feel like I'm dreaming right now. Like I I can't believe this is real. I that's <laughs> I'm honestly at a loss for words. And um, we were talking before, like Trevor brought up that apparently you'd already ordered like uh, a ticket to the finals um, <laughs> just to be a spectator in case you didn't make it. Um, is yeah. that ticket refundable? Can you confirm or deny? <laughs> I, I, hope, I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah. Contact the airline, mate. Look, Trevor, yeah. take take this one away, bro, because I know this is your homie. Dude, CG, congrats, man. I know that you uh, the well-deserved for the community, so shout out to you. I, we didn't get to watch Thank any of your so games, much. but, dude, the guesses, the Edmonton guests we saw, all the guesses. I watched your YouTube video of you training for the qualifier, and it looks like, it looks like you're like in your rhythm right now. Have, have you just been training a lot recently, or do you think you're just yeah, like... I... Yeah. Yeah, I've just been like grinding a bunch of, I've been playing Wolf Trucker's improved world map and that's been really something I've focused on a lot, just grinding out like 20 second NMPZ, NM games. And yeah, it's just, I somehow pulled it off today and yeah, I'm just so thankful to have this chance. That's awesome. And uh, yourself, CG, how long have you been playing for? Oh, I've been playing for, oh man, I think over six years at this okay. point, since 2017. Yeah. yeah, so you're more of a, of a long-term player. How, how is it to yeah. know now that you're actually coming out to Stockholm for these finals, but not just with, with regards to the competition? You, you get to, uh, in person, you know, meet, meet all of your friends that you've made online. You'll, you'll, you'll see uh, Trevor, etc. Yeah, it's it's so amazing. Like the the one thing I was excited for mainly before having this chance was yeah, just meeting everyone in the community finally. It's it's been great to get to know people online and to have this in person event to meet all these incredible legends. I mean, I couldn't be more thankful. Yeah, and just going back to one thing from uh, your performance um, quickly. So yeah, you 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 went through Rainbolt's early qualifier. You made it into it, in a way you're a bit of an underdog and you've made it. To the final, did you like? Obviously, we know you didn't really expect you'd already ordered a ticket to the finals for yourself. But like, <laughs> can you speak more about like what your expe expectations were going in? Like, did you think you had a real shot at making it? To be completely honest, I I thought I had no chance. Like even last weekend, I I thought I was going to be done for. But then some, I made it through then, and then today again, I had even less of a chance. I thought, but I yeah, just stuck through it and played my best, and yeah, I guess it all worked out. Trevor, anything else that you'd like to add before we let CG go? Um, shout out to Chicago Geographer on YouTube. Subscribe. Chicago Geographer on YouTube. What, <laughs> is that it exactly? Uh, Chicago yep. Geographer on YouTube. Wicked. Well, um, YouTube.com slash. Yep. Yeah, YouTube.com forward slash <laughs> Chicago Geographer. Well played, man. Congrats. Indeed. CG, congratulations, mate. I think your story is awesome. I can't wait to see how you fare when you're under the lights for real because you've already performed super well. And I'm sure you'll live up to it, mate. Thank you so much. No problem, brother. Congrats once again. All right. Thank you, guys. What a guy. Yeah, he's over the moon. And great to hear from Consus as well. Two, two, two guys very happy, and, and, and they should be. I mean, Consus has sort of been seen as a favorite, and it's not to diminish him at all. But, you know, 
it's there's something awesome about a story like CG's where it's like, you know, the guy didn't expect much. He'd already ordered this plane ticket. He gets into your pre-qualifiers, makes it, gets to the qualifier, and then ends up actually making it to the World Cup. Yeah, I, I think I remember seeing a Discord message from him like two weeks ago where he was like, I just want to win one game <laughs> or something like that. He was like, I, I don't expect much from this. I just want to... I just want to at least win a game or something, you know, not embarrass myself. Yeah. So, and he did more than that. I cannot believe it. CG did way more than that. Consus and CG, our first competitors, securing spots at the GeoGuessr World Cup in October. Everybody, we are going to play out one more playoff match today. First, though, we're going to head to a short break, just like four minutes. So don't go anywhere. You do not want to miss our final match. This is it, everybody. It's time for our final playoff match of the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. Over the course of this long evening and night, we have seen tremendous action. We've seen ups and downs and real, real drama. And now we are at the climax. We've got Arlok versus Suvlaki Zeitgeist. That's a nickname that I'm just massively a fan of. and I, I, I think I will be for the rest of my life. Talking names, my name is Parla. This is Rainbolt. We're still your host. It's been a pleasure, brother, so far. I think we're going to go out with a bang, right? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Trevor, any um, initial expectations about this matchup? You know, no. I, I'm just excited for a good game, and I'm just excited to see Alok play and Suvlaki. Um, both A Lock is also A Lock. Coming. Apologies. A Lock is coming from the pre qualies as well. So so A Lock is another person is another that came through your qualifiers. Exactly. So we could like see CG two. that like we've CG. just interviewed that had a plane ticket booked for himself to yep. be an audience member. And A Lock is Serbian, and we have no other. There's no Serbia representation in the World Cup right now. So we could see A Lock sh you know showing us a new country in the World Cup because we have so many countries represent represented. So that would be another cool thing. But Suvlaki would be cool to also, I think he's Dutch so or something. So um, yeah, so that would be also cool. Before we get into the matchup, let, re let me remind all of you at home that the World Cup in October is an open event with a live studio audience. So go and get your tickets. If you've got the time available and you can buy one of those tickets, it's going to be the first of its kind and you can one day look back on your life and say, I was there at the first big GeoGuessr World Cup. If it's anything like how this show has been, it's going to be a spectacle. All these players are going to be there in person. Well, not all of them, because some of them are going home. And right now, it's either going to be Alok or Suvlaki Zeitgeist. Yeah, everybody at home, don't forget to take a look at those tickets. The World Cup is going to be fantastic. But now we need to finish the qualifier. Who is going to go through Alok or Suvlaki Zeitgeist? Now is the time to find out. Shall we? I think we can. I think we are just good to go. If you want to get this one going, make it rain. Well, that, that hits home now. That hits home. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Round one. I'm just so excited right now, man. I love I love this game. This is such a fun game. I've I've, been, I've grown to really love it. Love watching this yeah. competitive side of it. It's, know, it's something that I've not had uh, been in touch with before or seen. It's been amazing to see it's, how it's played. And it's such a tight knit community. You know, we're all we're all friends. So to see each other like yeah. that and see each other succeed is fun. But let's get right into the game one here. Round one. We do have a you know an A lock representation here in. Serbia. A lock Serbia. locked quickly and knew the location pretty spot on, Send taking that initial damage off of Suvlaki's yep. health bar. And this is moving, and we will be going into round two here soon. I'm looking around here. Let's see. Let's do it, shall we? Yeah, I think just give it one because I'm looking at the screen yeah, now. Yeah, looks like it hasn't. We ha it hasn't come back to us yet. Um, we'll just wait for a moment. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. We're back in here. So just quick, uh, quick impressions of the screen. We got the USA. Let's run it. All right, USA. Let's run it, everybody. These are the, the Round fiber two. optic cables. I think that's what they are. Someone can is probably molding into a chat over okay. um, me calling that the wrong thing. But these are only found in the US, I, I presume. And they're like least. markers for yes, where fiber optic something are like or something. That. They okay. are now. We do have also have the. A looks going straight in to the east coast, outside Philly. North of Philly. Let's see. 
And remember, there. everybody, this is best of five. We start with a move, we go to a no move, we repeat that if yep. we need to. And if it were to get to a fifth and final game, it would be an NMPZ. Yep, so both these players, I would say, are evenly matched when it comes to skill. So you will see, I, I honestly, uh, it's anyone's game going into this. a -Lock in the pre qualies was playing out of his mind. I don't think anyone played better than him in the pre qualies I think his like, average score was like 4,800, not really, but like it was very good. And so I, assuming he's probably put on quite the show again today, and we'll see if he can put, continue it up against Both Lockie. Both players playing at a, a, a steady pace. I will say these are slower paced players. Okay. Uh, they are... They are known maybe more in, in, in the community for being, you know, not as Gen z as myself. Yeah, so. they really want to, like, hone in. Yep. So we'll see if... Uh, let me make a guess here. But they're, they're both looking for information here that can really get them uh, some, you know, information, I guess. Yeah. But presumably a town name or, like, a highway number, something of the similar... Anything like that. Oh, a is... They do both know we're going to be in the U.S. What, so. so what's going on here? Because a lock suddenly ends up where like it's like a different season here. Yeah, so you're going through it. When you go down the road, you drive through different generation coverage. Gee, okay, and so okay. you might hit different seasons or yeah, different like yeah, years. Yeah, of course. So that's what a lock is seeing here. And it looks completely different. Yeah, that's very... That's interesting, actually. Yeah. If, if that can sort of like... I, I doubt it for players that are... As good as you guys, but it's in, like it threw me off. Yeah, but like, like, wait a second, this is like, what's going on here? Sometimes you, when you see location more often, you're like, you see it more often in one season, and so that influences where you guess. Okay. Because you're like, oh, I've seen a lot of yeah. winter coverage in Nebraska. Yeah. Or, you know, so I would guess there versus Montana. I don't know. Okay, we just uh, a lock just got to assign. It's a, I think 20th Avenue. Ooh, do we have the sticker on the pole here? Is it, that a, is that a UP sticker on the pole? What would UP mean? Uh, Upper Peninsula. So it would mean that we're going to be in Wisconsin or Michigan, Northern. If that's what I see on that poll, what looks like what he's zoomed in on is the UP sticker. And I think a -Lock might know it because he's zoomed in on Wisconsin right now. And I'm trying to find it on my own screen here. But that would be great information for a -Lock if that is the case. I can't quite see it on my screen. So... We'll see. You also find it. You can find it some other regions of Wisconsin, but you see the sticker on that pole there. It is kind of in that Michigan, UP, and Wisconsin area, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see if that's correct. And you know, this is standard for these games. They're they take their time. Yeah, these guys. And Suvlaki is going more east now. Are really looking for all the details they can get, and it's just round two of Fun, the first yeah. game. Fun fact about Alok is every time I, I think I mentioned this previously in the, bot, in the broadcast, but he does give us a, a serenade of his song or a song every time he wins. Yeah, you mentioned that one of these players sings or something. So a yeah. Alok likes. He's a he's like a, a very majestic voice, I, I will say. And so if we do get an interview with Alok, we will have to ask for, live, for a us? live a live performance. Okay. Put him on the spot. Maybe he doesn't want to. That's okay. He doesn't have to. Well, but we'll ask him. We'll ask. Yeah. It's no and asking. Yeah, and this is, uh, yeah, they're just scanning. Like, a lock, right, currently sees a street. I feel like a lock saw that sign. A couple. Both of these guys, they, 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 they both, at this point, is it clear that they, they're, they're trying to get a 5K? Um, well, I don't even think Suvlaki oh. knows where, he, where, where it is. Suvlaki's just gone in uh, with a lock, trying to move this pace forward. a lock now has to respond. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Suvlaki's guess isn't that bad. If, if I think it, if it is what I think it is, and it is what I thought I saw. But, yeah. Time. And a oh, a -lock. What a great job there when the pressure was on. And that's 550 damage from round two. That extra yep. time being well spent. Currency, so to speak, in the form of Zeitgeist hit points. Yep. And, you know, with that, let's keep it going. Based off these uh, these moving these moving uh, rounds, we're going to keep it, keep the pace yep. up. Keep and, it up. And uh, keep them guessing, shall we? Zona. This looks like it could be like Czechia or something. That's my first immediate thought. Um, I could uh, be wrong, but I would probably go Czechia versus Slovakia, kind of the same. Or like at least they look the same a lot of time. We'll see where the players go, or if I'm just completely wrong here. But yeah, so far, you know, I don't think anyone could have predicted the the the, the four qualities at the beginning of this. So I'm excited to see who ends up actually qualifying here. Haylock there taking a good scan. We did have a Czechia Slovakia baller there, so I will confirm we will be in Czechia or Slovakia. We'll see if both players 
Um, it looks like Suvlaki sees information on the blue sign up there on the bridge, and he oh. sends. He does send from quite a zoom out as well, though. Mm -hmm. So is that sort of a, a hedge? That's just maybe he saw. A, he might have seen something. Oh, we have one going Slovakia, one going Czechia here. Oh wow! Okay, big was difference Czechia. here. Suvlaki with a great play, not a multi. He's going to be disappointed by that, but at least 900 points. It's 900 points of damage. Yep, and we're going into another J another Japan here, where it's kind of similar to that round I saw we saw previously, where it looks. I kind of get an island vibe again. I don't know if that's just me, you know, I don't want to oversay my vibes. Or actually, is this ever Hokkaido? I don't know. Immediately looked like a um, an island to me. I guess technically Hokkaido would be an island, but like a southern island. But we'll see where the two players go. Um, I know Savlaki. Savlaki is known in the community as being a guide editor, so he does a lot of the information of sharing uh, information with the community on, okay. on Plonkit, which is like the the website, shout out to Plonkit in the, in the community there. I know they're watching religiously. Well, and, and, and that's like a, a wiki of resources yeah, learning basically how to play just, the game. Yeah, 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 basically just like you go there to learn about the game and he's yeah. known for editing the guides and, and helping with, you know, putting the information together. So he's, he's, a, he's a very valuable member of the community. Mm. So shout out to him. Well, Sivlaki's got to prove their value now. Got to prove that they've been studying their own materials. Yes, but... Right now, right and we do the have one step going, away We do have Alok going into a, a southern Japanese island here, which I, I do like. I don't know which ones have coverage personally. I'm assuming he would go to the one that does, and he does send an island. Alok we'll see. Sends. And Suvlaki is also going an island, and he gets the right island. And this That's time, massive. It's Alok doing 2.4k damage, and that is... Imagine if that was a multi. That, it's... Yeah, that's 1-0 if it's multi. And we're going to be in the Netherlands. This Huge. is Suvlaki's home country here, representing the Netherlands. We will see minimal points here, but let's see if he can region guess his own country, shall we? Yeah. I mean, uh, you, you I, for me, I, I would assume that a player, they, they have an advantage in their own country, but you're saying that it's probably going to be like a pointless round. It's, yeah, I mean, even if you're from there, you don't really know how to region guess. Netherlands, it kind of all looks the same. You okay. know, there's not, like mountains in the distance to line up or anything. Yeah. But um, yeah. Alok locks in early. Yeah, they're both going a similar region here. Yeah. There's a couple things that you could learn about, you know, the country probably to help region guess, but was super southwest. Yeah. Super. And, uh, yeah, only 128 points here. We're going to keep the pace super up. close. Small country. Round six. Let's do it. Here we go. What are we looking at here? Looks like another European round. Definitely a European round, but Is I'm wondering like... Looks like a France potentially? Is my... Um, it's my first instinct here. I can't see a language or anything like that. Or Belgium, potentially, if I... Oh, there's a language. They've got one on I the side. I would assume this is Belgium. Yep, we're going into Brussels. Suvlaki going straight into Brussels, locking it in very quickly. Yep. Adolk now looks like they want to going respond very quickly. To and, and they're so close to each other. Yep. We, we will be going to... Uh, very, Bang in the sense of Brussels, and it just... Brussels. Yeah, just favors Alok. That is 40 points, nothing too devastating. Alok mm. still 2,300 point lead going into round seven in South Africa. Let's keep it going. 2.5x damage. 2.5x, those damage multipliers starting to stack as we enter round number seven. Both players now just going down the road. Let's see, we do see information. Moseying along, yeah, we've got, we've got a sign post there. They've both found it roughly the same time. We will see some very close scores here, presumably. We do have a road name and cities, so let's find out who gets there first. Harris Smith, Dielawala, uh, I can't read that from here. Dielawala? Dielawala? Sure. Yeah, Dielawala. Yeah. And then... Aberfeldy, that Aberfeldy. could be in Scotland. Yeah, Harris Smith, that's also. <laughs> We've got a lock in, and they're both pretty close here. So. Yeah, they're both very close, so it's not going to be a a strong blow in either direction. Yep, both getting the road there. It did say the road number, so that does make sense. Very minimal points, 150, but not nothing. Yeah, especially considering Suvlaki is just. But I mean, it's like mid 2000s, it's like 150 points, like a nice little blow, nice little hit. Yep. And on round eight, 3x here, we did see this is going to be Czechia or Slovakia. We did see Alok miss that 50 50 in the previous rounds before. Hopefully, he can figure out the right country here. Immediately, my first thought this is how my this is my how I usually do it on these countries. If I see more hills, I usually just send Slovakia um, because they, they kind of look the same. I used to associate hills more with Slovakia more than Czechia. But 
there's other ways to look at it, like the language or things like that. So we'll see. Okay. We do have the blue antenna on the back of the car, which I do associate more with Czechia, I think, but that could be fake news. Our favorite. Oh, we're zooming on a bus stop there. Bus stops tend to be, I mean, they're a good source of information, but it's if the player knows their bus routes for that country or that specific oh, area, right? Oh, we have big right? information here on Suvakli Syrian, and he is oh, yeah, that's in a Eastern motorway. Czechia. That is a motorway. See, a -Lock needs, he's going to be getting to that blue sign here soon, though, it looks like, but will it be quick enough, or will Suvakli get it off? Or is he going, yeah, to, he's going in? the same sign. I can't quite read. It does say SK on that, which means um, Slovakia, but that does not mean you're going to be in Slovakia, quite frankly, because you know, you can cross borders and signs do not have to be in that country. This is a very interesting round, the way it's played out so far, because both players have sort of taken the same path thing. Yep. And both ended players... in the same location. Exactly. Suvlaki has fired off the first shot. Let's see if Alok can pull off a Matrix-style dodge and come out on top. Wow, Suvlaki. I mean, and it's Suvlaki. And he's known for kind of like, he's, he's, he's a moving player like that, so that's not, that's nothing that's not expected of, of, with, of him. With, with the triple damage, 714, that's healthy points. Yes, and this is going to be a, healthy damage. This is going to be a super fun round here in Peru. We do have the white handbrake. Both, both players will get the country right. We will be Western Peru. The question is how far north or south are we going to go here? I would hedge Lima because I'm kind of a coward, but we'll see what they do. And they're looking for information here. Signage. Neither have really moved that far away from this original area yet. Yeah, there we part of me thinks that it will take a while to get to more information, so maybe they... We are. But Suvlaki's like going for it. Suvlaki is the first mover. Are they going... a look going in the same direction, yep. just a bit behind. Let's see who finds info first in Peru here. Shout out to people from Peru if you are watching. Wherever you are Look in the world. This. Both of them, a -Lock just following in Suvlaki's footsteps. This is a beautiful uh, scenery. That's why another good thing about the game, you know, you get to yeah, you see all these wonderful vistas and yeah, this is real. Sometimes things. when you when you travel, you're like, wow, this is more than just a game. Yeah, you know? it's actually real life. Absolutely, which is what you've been doing yourself. You've been doing a month in a different country every month for how long? Nine months? Yeah, nine or ten now. I don't even know. Yeah, killing it, bro. But yeah. Okay, we've reached some sort of settlement here. Perhaps, maybe we're going to see some signs, some information. Maybe they should be looking for businesses, anything like. Okay, here we go. A lock. He wants to take a look there at Segunda Rios. Doesn't really spend too long on it. Suvlaki now finding a bit more information. Yeah, but, but it's just it so sparse. It, it doesn't look like anything that's too it's valuable. It's so sparse, yeah. Oh, that's going to, that might be, oh, both are at the exact same yeah. intersection, at the exact oh same time. Oh my God, they're like this. moving at the same pace. Oh my pace. God. Put by the cows. This is just, that that's just amazing to see. And they're both flipping to do the exact same yeah. thing, to check it from the other direction. Yep, yep. So it's cool how you can see the patterns and different, you know, yeah. different trends in the gameplay translate to different players. They are so close. Once again, a -Lock just hot on the heels of Suvlaki. Probably going to stop at this building as well that Suvlaki just thought. They essentially are doing the exact same thing right now. They're mirroring, or a -Lock is mirroring Suvlaki's actions. And this, you know, at this pace, you know, we're on, we're, we're on game one right now. Yeah. Like, this is the best of five. Yeah. Better. That this is, uh, this is what you get with the moving games. Yeah, you look for information until you find something. There's just so much construction here. Like, there's not sort of like clear roads where you'd expect like a sign to be. What about that there? We saw a stripy pole with. Um, yeah. I guess. See, these are all indicators that you're going to be in Peru, just and not it. just okay. kind of like where you are. Yeah. Like it's just not nothing regional from oh, it. Oh, look at that. That could be helpful. Trying to get information. Trabahan. Okay, no, that's work. Something about we're working. Some extra Spanish for you there. There you go. Thanks. There we go. There Thank we you. go. Gracias. Picking up. Picking up. Picking up. See. Oh, Suvlaki now. First person to go to the map. But does that mean they're going to guess? No, not yet. You know, Suvlaki with only 2,600 points left. He, Peru is, uh, he could very, very, very easily lose on Peru here. 3.5x damage. If, if a -Lock finds information, I still think they're on the same road here. So. Oh. That oh. green sign there? No, that that was like the name of an area, no? Yeah, I don't, uh, you know, sometimes those... those they're misleading. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just like so small, they're not worth looking for. That's bait. Bait. A-Lock now has also gone to the map. 
they're still in like almost the same location, right? Yeah, they've taken the exact. Yeah, they've path. taken the very uh, the, the same path thing. And still no information from either player here. And he's back at that he's sign. Back at that sign. He likes that sign. He likes Alok that does. Sign. Why don't you marry it, Alok? <laughs> You got him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that sign? But both <sighs> both players are... I mean, Alok's zooming in pretty far here. And he's getting oh. his guess off. Alok has gone for the guess. Nice. All that. 3.5x stat. Even with 3.5x, 81. Oh my. We're in for a treat. Let's keep it going. We've got no time to waste here. Yeah. We're going to be in the US. We do have some area codes. Quadruple damage. And five, eight, nine there. Quads. Do you have no front play on that car? We do have a front play on this car. Let's see. A bunch of tractors. John Deere. But yeah, nothing too here. Nothing too specific here so far. I'm waiting to. Oh, the Sunset Inn. Is this a. It's one of those classic um, Breaking Bad areas. Could be. We'll see. A classic Breaking Bad area. Yep, so we're waiting on them to find some information. Again, yeah. this is classic in these moving games with moving players. They're looking into New Mexico here, so putting a marker down, sort of centering themselves around Albuquerque. That was uh, that was the hint there I was trying to get to with... Uh, Bro, I'm going to be honest, all right? I haven't watched Breaking Bad. I will say, if you asked me two weeks ago, I would have also said the same. Okay, so you watched, and it takes place in Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we have one guest here in Suvlaki in Texas. I don't see a Texas here. But uh, mainly because I see a bunch of cars with front plates. I could be wrong, but uh, Trinidad State. Junior College. Monty. Monty. Oh, I guess it's come in. Alok making a move. Oh, Alok's going to Colorado Springs here. Making a play. Or Reasonable Suvlaki distance is. here with 4x damage. If Suvlok, like there, there, there could be a, a, a swing of points here. I, I think. think they're pretty far away from each other. Yeah. So. Did Alok right on top? Alok. Alok getting the city. Alok 800, right 1800 on points. top. 1800 oh points. Suvlaki. And now Suvlaki With is at a massive deficit. Let's just keep going. In game one. Round 11, 4.5x damage. Suvlaki is holding on to a prayer here on 4.5x damage against Alok. With barely any damage lost, we should be in Arge. Unless we are in Uruguay. And it's a. Uh, it's, uh, I'll have to see for myself here, though. But it looks like we do have an Arge pole in the distance, I see. So I will presume. Arge pole. Yeah, they're kind of just like mega structures. Yeah. But. Do you mean see. the ones in like the middle of the road or? Um, you see that like on Tuvlaki's screen? Yeah. No, he, 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 he didn't look at it. It's like the big structures that look like massive concrete poles. Okay, I see. I'll look out. Uh, but uh, yeah, nothing. He looked up at the sun there. Yeah, maybe before. he's uh, yeah, maybe he doesn't know what hemisphere we're in. Okay. That'd be quite sad. <laughs> hey, look, you've, uh, you've been discredited. No, I'm not sure why. He, maybe he just yeah, he sort of looked up there, which I've not really, I've not really seen a player do yet. That's why it stood out to me. Perhaps nothing. Yeah, you know, maybe to make sure you're not in Jordan here versus a black yeah. car in Argentina. That's always safe. <laughs> you never know. Never know. But Argentina. I never know. You guys know. I never know. You know now. I know now. Argentina is a big country. Argentina so is Blocky huge. Can lose very, very easily here, or he could technically win. To be honest, with one good yes on 4.5x damage on multis. That's the arch pole on the right. Oh, I just oh, missed, you missed it. It's okay. It's just a massive concrete structure and okay. not really missing much. And I want to learn. I want to learn my arch poles, my APs. Mm. There's arch poles elsewhere too, though. So does that say Santiago? That's that's. It perfect. does. Um, I hope Alec does not send Santiago here. That would be a. Uh, he will not. By the way, he's a. Uh, he's not that guy. A lock. But you could be close to Santiago. Maybe that's a. Uh, Scanning now. Is, and he's zooming into a city. Is that? Oh. Oh, so there was a, yeah. something that said Santiago. Yeah, and they both have the same information. They're both. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, so this is going to be. Uh, Different Santiago. That's low why point uh, round. I do not move because I do not know city names. Yeah, they're both so close to each other. And uh, yeah, they're both probably presumably going to get a very good score here. And we will see no points lost. 4.5k. Sorry, 4.5x. Even then, it's going to only end up being at 59. That being said, though, Suvlaki. Did not want to be on the receiving end of that. Yep, and we're going next round, starting it immediately. Let's just get it going. 5x, round 12. Yep. And this is going to be another one of those really moving games that you, uh, we, all, we all love. And, uh, let's 
see where they're going here. So we have Lockheed immediately zooming in on Estonia. There's information for both. Oh yeah, there's Circle Estonian K. names everywhere. This oh, a very... that's a quick one. That's the quickest one that we've seen in a while. So Vlaki trying to make a play, but they're so close to each other. Yep. They are this so close. Be, this will be going but to the ground. But a is just a bit closer as well, so that's nice little chip, 30 damage. But we're going into round 13 here, and we're going to be back in Peru. So maybe we can see a... Maybe... some some A loss. Or a win. Or whatever we, for each. It could be... It could they're be both going game. straight into that sign. Grand Banda Profesional. There's a phone number there if you do want to call it. I've called every no every time I've gone for uh, to uh, away from the stream. I've called every number that we've seen. Nice. And I tell you what happened. Do we have a guess? I just heard a ding. Oh, we have. We've got a guess. Suvlaki has switched it up. They've been trying to uh, really increase and Suvlaki the speed of their confident. plays. I mean, I mean, Alok isn't that far away. And but Suvlaki, Suvlaki is close. That's going to be solid damage. 5.5x. That's a lot of damage. Yep, that's, that's 2.8. But well, it's enough to get him into oh, the wow. yellow. Oh wow! It's now suddenly very close. Going into round 13, 5.5x damage in Kenya. Yeah. I think it's our first Kenya of the day on 6x damage. This could be a lot. The question here is, how much do you read to find information here? You will see them looking at every sign, everywhere. Just look at that. Now there's so much information here. Oh, I see a sign that says St. George Kilimanjaro. Oh, yeah. There we go. Say Shout out to Kilimanjaro. Anyone? Any Kilimanjaro George enjoyers? Kilimanjaro. The Life Pharmacy. So maybe you're near Killy? I don't know. Maybe there's so much information here on either side of the road, but Suvlaki is zoning in. Yep, he's going Zooming Western in. Kenya. Usually more in the Western Kenya, you do get more green farm. We do see some farmers who have Lockheed screen there, so his guess would make sense for what he sees. But in general, I would assume Alok also goes to a similar region here, so I'm not sure we see very many points picked up. But we're on 6x. If there's That's just a true. bit of a discrepancy, and, you know, 1400 points it's going to be solid damage. It's probably, it could be game unless they both guess the same area here. Definitely could be. You know, Suvlaki is not going too far away from Kuduma home here. Kuduma sent to Megori, perhaps location name Megori, I don't know. Tense. We got Gen 3 coverage here on on ALOX screen here. Suvlaki still in the Gen 4 car. Yeah, you can suddenly see the difference. In the office of the president. And ALOX is zooming in. ALOX is tough getting to know this, uh, to know this, I think. So I think he'll scan until he finds it, at least. But he's also very close to Suvlaki, it looks like, on his screen. So I'm not too sure where we see any points here. Yeah. But we could see it. It could be. The game. Just a, a small discrepancy with 6x in round 14. Could end up being a killing blow. Let's see. They're both committing. Alux is slightly more south, closer to the, you know, the Tanzanian border there. Which makes sense. We did see it kill Majaro. He is stuck on this sign, or he's looking at the sign as he's scanning, so he's looking for something from that sign. Yeah. And he's oh. committing, and Suvlaki is on the clock. has committed with this distance. Yep, yeah, Alok right on top. And that will be the, the dub. Game one. Oh, and Suvlaki. Goes to game, uh, a Alok, yep. Suvlaki did a good job, but Alok is the person of the minute of the hour that was a long game one that's that's what happens when uh, you know you put moving players with each other so yeah that's the beauty of the game you know you get the I long th it's slow. interesting as well because i feel like the pace picked up towards the end yeah yeah you, you, they definitely they wanted to put the pressure i think on the other yeah. team there with, with minimal points and they're they're both kind of probably really nervous and don't really know what to do so yeah. yeah. Let's head on, over, head on over to Peter. Peter, I think you've got some updates for us. I Lenly is in a matchup versus Polly. Is that exactly. right? Exactly. Lenly yep. is playing against Polly, and these games are going much faster than yours, for yeah. sure. Uh, so we have uh, some clips to share. Thank you. Here is the first uh, first uh, clip from the first game. It's played with Moving, of course. Oh, wow. And yeah, uh, Polly making a great guess in the round one uh, in Russia, where Lenly went in Ukraine, I believe. Uh, here we have another round in Brazil, uh, where uh, Polly... Uh, wow. Uh, sorry, Lenly went to, in Brazil. Their actual location was in Yucatan. Wow. 11K. These, these, were, these were moving? This was a moving? This was a moving game, exactly. Very cool. So this is, the next one is a non-moving game, uh, where Lenly is going 
Well, they both are going in uh, Canada, but with a triple damage multiplier, uh, Polly is doing some quite quite a lot of damage. Uh, but Lenly is also making some pretty good guesses here in this round. For example, going in Ukraine. Well, Polly Ooh. went with uh, in Moscow with only 400 points. Yeah, comeback. he had a nice comeback victory here. Wow, that's a huge comeback from 483. Just knocking Polly off the top. And here we have the third game, which was moving, just finished right now. And yeah, uh, wow. great guess by Polly in northern Brazil. And Rimus. he takes the game number three. So it's 2-1 Polly right now. Exactly. Wow, and it's going in. So well. we're waiting for the game four and I will keep you updated. Thank you so much, Peter. Appreciate the updates. We're now getting ready for game Two. Before we get into it, let me remind you all about the World Cup. Get your tickets, all right? If you can make it down, it's going to be a world first. It's going to be an epic event, especially if you've enjoyed the show today. It's going to be live in person. You can be there in the audience, see the stage, see the players. It's going to be a huge, huge spectacle. I'll be there. Rainbolt's ready to meet you all. Right now, though, we need to know who is going to meet their maker, a -Lock or Suvlaki. Right now, a -Lock up 1-0. Time for game number two of this best of five. And no move now. No, no move. move. Yep. We will see definitely quicker gameplay on this game um, on no move in South Africa, shall we? Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. Starting it off. Round one and round one. Za of no move. So yeah, and if you know if they do pan to the to the south there, they will see or the north, they will see a some sign that I'm not sure how valuable it will be to them. But we'll see. It looks like Suvaki's immediately going in somewhere here, and he's pretty confident on the region east of Eswa. I don't mind it. I, I, I do like it as a guess. But we'll see. No move is absolutely savage. Yeah. It's not NMPZ levels, but no move nope. is tough. And he's he's committing. And, and Nonetheless, like Suvlaki does commit. He looks on for Tori. It was just, wow. Yep. So no points there, really. Yeah. Oh, no. 534. Oh, 500. is... Deceptively closer. A That's lot closer. a good start for a lock a lock continuing the momentum from game one. Yep, and let's keep it going in round two here as they look to see. I mean, this looks like an Estonian forest to me. The question then is, do I go to an Estonian island or do I go... Uh, or just, this should be... Yeah, this should be Estonia. But will I go an Estonian island or do I go oh, mainland here? A quick lock from Suvlaki there. there. But they are so close to each yeah, other already. So this is just instant. You click the center of the country, I think. Yeah. That's what we see here. It's one of those things where you can't really region guess. <laughs> so close. Yeah. That is going to be nothing. That to be nothing. Yeah, 19, 19 points. Going but still, at least Suvlaki just gets it a bit more, you know? Yep. It could be some confidence points going beautiful. in. Beautiful. Look three. at this. Yeah, this is beautiful. And we do have a trash can here. I mean. Oh, we do? We do have a trash can. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm trying to think about. I mean, this is Australia. Presumably. Mm. Unless it's New Zealand and I'm just not that guy. You are that guy, pal. Trust me, you are that guy. But this 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 uh this skyline looks like it should be pretty that, distinct. Is that Queensland? I can't even move. But it looks like Suvlaki agrees with you, going into Queensland there. Uh we do have mountains to our south of the skyline. It does look like an Australian bin, I will say. Yeah, that, so that's like where it's like lo lowered and then like what? the mountains are raised around it, right? Who do you think takes their trash out there? Would, would you, no, but it's probably like a, a vista that you can just stop oh, off and look like at. Oh, like a viewpoint. So yeah, it's a viewpoint. Probably eat your sandwich. Yeah, that's, that's there nice we go. Lock in from Suvlaki. Gone with uh, a bit that overlooks Mount. It's like a re surrounded by Mount Sheridan, Lamb They could pick up big points here if Alok goes more north. Well, he's going in the same exact region as Suvlaki, so we'll see. No points, and they both and get it right. Both very close. Yeah, just Karen. With round three, that's actually I going to be such a small difference. I'm Nine to get points. Cans, Karen's. Every time I try and say that, an Australian from what C A I R N S. It's like, oh, it's actually pronounced cans. Anyways, in an Australian accent, I wouldn't even dare. <laughs> round four. I would not. All right, round four, our final round with no multiplier. Yep, in South Africa again. I think could be something else like Lesotho. Maybe it is Lesotho, but we'll see. Maybe not. I think it's Gen 2 coverage, so it can't be listening to. That is Gen 3, so I'm, I'm tripping. It's late. Alok is in Lesotho here. Oh. These are uh, distinct Lesotho mountains there. Why would that signpost there be blurred? It could be just be like a misblur. Okay. They're both going the capital. Sometimes they just blur random things. Just I to... see. 
in southwest. And there we go. Both very equal distances from the actual destination. Only six points. Now we move on to round five. It's going to be our first multiplier. 1.5x damage. Let's see if this changes the flow of the game at all. Let's see if it changes the meta. I mean, we can already tell how how much different this this pace is versus the moving games. Yeah. Um, they definitely are taking their, they're not taking as much time. And we're going to be in the US here. The question is, who can be better? I like Suvlaki's guess here with the kind of these these trees. I maybe go more Mississippi, more Northern, maybe South Carolina, Kentucky, something like that. But I do like the Georgia guess here. We'll see if it's enough. It was Mississippi. 1.5 uh, damage. It's gonna, that, that's going to be a decent blow, 435. Yeah, and we see those screen shakes a lot. I don't know if you see the, the players do that when they get the guess wrong. That's how you know they're up. They're frustrated, they do yeah. This. They're yeah, they're showing their frustration. So pretty even now. Alok 5.5, Suvlaki 5. Point be back in five pretty much as well. Well, it looks like Peru to me. Or it could be. Calle, sir. Mexico. Yeah, it should be Mexico. It looks like a Mexico Look pole. Mexican pole. My mm. favorite was the Bangkok pole, but I'll take a Mexican one. Suvlaki really pushing the pace. Oh, Zlaki wanting to lay claim to round six of game two. Does see the MX on that sign there. So oh, close. look. Alok just coming closer and closer. And yet they are. That's why you always in Mexico City. Once again, pretty close to each other. 270 points. Round seven. Keep it going. In 2.5x damage. Looks like we're going to be back in Latin America here. I would presumably go. Let's see here. Maybe Equa is my best bet. I like the Equa guess here. Equa. That's another shorthand, right? Should be. We'll see where they end up going here. Yeah. They can validate Both of them me. taking a moment to just surround, uh, look at the surroundings. Suvlaki the first to hit their map. And he is zooming into Ecuador here in the mountain range. Let's see if Alok follows suits. Who's been getting more guesses off quickly here? Who's, who's kind of holding the pace here? Right now, I feel like it's been Suvlaki at least for a couple rounds now. Yeah, and once yeah. again, following through. I, I'm excited. Adolf has other. been uh, uh, like uh, responding well, though, not really panicking. Ooh. They're both. Oh my God! Extremely close, but Adolf on top, and with his multiplier 620. Sorry, not Adolf right on top. Slaki right on top. And this will be yeah. A that very, multiplier makes big difference. They will be zooming directly in to an island called Curacao. Right when they zoom in here, okay. On round eight, three X, in about three, two, one. Adolf and Suvlaki. Both zooming in on this isle that, of Curacao. Yeah, this is a very small island. You can tell by the Google car. Yeah. That, yeah. That this is uh, this will be no points. Yeah, this is going to be no points. And they're like shoulder to shoulder. They both went to that north side. Yep. That's Difference of two. Fine. Usually, that, I, do like, that by I do like the north guess there because it is mm. more rural. Round nine, let's keep it going. This could be a fun round here. Okay. I, mean, I, I want some uh, some like continent guesses wrong or something like that here. So we, we, we could potentially wow, see something. Wow, this is just a, just a uh, yeah. wide expanse of field and green. Yeah. And, you could, and what, so what country is this? I would go somewhere. I don't want to say something yet, but based off my vibes, I would go Baltic, I Baltic. think. Baltic. But uh, I'm not too sure. Alok's the it first to be, hit the map. Alok's in Russia. I like the Omps Going guess. to Russia. And like locking it in. And oh, they're, they're, and yet Hold so on the heels. Uh, that was just a great gameplay by them. I wasn't even sure where we were. Shout out to that. Both going omps. Not sure what gave that away. By the way, this just in, everybody, I can confirm we have our an another guaranteed attendee of the finals. Polly has made wow. it, everybody. Give it up in the chat for Polly. USA. Congratulations to, they, to them. That's to USA. To USA. USA. Shout out to USA. Anyway, let's not get distracted too much. Yep. Big congratulations to Polly. Make sure you send them some love in the chat right now. Let's I'm keep things to, locked in. To get that interview as well. But yeah. let's keep it going. Let's On keep it going. Alok and Suvlaki. Round, Round ten. 10 now. 4x damage. damage. You don't want to make a mistake at this point because it could be a critical one. And we should be back. You could end up on life support. Where do you think we are back, um, Trevor? Where are we? This is Laos. Laos. Wait, is this is this Vientiane? Well, Suvlaki is going to say... It is. Vientiane. So, yeah. Um, right in the middle. Alok now has to play catch up. So, yeah. So, Vientiane, it's not Thailand. It looks like Thai. 
uh, but you drive right in Laos and uh, you have yellow plates. Ah, and straight on it. The re there's only five cities covered in Lao on Street View. Vientiane's one of them, but Vientiane's the only one that doesn't have a Google Street View car yeah. that's visible. So that's why uh, all players will be getting that right. <laughs> Quadruple As, damage for eight points, brother. Yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna be. This is gonna get insane here. Round eleven, and this Forex. is where we will see some big points. You think so? This is. This is okay. We we've got. We have information here. Signpost straight away. They're both gonna zoom in on it. Four. Well, four. But I mean, this is gonna be back in that kind of that region of the U.S. that we saw before in yeah. Mexico. You know, area somewhere maybe northern. You know, I'm not too sure exactly where. I would go back in that in that area though. Let's see if they think the same. Yeah, I mean, Suvlaki zoomed in in Arizona right now. I do like that. Shout out to Arizona and Suvlaki's in Arizona. I'm assuming we see an Arizona guest by Alok as well. He's going more north in Phoenix, but and, you know they are still and it was outside oh. Phoenix there. Relatively close to each other, yeah. But with the 4.5x, that's a lot. One three three seven. Wow. We love that number. And this next location, love looks that. Very oh, very wow. pretty. Wow. That is a beautiful. Look, I know it's not South Korea. Not South Korea, but, but beautiful, beautiful location. So beautiful. Round 12. Beautiful 5x location. Damage. 5x damage. The damage is pumping. I mean, the score is still relatively close. At this point, it's like whoever lands the first big hit is going to feel. I think at least some pressure lift off their shoulders. Do not forget, everybody, this is our final playoff matchup. The loser goes home. The winner heads towards space, the venue in Stockholm on October 13th, 14th of the GeoGuessr World Cup final. Not sure where they're zoomed in here, but I would go Peru. I'm assuming they're in Peru. And we do see Alok going into Peru. Yeah, Alok going straight into Peru. Perusing Peru. Per wow. That's some knuckles on that one. Knuckles, baby. And Alok is the first to lock it in. Oh, oh this is wait. this could be big. Wait. This is huge. Tupaki. That's game. 12,695 oh, out of no. nowhere. Alok takes it, and that means they are now 2 0 in this best of. Wait, wait isn't that 1 1? Wait, 1 1. I think it's Apologies, 1 Apologies, guys. That first game was a long one. So now we're 1 1. So Suvlaki taking that one, it means that we are 1 1. We're tied up. And we're yeah. going to our third even Stevens. Our another, third game. another moving game. Another do we do we get to see game. the NMPZ though? Is the question. I don't know. I do not know. I could not predict. Maybe someone who can help us out is Peter, the man in the sky upstairs. Hello. Peter, how's the action from your angle? <laughs> yeah, we're coming to you with the fourth game, as you as you already know how it ended. Yeah, Polly. Uh, but I can show you some very impressive guesses. Some nice clips here. Uh, from the No Moving game, where Polly guessed uh, right here in Canada, a very, very close guess right there in New Brunswick. Wow. And taking some, uh, Lenny, Lenny taking some big damage there. And this, I believe, was the final round. Uh, both of the players spent a long time uh, scanning the coastline of New Zealand, Triple a couple damage. of minutes. But uh, wow. Polly proved to be, uh, find the location better. Wow. Polly. Polly did a great job. Once again, congratulations to them. Len, unfortunately, they had a decent tournament though. Len did a good job. Yeah. Peter, anything else that you'd like to share? Nothing much. It's been exciting to, to be covering these games and I'm excited to meet everyone in the in the finals in October. Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine we'll check in with you again at some point, just say hello or bye. I, I don't uh, think this is goodbye to Peter right now, right? And the operator. And the operator. Forget that. Yeah, this isn't goodbye to Peter okay. yet. So, Peter, we will say hello again before we... No! Okay, so, yeah, Peter, this will be the last time um, for you and the operator. So, if there is anything else that you'd like to say, go ahead and say it, brother. Yeah, it's been a joy to, to cover these games and, and I hope everyone enjoyed these very intense matchups. Yeah, Peter, we've had a pleasure working with you. Thank you for lending us your skills and... Uh, yeah, that'll be it from yourself. Pleasure, brother. See you in a bit. All right, and then there were two. It was just Parler and Rainbolt left to go over this final matchup. Currently 1-1, tied up our final best of five. I am excited to see this moving game. Yep, yeah. and I think game three is game ready three. to go. Suvlaki versus Alok. I wonder if we see yet. a similar... Soon. Soon. Well, I wonder if we see a similar play style we did in game one where... 
super kind methodical. Of, uh, super methodical, looking for all the information you can, taking advantage of every single second you have. But presuming we will, we'll see. Suvlaki bounced back spectacularly. I wonder if Alok is going to find, you know, that momentum that even though it was a very slow and steady game one, I yeah. wonder if Alok's going to, you know, just f find that same sort of um, yeah. success in, in, in game three. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the games we've, we've seen tonight, it's been a lot of maybe in, even if the games are all very close, one person ends up edging out all those games. So it's exciting to see one of these best of fives. Potentially, I don't think we've had a best of five in NPZ yet. No. So that would be quite the uh, quite the way to end of the broadcast. Yeah. I but mean, we'll see. Is this, the, is this the first one for us where we've seen 1-1? One, one? At least in the best of five, I think it might Did be. Did we see any 1-1s one, in, in the uh, best of three? I know. Me and you? I mean, Ziggy? Uh, I mean, me and you no, specifically no. and what we've what we've been watching. Uh, we yeah, we, we definitely saw some NPCs. So. Oh yeah, we did. We saw yeah. like one or two. Yeah. Yeah. But in the best of fives, I don't think any of them went to have gone to an MP. I don't think any of them have gone to the, the final game yet. So, so this could be the one. This could be could the be, one. But it just depends. It depends how our two players fare. I mean, and first off, you know, we've got game number three going back to movement, waiting to get that one ready. Everybody at home. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sit yep. tight. So like, I, like I mentioned though, with the A lock, you know, if you, uh, he's he's known in the community for his uh, his rendition of Road to Mandalay. That's a song he sings when he wins. What is what is Road to Mandalay? Is that it's, a famous? It's commercial? like an old song, I think, but it's uh, his rendition is really really popular. I'm really looking forward to potentially hearing it. Me too. Oh, actually, before we get into game number three of this final best of five, we have an interview with our penultimate. Person, our person that is a uh, our, our penultimate person moving forward to the grand finals, Polly. How's it going, Polly? One second, Polly. We can't hear you. We're going to see if we can sort that out. I think you can hear us because you responded, but we couldn't hear you. Hello, Polly. Once again, hello. Yo, what's up? Yo, <laughs> yo, what's up, mum? <laughs> How's it going, Polly? You good? One great. Nice stuff. Congratulations. You made it to the grand final in yep. Stockholm. You hyped? Yep. My guy. Um, how, how was the experience competing for you? Was it feel the pressure at all or no? Nah? Not really. Okay. Trevor, anything you'd like to ask? Yeah, man, a few words. I like it. Polly's confident, cool, collected. It's nice to finally meet you. Wicked. Well, Polly, I'm loving the glasses, by the way. That's uh. That's my avatar, you know what I mean? You what? This is avatar? I'm matching my avatar. He's matching his avatar. Oh, matching your avatar. Sick. Big yeah. avatar enjoyer. Swagged out. Swagged out. How long have you been playing the game for? Probably like two years. Two years. All right. So pretty new player, but you've gotten really damn good. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, Polly, anything else you'd like to say before we let you go? I'd like to give a shout out to John Harvey Kellogg and South by in the chats. Shout out to JHK and South by. All right. Thank you so much, Polly. Once again, congratulations, my dude. Cool as a cucumber. See ya. <laughs> I love that guy. What a guy, man. He's just here to win. Just cold as ice. He's not, he's not breaking character. Hey, not. Have you ever had like voice chat or video chat with him before? Is that what he's always like? He's always like that. He's just a straight yeah. savage. Yeah, I like Paul. He's a great guy. Anyway, great the guy. question on my mind right now is who is more of a savage, Alok or Suvlaki? We're going into game three. We're tied up right now, 1-1. One, one. <sighs> Shall we? Let's do it, brother. Let's go. Round one. And Round one, moving. fight. <laughs> We're losing it. <laughs> hey, welcome to eSports, brother. That is like the tagline for eSports. We're losing it, you know? Oh, I guess I, I guess that was... Uh, <laughs> where are we at, Trevor? I, where, where, what am I looking on, at? I'm working on it. It's going to be somewhere in the Ireland or the UK, presumably UK. Actually, that's that? not a yellow plate, so maybe just Ireland here. Yeah. Or maybe that wasn't... Some rolling hills. Could be Lake... Could it be Lake District? I don't know. That's a, that's a small truck with many people inside it. Let's see if they're zooming in. Suvlaki's zooming in. Super. Oh, look at this. The pacing. Suvlaki keeping it crispy. 
They are also in Wales, I think, right? Uh, I didn't get to see where they zoomed in on. But it just looks like a Welsh name, Ard Navey Road. Oh, we have the Isle of Man no. though. He's in Ireland. He's in Ireland. In I know Isle nothing. Of Man. And who's Ireland? Isle of Man. He, Adolf went for the Isle right. of Man conspiracy. He's did right. not pay off. Let's see if the the round two Japanese island conspiracy is also continuing. Probably not here based off the look of it, but we can find out going into round two. Round two, everybody. Good start for man. Suvlaki. 400 points from the first round is solid. With no multi, solid yeah, start. Yeah, it's solid, especially with how quickly they, they did guess here. But we will see information, and they will try on 5K um, or get within 100 meters of this little round. So we'll see. And they are you can see Suvlaki is zooming in on the plate here. So we'll see. Yeah, and there's tons of town information there and, and road names. I'm not I'm not too sure what if what they know of that, but they will be able to scan for that if not. Both you have starting. Your own Steve Larky thinks they've got a and yep a, a solid uh, solid hit on their radar, and they've gone with Kobe, Kobe Japan, A lock now. Also going to be zooming in with just five seconds left. Oh, oh, he's, oh, got, he's going to Okinawa. Okinawa. That's oh a big God. differential. <laughs> In round two, that's going to be 2,340 points. Suvlaki's going to hate that. There's, there's two. There's two. Isle of Man, Southern Japanese Island. You have to oh, trust yeah? them. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, this is what we're seeing tonight. It's a lot of those locations. But we're going to be in Iceland here. Beautiful location. Yeah. Look at that. Truly cinematic. And that is a lot of points. You know, sometimes you're like, mm. round two. I think that's one of the biggest scores we've seen in a, in a, in, in like a non-multi yeah. round. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we saw some in the games with like Ziggy and Olympia, I think maybe. The, the, these roads look like the type of roads that you know, like when you see adverts for cars, mm. where it's like it's like a shot of a car uh, yeah. going down, like a picturesque road and like, yeah, buy the new car. Would you buy it? I would buy the new car. Sick. Yeah. Do you think Polly would? Yep. Yeah. I do. I think Polly's he's just a Chad. He's just a, he, that was straight Giga Chad energy, man. He's 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 a character. I, I like Polly a lot. Yeah. He's, he's known for his uh his personality, I would say. Yeah. Now we need to find out who'll be joining him and the others in that grand final. And this will be our Iceland's final a uh, final contestant making it through to the I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying just World Cup or World Cup. I feel like World Cup finals is like but yeah, this is the qualifier, the World Cup qualifier. Mm -hmm. I guess it is a finals as well, but yeah. We need to find out if it's going to be Alok or Sublaki. That's where we're at, our final competitor. And both players now taking a more measured approach. Yep, and they're, you know, Iceland's one of those locations where you look for one sign, you're, it'll be able to 5k. Um, a, not a lot of Icelandic roads are covered, so it is very minimal. And we do see Alok finding a sign here. Let's see if he knows where that is. Oh, and we see Suvlaki going against a ton of information. He will be able to get a guess up. And Alok finds that same information, and they will they both, both get zoom it. in. Both zooming in. A similar region of the world where they know where those cities are. Yeah, and we're still not even in multiplier territory, so... Yeah, it's not going to be too much of a, of a point swing in our and direction. Alok, getting there in the end. Suvlaki yeah. tried guessing quick. 60 points. 60 assuming points. Alok didn't see information, but he did last second. And we move on to round three. Round four. Apologies. Round four. And we are going to be in a country. We are going to be in a country, everybody. I that like that. That's that's basically me when I whenever I play around. I'm just gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna be in a country. So true. That's my first criteria. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm in a country somewhere. Sometimes you 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 are in a country, you know. Oh, oh. quick there. We have a Slovenia guess here by Suvlaki. Suvlaki. And we do see Alok going in right outside as well. Yeah, and very both very point. close. No multi. 55 points. Now, though, Round five. we're going to see our first multi, our 1.5x marks the spot. That didn't make any sense, but it's fine. It does. Geogesser X marks the spot. Yes, thanks, bro. See, you got my back, man. All right. Round five. Round five. This and is looking... Like, you see, like, in the, in the sky over the mountains, you can see there's, like, what is it? Humidity. Mm. Clouds. No, but it, okay, is that just pure cloud? It's I not don't like, know. I don't it know. looks like it could be like we are, know, a bit tropical y or I don't know. Yeah, we are in Norway. This is Norway? 
Yes. This is. I'm so f tropical. This is Norway. Oh, this is Norway. there is. Yeah, I've. Well, we're in Norway, everybody. All right. We do, and they do see the same sign again. Sortland. 41. What I will say is that I've been relatively consistent across the night. Relatively consistent in terms of being bad. You've had but some at good least guesses. I've been consistent. You called the Australia like an hour in. Australia was my what was a peak too soon, brother. And you called the Nigeria police car. <laughs> you literally spoon fed it to me like a couple rounds before. Anyway, Suvlaki has uh guessed. dropped, gonna, yep, dropped their guess. Pretty close here. And A lock now following suit, both pretty close, 1.5x. It'll be like 150, yeah, 170 damage. Solid. And we're back in the US. Let's just keep it going. Round keep six. Keep it going. Is there any information here for us? Double damage now in the US. We do have a bunch of American USA flags. So I shout to those representing that. If we move Rainsville, you think that's. Senegal City Hall. On my screen, I do see a Rainsville. Do you think they make it rain in Rainsville? They don't make it rain like you, brother. No one does. No one does. Fast as lightning. I would go pretty south. Here. Hammondville, Trenton, and Rainsville. I do like the Georgia guess. When in doubt, Georgia it out. When in doubt, Georgia it out. I'm just, this is, these just, are phrases that I just, that I, was I, just, I, I that need was, to get a that notebook. Was just a freestyle bar. Was that freestyle? Can bar. you freestyle? I could do a full freestyle. I you can't. Okay. Well, oh, we, have one, Alabama, I, I like we have the Alabama, we have the Alabama, outline on that sign there and they both see that okay the alabama outline like the state outline on, on the highway sign okay. you can see like the so yeah i don't know where any of those rainsville are i did you know spend some time in alabama growing up but uh roll tide or or eagle here there we, we go it's a lock now can't remember the last round where a lock went first or at least overall it feels like suvlaki has been the one sort of making first guess Yes, Suvlaki's. Oh, and Suvlaki. Oh, wow. A lock found a -lock the city. right on top. And he 5K. Yeah, with a double damage. Yeah, that's 1.2K damage. And we're going into round Suvlaki seven. bleeding now. Bleeding steadily, slowly. And that is not what you want if you're Suvlaki. And especially this going into an arch, I think. or Going into an arch. An arch. Oh, an arch. Okay, yeah. Looking for those number plates. It could be a uh, I'm, I'm not actually too sure where we are. It looks like a... Like a northern arch? Maybe it could be like a Peru or something? Um, Escuela number something. A lock moving, I th it feels like much more as in like going down a road. So Vlaki hasn't sort of done that yet, but is following the same pathway, just at a bit of a slower pace, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Looking at those signs. Any information to be gleaned, both of them. We will be an arch. I, I would want to go like very north, like near Salta. Or something like that western region. Oh. That's my that's my Bienvenidos a la Car Carolina. That's my region, yeah. Somewhere west. Somewhere in the western arch. I'm assuming both of them also pick up the same vibes, presumably. But we'll see if uh what oh, A Lock has information. Yeah, A Lock's now head on ha, has now head onto the map. And he I don't think Suvlaki has found information. Looks to be trying to match their information to the map. And Honing in. See, and, and, and something like this, this is where, this is my two cents on this, right? If Alok has information that he doesn't think his teammate does, and you think you have the general region, I wouldn't spend the extra time to go for those five points. Yeah, what's I the would, push it, push the I pace. would push it and try and get, uh, and, and, and take the advantage of the, of the information I have while I have it. Oh, if, and Argentina is big. That could be a big, big but, distance, no? Oh my God, and it is. Oh wow, Alok right on top. And that's game. That's going to be huge. And he five that pays is to win. going to be game. Alok takes it. And it's wow. now two to one in this final best of five wow. series. Alok just one step away. Suvlaki truly now at death's door, but still in that's, with a chance. That's the first 5k to win we've seen tonight, I think, which is really special to see. You get the exact within the meter to win. That's a such an exciting feeling. That's huge. Alok, what though. a pick. And it's interesting uh, that what you said, you know, you noted like, it looks like Alok's got this information. Yeah. It looks like Alok's narrowing it down, bring their map up. And you said, if it was me, if it were me, and I feel like I've got the edge here, like the better information, I would push fast. And it, uh, that definitely paid off. Yeah. Left Suvlaki completely yeah. stranded. Yeah. And it pays off when you, you can do both at the same time, both get information quickly and, you know, find it quickly. So. Yeah. Game four? Game. Yep, game four will be coming up shortly. First, though, let's take a look at our playoff bracket. We can see what has transpired. 
As we know, CG came out on top, beat Scry 3 to 1. Consist with the whitewash 3 0 over Dozigi. That being said, though, whilst it is, it, it was 3 0 and it was it's like a whitewash in that sense, Dozigi put up a solid performance. You know, some of the rounds. Every were, games were close. Yeah, some of, uh, some, of the, some of the games were close. And yeah, shout out to him. And uh, Polly as well, third I person. I see what he means with his avatar now. Yes, so, so the, the avatar has a monocle, though. Yes. And he had uh, sunglasses with <laughs> one of the shades, like, uh, poked out. So, Polly, maybe, I, maybe April, when, April, when, you make it to, when you make it to the final, bring a mon mon monocle down. We need the verified drip, too. We need the that. verified drip as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, Polly and, came out on top of Lenly, and maybe three to one. And maybe pulls up in a, a moon hat. Bro, if a lot comes through with like a custom made like moon hat where you can't see in and he can see out, that is going to be arguably one of the top moments of the tournament, you know? That'd be pretty, pretty alpha. Are you going to come with your gear? I'll wear a smiley mask, sure. Yeah, so what came first? Like, is, is, is that red smiley, that red emoji, is that like GeoGuessers first or yours first? It was, uh, I just had it as my profile picture to play GeoGuessr. Okay. I just like mixed two emojis together. Yeah, that thing is synonymous now, brother. Yeah, we'll take with it. With you and we'll with GeoGuessr. Keep it going. All right, enough chit chat, enough relaxation. It's time to get right back into the action and feel the tension. Quick recap, everybody. This is a best of five, and A lock is ahead two to one. So if A lock wins what is now again a no move game four. A lock will be our final contestant heading to the grand final. Let's do it. To the World Cup in Stockholm. Let's do it. Round one in Ecuador. And just to mention again, that would be two pre quality members if A lock does win this advance to the World Cup that were not invited yeah. to the to the to the qualities we're in right now and they had to earn their spot last week in another tournament. But both players will know it's gonna be Ecuador based off these bollards and, and everything. That and would polls. be another big story. Another big win for Arguably an underdog. Yes, but like I said, Alok did play out of his mind, and we will see quick guesses. Quick guesses here again, and no move when there's less information. But again, that's like a solid round one to chip away like almost 400 points. Yeah, decent one. Yeah, especially no multi. You know, yeah, you'll take that for Alok. You know, get a little confidence boost, but. Yeah, nothing, nothing too shabby. Those points definitely, like, look, we, we can't know where this match is going to go, but we've seen so many matches where someone is on, like, yeah. 100, 200, 300, 400, and, like, three, like 400 points is a percent of that. It's huge. It, like, yeah. those little chips, you never know. Yeah, and you forget, you forget kind of, like, those small moments like that in the beginning that really Yeah, they kind of add up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and we're going to be in the bigger country here in Indonesia. And uh, no multis yet, but we could still see another one of those, you know, someone pick up some big points here. Because on Indonesia, when you have such a large country, it is easy to region guess wrong. But um, I'm not sure who is the better Indo player here. It is not I, said the Fox. Yo, I've, I don't, I've got to, I've got to cut in here. All right, Trevor. So I don't know. This sounds like I've just been fed a true story. What? Okay, yeah. Okay, he's my producer telling me this is a true story that I've just been told, oh. right? Um, so quickly, just what, what, so we keep on board Great with the action. That's big. Yeah. That's going to be big. That is 1,400 in round well, two. down to A-lock. But wow. no, I, I have to get this fact out maybe now in, in this little break yeah, here. Yeah. So my producer's just, I don't know how this has happened. And the people at home are going to find this probably entertaining as well. Someone's just rung our doorbell at the studio and said that they've geo-guessed our location. No shot. How? We don't, have we had, had any content come out from, like how have they done that? Like, the, have, the, because we don't have any content of like outside. You have but, to, you know. Have you taken any pictures of like where we are and stuff and put it, I haven't. I do think the production company has tweeted. Okay, of course the production, yes, okay. Yes, yeah, wow. so. You have to respect it, but you also can't, you know? So it's like, you don't want to incentivize it, but like also like, well. Yeah, we so got, Peter's things in the war room, and of course, people know Black Molly or our production company. So yeah, there's um, a dude waiting, the, the, a dude waiting outside that's um, uh, geo guest us. Wow! Oh, and uh, apparently, our production gave him some water. That's nice of them. There's some kebab pizza as well. We could, <laughs> I left over. I, I, we, we should get back to the game. Let's maybe. get back to the action, the tension, all right? Round three. My silly producer man telling me to tell these wacky stories when we need to find out who our final contestant going through to the World Cup is. The favorite part is a and them are just waiting there. They have no idea. Yeah, they've got that. no They're sweating there. They're like, yeah. <laughs> start the game. <laughs> 
We have to tell the water story. We've got to tell the water story. All right, where did you say this was, Trevor? Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, you that, don't? That country. No, I would go Austria, Slovenia here. Okay. I, I haven't really looked around that much. Austria, Slovenia. It's a lovely, picturesque hill. Oh, yeah, I would go Slovenia. We do have a yellow sign in the distance, which no makes move think now. more likely Slovenia. I'm not sure if, it, if one of those players has seen it yet. And let's just quickly also address the big hit that Suvlaki just put on A-Lock. In round two, that was like, it was like 1.4k. Like, that's insane to get in round two. Anyway, A-Lock now a -lock. with a good sp uh, spot pick. <laughs> Mix the two words together there. But um, Suvlaki not too far behind and sort of inconsequential. Yep, going into round four. Going into round four, final round with no multi. Let's do it. And, you know, I'm currently deciding if this is the US or Canada. It will be probably Canada. I would go probably somewhere. There's English on that sign, so you can't go to Quebec. Maybe Ontario, somewhere. I'm trying to name Nice little suburban neighborhood here. And where did where did they go? I did not even see that. This round's been live Suvlaki. for, what, 15 seconds? Suvlaki just saying, I'm going here. South of a place called Elsevier. That sounds oh, like. Alex in the US. Sounds like some sort of Elven, line. Elven Kingdom. I, I would not see US here. That's it was, the big difference. It was Ontario. That's going to be that's a big wild. hit. 1,700 points. 1,700 points. Suvlaki wants to go to NMPZ, but can he hold on? We'll, we'll find out. We are going to find Round out. Let's five. run it. Let's run it. And I think. I'm liking this momentum. Is this ever Texas pavement? That's two big swings in pre-multiplier. And they're looking at the pavement. They think it's a Texas pavement. I, I mean, it, it looks dry. It looks um, desolate. But it yeah, looks hot. It's a, it's, that's a, I think that's a, a mental blunder by Alok there. We did have a single yellow road line on the road there. He obviously knows that's less common in, in the US. But Thinks they know the road already? No, no Alok is going Texas. We have Suvlaki, I think, somewhere zooming in Colorado or something. I, c I wouldn't be able to tell you, but they, they, they looked like they were zooming in on a specific road and then they kind of went off it. Oh, they're both kind of on the panhandle by Oklahoma and Texas right there. So Okay. Now looking north towards Wyoming. Yeah. You know, when in doubt. When in doubt, in why, uh, when in doubt, why not? Why, like why, in bracket, why, Wyoming not. Why, yeah, when in yeah. doubt, why not? That was good. I think that's a good one. It's a subtle one. Mm. I get it. Is well, it? I've got my one fan in the studio right now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, both players now at a, at a more measured pace compared to the last round. 1.5x damage on the USA will be, assuming one person gets a good guess here, we could see uh, pretty detrimental points. And Alok is kind of holding on. You know, he's he needs a good guess here, or we're going um, back to uh, an NPC game, which would be quite the, quite the thing. That would be quite an insane way to close out the night. We have both. We have one in Colorado, one in Wyoming. You know, I'm, it doesn't really look like Texas, and that's why no one really stuck there. It does kind of look like that more Wyoming, Montana, Colorado region. But sometimes you trust Suvlaki's oh. in. Suvlaki has gone in. They've gone northeast of Salt Lake City. Arizona. Oh, kind of and relatively similar distances, but with the multiplier, 140. Yeah, it's pretty inconsequential, that one, but A-Lock gets the W on it. Yep, and uh, let's keep it going. Round Let's keep six. it going. This Where will, are we looks like here? a Belgium to me off the rip. We do have the, the red tent on the plate here. Maybe we don't. That's right. No, it should be Belgium. It looks like we have the red tent on the plate here, which would indicate Belgium. Um, license plate. That is more red. But Oh, wow. That is a quick commit from Suvlaki. Thinks like they've got the actual town or city. And, you know, Alok is going to need a, a pretty big guess. Not Five seconds, Trev. I mean, they're both going Belgium. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be any points. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Such but a that's small a country. great guess by but it's lucky. With, with double damage? Nah, it's just like about 200. Yeah, 300. Against Alok though, that's that's 10 percent of his HP. Yeah, like that's yeah. That's a a solid hit. Suvlaki's trying to take us to a fifth and final game, an NMPZ. Round six. Round six, Two everybody. X. Two Let's X do damage. It. Two round seven. 2.5 oh, X damage. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, in the past. But we, yeah, we, this we, is yeah. gonna be Italy here. I don't know where in Italy I would go. Maybe slightly more inland, north-ish. Not anywhere near the um, ooh, the Bari coast. Bari could be good. I'm not too sure. Ooh, is Alok considering Sardinia here? It doesn't, it doesn't look like he is. Oh, it looks funny. Like it looks similar to, to an area that um, I, uh, I was driving through uh, recently. I did a holiday with a family in, in Italy, and it, it does. It, I, but I couldn't point out like um, scanning. We were outside Milan like a couple hours, but no. Maybe, maybe it could be there. No, there's no way, bro. That would be funny though if it was. Maybe you're in the photo. 
with your family. <laughs> Shivlaki, outside Aquila, northeast of Rome. Alok needs to get a guess in. He has his plonk down. They're pretty close, oh, but going he's to, still going for Sardinia. No, they're going off. He's he really got a second left. And it was north. And it was north. Well, maybe the Milan guess would have uh, <laughs> took you somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But, you know, nothing too crazy. Sivlaki still has 4,500 points. Yeah. And it looks like we're going to be... Ooh, this is a fun one. Yeah. This is an Eastern Russian road, I presume, here. Eastern Russian road. I think this is going to... And I, we I, know with Russia, it is... What, what, what we've said, but I mean, Trevor, you've referred to it as a country that is tough and it really spit, splits the best of the best yes. from the rest. Could this be where the cream rises could, to I, the top? Could Alok do it here? I don't know. It's a huge I, country. I'm not sure who has upper hand here. I'm not sure if it if it is Eastern Russia. I think this has to be Eastern Russia, but I'm not sure if both players commit <laughs> or where they do commit. This is a tough tough no move. So oh, Larky's going you know, in though. Are the they going to lock Binks, in that guess? The Chill Pinks, no? I, I don't dislike. You do get the white car. It looks like you did have white car there. If you see on Alok's screen. Yeah. That's why it, it should be a white car, I think. Unless it's black and I'm tripping. But a white you car. do get the white car in the Chill Oh like yeah, Chilla when Binks. you see the, I, I can't really see. The Google car, I should say. No, but I know, I, I know. I'm trying to look down and see like yeah. the shadow thing, but I can't really. Oh, I see. I, I don't know with what color and that would be. You guys Alok's going oh. more east. So I don't think it is white car because if it was, they would have committed both east or near Chilobinsk. But Alok is not 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 thinking this either. How far away from each other are they? Are, are they pretty right far. Pretty oh far. wow! Like Russia's pretty big. Yeah, Russia is huge. This could be it. This could be it. This could be the moment but everybody at home. Uh, they're getting closer, I think. Oh, they are edging closer. But I think. <gasps> who's the in? guest has come in. Suvlaki's gone far, first. They far. are far apart. This could be game if one. Wait, or the other. This, it would be. Oh, oh Alok suddenly closer. jumped close. Two, three seconds left. Alok. Alok does it. That's not going to be enough, though. It's not going to be enough. Triple, triple down. Oh, my God. 2.7. See, we did have the same. Oh, wow. Now, Suvlaki, with it all to do. Well, if Alok had gone further, he, yeah. he would have lost and, a lot know, of points there. And that's where, in hindsight, you look at it, you're like, wow, there was a lot of sand. The circuit sand is what, probably what we saw there. But, wow. And this right here is not going to be around. So, somewhere in the Middle East. Yeah, this will be the uh, UAE here. UAE. Um, let's just start the game. 3.5 X. Everybody, I cannot impress on you enough at home. Of course, it can be anyone's game on, on, on any game, but like at this point where it's 2.6K versus 1.8K, one of the players is one game win away from winning the match. Everything's on the line and Suvlaki has moved first going to the north of Dubai. And yeah. Alok's looking more to the south, this southeast. This will be maximum 30 points damage to yeah, the Yeah, 3.5X, yeah. That's okay, you know, that's small rounds. It's building, that, it's building that multi up. 112 though, that is, I'm taking that we're when my opponent's got 1.8K. Yeah. You know, it's a good little boost. And at this point, those points we were talking about before at the start of the match, they're adding up. They're adding up. They're yeah. adding up. That 400 points that were scored at the start, it's adding up. Exactly. And especially in a round like this in Spain, where you could easily guess the country or the region wrong, both players will know this is Spain pretty easily. But getting that region guess could be something they trouble they get tr have trouble with. Round 10, quadruple damage. Everybody at home in the chat, I want you to be spamming the name of the player that you want to win. It's time to bring the hype. Serbia or Netherlands. We, we are either heading out of the match with Alok winning or we're heading to NMPZ. Two situations to celebrate. Suvlaki moves first, really trying to change the pace here. Alok has to react. Alok's sitting in. He's just going it's, to it's Madrid. A, it's, it's not going to be enough, I don't think, with how different they are. It's a deep, Unless one person has a really good guess. Let's see. Alok has a pretty good oh, guess. It's not going to be enough. It's Will not it? going to be. With it might be. Damage? It might be. No, oh, it's not. 1060. Suvlaki on 701 now. We're really oh my God. seeing Suvlaki's back pressed against the wall. 700 points to his name. He gets a zero. He's eliminated. Alok advances to the World Cup in Stockholm. Oh, my God. But, but the question is now, the question is now, can Alok feel that pressure too? Alok's thinking, I, I, or Alok could be thinking, I'm one click away from securing my dream and make it to that final. Does that mean that he overthinks and Savlaki can sneak back in? Only one way to find out. Let's do it. Let's Round do it. 11. Round 11, 4.5x. And this is going to be in the US where we do see a larger geographic sphere. 
Um, Toots Creek Antique Mall. They might take their time here. I assume they take their time here. I'm not too sure. Um, oh, yeah, I feel like there's so much on the line here. There's so much. I mean, for both one players. way or the other, Suvlaki could get one good guess here, and Alok is eliminated, and we're going to to the final, you know, in the PC round. NPC. I'm trying to see if there's any... There is not very much information here that is, is very valuable. There is a sign that, that does say Clarksville. Yeah, Suvlaki the first to move to the map, starting to look around. But quite generally, we're quite zoomed out here. But do you think he's had some sort of tell? Some information that he's trying to line up? He's sort of staying around a similar area. He's going north of Atlanta now. Yeah, I think it's more of just, this is probably more of a general vibe guess based off of okay. your experience in the US. Oh, wow. Yeah, sure now he's like really straying north. We a, ooh, we do have a 434 area code. And we have a Bojangles half a mile ahead on the right. You know, I think of Bojangles, I do think of a southern, uh, the south, but that could be. Bojangles is like a restaurant chain, right? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like Southern hospitality to me. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but... Bojangles. What a name. What a name. a great name. Anyways. Both players, though. Taking their time. Like I said, I feel like we might see I mean, a longer round here. Don't, but don't forget, in the first game between these two, that game took a long time. So they are taking, you know, more time now compared to, like, the previous mm -hmm. game or, like, the previous rounds. But it's still, like, um, some, some of those, uh, the, those rounds that we saw in the first game were extremely long and yeah. it's definitely they, 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 we've not seen that since, since no. that first game and, you know, that could be a, a part of you know just they're getting tired they could be you can't forget this guys you know the, 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 this is like the highest stakes that either of these players have ever played in and like the meta is going to be shifting game to game round to round and right now we're seeing things slow slow down considerably from the most recent rounds I cannot believe someone geo guessed us. That's wild. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> not to like spoil the party, but they just Googled Black Molly Entertainment and then now like, you're, got now you're telling people to come here even more. <laughs> well, no, no, but I mean, it, it, just Google the address at three two four nine six ninth. Street. Don't try and accuse me of what's the word for this? The, 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 what's it? Um, doc. I'm not a. The, the, yeah, it, yeah. That the works. tweets are out already, yeah. guys. Like you know. And, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. wow. We have an interesting guest here by by A-Lock going kind of in Illinois here. It's not locked in. It's not locked in, but not he looks pretty in. confident. I don't, I don't know. Hey, I mean, he could be right. Outside the Chicago area in the state of Illinois. I'm not sure where, I can't see the, the read the names of where Sulaki zoomed in right now, but he's scanning for something. Maybe they're looking for Clarksville. Maybe that's the only sign here that I could see that would give them a, a did he, did he find something? He looked oh, pretty confident in that. Suvlaki and he's a Tennessee. took their time in Nashville, I'm not Tennessee. Lie. I think I like that guess more. Is it going to be sweet music to his ears, or is this going to be Southern Demise? Oh, my God. Is oh, that and enough? they're both. Will that be enough? Both no. relatively close. 4.5 no. oh damage. It's God. not enough, but it's even to score. 700. Oh, wow. And it comes down to this. And we're. Oh, wow. Oh, this is. We, I, we, I don't think we've. Have we seen two players in the red? Of the, us, personally? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is literally and the tightest game yet, with the most on the line. And, and it's how we're finishing off our night, our qualifier. And we're back in the U.S. Back in it. We're not, I mean, we're staying in the U.S. Yeah. We never left, baby. We never left. We're still here. <laughs> but I do, you know, I'm going to call a shot. But at this point, it's like the multipliers are almost point. They're not, because they, of course they found it. But in, if they stay relatively close, it's like... Wait, are we in the U.S.? Yeah, we should be. I don't know why I just, the sun looked like it was weird there for a second, but um, I'm just let me just make sure here for a second. This could be a Sivlaki. Wait, no, we're not. Sun. We're in Argentina. This is Argentina. We're in the southern hemisphere. North, sun of the north, southern hemisphere. This has to be Argentina. I thought this was like in Oklahoma, dude. I wonder if we see someone that doesn't trust the sun here and they go to the U.S. This looks like a U.S. round. But you have the sun in the north, which means you're going to be the center. Suvlaki's moving Suvlaki's first, going, going to Uruguay. Okay, it could be Uruguay too. That's Just good. going center of Uruguay, uh, Uruguay right now. I really hope that we see... Okay, we A-lock. Oh, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. One Argentina, one Uruguay. Oh, that's a big difference. They, Both they huge countries. US. That's, uh, that's a good... That You do not see these poles in the U.S. That is a... Oh, oh this is it. Suvlaki this is in. it. We this have is, a winner in 10 seconds. We're either going to a game five for the first time, or we are going to know our final contestant heading to the GeoGuessr World oh Cup. Oh my God. And oh wow, Suvlaki on the wrong country. He wins on the wrong taking country. Taking us to our first game five.
Our first NMPZ will be taking place. So Vlaki clutches up. It could not end in a better way. 2-2, two, two, everybody. We will be playing that fifth and final game. Oh An NMPZ, everything on the line. That was wild. Coming down to that. Oh man, I really thought, dude. I, 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 I yeah, I, I didn't think Suvlaki was going to pull it out. It, I mean, I, I, I'm speechless. Odds against him. That was, uh, that was insane. And you know, even winning, it's kind of a joke within the community. Winning on the wrong country like that, it's kind of funny. But you know, it happens. So, <sighs> yeah, and we're going NMPZ, and I don't know who has the advantage here at all. NMPZ. I've, it, it feels like, I mean, it is hours since we saw an NMPZ. So it's like. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out when we're in this portion of the competition. Yeah, we're right at the end of the qualifier. You know, both these guys are going to be, you know, checking the streams and twitters and stuff to see, oh, who's made it, who's not. They're going to yeah. be like, oh, it's just us two. Yeah, we're, we're, like, they, they, like, and oh, oh we're, we're on our game five. Yeah. Like, they know it comes it down to this. It couldn't be, literally, couldn't be closer. You yeah. know, we're, we're lucky that uh, the story's written itself, and that uh, we're closing out the night with the. Uh, with a matchup that could could not be closer. Yep, and uh, setting up the next game here. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know who to expect, what to expect, <laughs> who who to root for, who to root. You know, this is just if we want a good game, we got it. Yeah, that's what I'm rooting for. A good game. We've had one so far, and I'm sure this fifth and final game will deliver. And I, yeah, this is NMPZ. It's NMPZ, everybody. Comes down it's to this. not move. It's not no move. It's a still image. And both players have to do everything they can to get as much information from as little visual candy as possible. The winner of this game will be going through to the World Cup. And the loser would have been so close, but they will be going home. It's Alok versus Suvlaki Zeitgeist. Serbia versus the Netherlands. And it's how we finish our qualifier. Let's do it. This one's going to be big, brother. Everyone at home, get hype in the chat now. We're starting off round one. Round one. And what I would presume to be a Sweden. They do see uh, road lines here. So, But this is the entire image they do see. As you see on your screen, this is all the information they get. One photo comes down to this. Who can get closer? And he is trying to pan like a little chico. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's, what's it? Maybe Savlaki's literally forgotten. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe Savlaki thinks like, wait, oh, and then he's going to tune in like, uh, and oh, realize that it's an NPZ. Maybe I, I could be calling the Sweden guest wrong. Oh, we do have to have two Estonia, oh. so. A looks going oh, straight into. Oh. oh, okay. And that's it was actually Sweden. You were right. Yeah, so you would have crushed both these guys. You know, that's the beauty of NPZ. Anything can happen. You would have crushed both of them. They would be like 1.5k nah, in nah. debt. I would have lost in game three. It's okay. <laughs> Let's keep it going, though. Round two. And this going. right here is, you know, some people practice different skill sets, have different skill sets. I, I play NPZ way more than I play any other game mode in the game. So I do have an advantage on games like this. But yeah, next game here does look like a Finland or something of the sort. It should just be a pretty obvious Finland for both players, though. Obvious Finland. I'm hoping that one person doesn't go Canada or something. That would be quite embarrassing. No, but no, we do no. See two. Okay. We do see Finland's coming in. Finland in the chat. Yep. Both relatively close. Yep. No points here. And this is where we're, we're at. Every single round we go is one round closer. One so round where? closer. Here we go. Let's see what we got going forward. It looks like we're going to be back in... Presumably Canada, maybe BC or something like that. Let's see. It's so funny because of how this match has been and how intense, uh, intensely it's played out. Like I want to be like the winner of this is the champion of the qualifier, but yeah. of course not the case. Just one of our four contestants moving through to the World I Cup. If this is ever Alaska or something. That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm wondering what the odds are. Are you? Do you have enough? There is. Oh, Alok is agreeing with me on Alaska. Alok. I like, I like the Alaska. Alaska. I actually really like Alaska here. Sivlaki. And I think we might see two Alaska. No, we don't. Oh, no. Sivlaki going gonna go with, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think Alok's right. North of the US. I think it has to be Alaska. And he commits Alaska. Commit this Alaska. could be massive points here if he commits to Ontario or Michigan. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I do like that the Alaska gets on. here a lot. It would have to be a it big... It is Alaska! Oh, my God. Right on top. Oh, Alok, my God. Oh, my. It's almost a killing blow. Alok's hitting the gritty. There was no multi there, and Alok has chopped away so much of Suvlaki's HP. 1.8K oh remaining. This is getting... That is a huge... Alok is going to feel so good. Suvlaki is going to feel like they are on the grill. NMPZ, round three. 
Round four. Round four? Could this end before Maltese? That would be wild. And you know what? What is this? Are you stuck? I mean, this looks like a U.S. And you get, you're getting to move as well on your yeah, screen. Yeah, I'm moving right now because I'm like, it, this looks like a U.S., but I don't... The landscaping sort of looks U.S. I'm making sure it's not Canada. Telephone poles, poles could be... Um, yeah, I don't think it's ever Canada. You know, I think we're like... I mean, we have uh, just for... So Larky's sort of hovering around the east of the U.S. So is a lot, but I guess in, it looked like they were in different states. I mean... Alok pulled off the, the, the last guess. Yeah, I, I do like Suvlaki not going Kanda here. I don't see this being Kanda. Maybe it's it, funny because they're both in relatively similar positions right now. Like where, they, where they've clicked yeah. the map. Suvlaki's oh, in. Suvlaki, yeah. Alok, like, they're very, yeah, they're very close. Oh, they are, close to they are quite close to each other, like within a state. No multi. Oh, no multi, but that's still massive points. It's still... That's oh massive. my god, yeah, it's huge points. 1,200. 1,200 as we head into the multis. That will be the last one without any multipli multiplication. Yep, round five here. Round five now, 1.5x. And, and this is going to be South Africa. Both players will know that this is South Africa. The region, guess, we do have a, like a, a bunch of mountains to our north here. Lucky they for will. They will. Uh, Alok was able to afford. Like, I mean, if that was Suvlaki lo uh, losing those points, that he yeah. would literally be just an inch away from going out. Yeah, and I'm assuming we see two similar guesses here in southern, like kind of east of Cape, with this mountain range we have north, and uh, we do see both making that guess real quick. But you know, we I mean, yeah, but there's still these distances of oh, sort of edging closer now. And 1.5x damage. And anything to Savlaki hurts. Yeah. You know, you, death by spoon, you know? Death by spoon. I like that, death by spoon. Alok looking for mountains north where it lines up on one of these north-south roads. Will he find it? Will they make a guess? Who will make the guess first? Round five, 1.5x 1. 5 damage. 1.5x, 1. 5 round five. You know, this is coming down to... To NNPZ, that's that's quite Any, yeah, serendipitous. Uh, yeah, it is. It absolutely is. It's serendipity playing out. If uh, if Adok does a good job here, just at enough distance from where Suvlaki picks, it he could like found an intersection. be all over. Suvlaki's just staring at the. He's been staring at the image for a while now. Bros, bros has just locked yeah, in. He's just like what? Do you, like the, the, I feel like this see, is unusual for NMP. If we had a webcam, we would definitely see him like two pixels away from his his his, his monitor. Legit. Yeah, you definitely you definitely get close to your monitor no and, and see if you can see anything that you can't see. This is this yeah. is tough. A yeah. looks really going he's in. Scanning. You know. A looks really going in. A look thinks they found the road. Maybe. I mean, he's trying to find something that lines up. You know, the odds of him oh, actually doing that are very slim. Making a move. Making a move. Suvlaki has no, a lock locked a lock in. Guessed. This could be Suvlaki's it. Oh, so Suvlaki is closer. One point five damage. damage. Not going to be that much. Ah, it's not too much, but still, it keeps Suvlaki alive. A yes. lock once again can afford that damage. Yep. And this next round, we do have visible bollards here in round five. One point five x damage. Bollards. Everyone yes. goes wild. I've heard that in Geo Guess, everyone goes wild over bollards. Let's get yep. some bollard hype bollard in the hype. chat. Yeah, this should be crow. <laughs> Um, and we do have water northish. I'm not sure if they pick that. They pick somewhere on the coast here. Obviously, not anywhere inland, Croatia. They're both very close but, together. Um, yeah. With how, be, with, yeah I don't think you'll see, see very many points here in Crow. Unless there's a sudden change of heart from one of them. But no, they're, they're almost in exactly the same. Yeah, they yeah. both go in almost exactly the same. It's a safe area. guess. It's a safe guess. I think, uh, yeah, only 30 points. But I will say going in around seven here, I think we might see. This is going to be, this might be a lot. Could this be a big one? It's going to be a big one. Round six, 2x damage. I'm not going to spoil anything. Let's keep going. damage. Let's get round seven so this will be, underway. This will be Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong. It should be Hong Kong, unless, I, unless I'm tripping. But um, I don't know if both players I've will pick up on Hong I've Kong. I've been to here. Hong Kong, but I've only been in like, you know, the very... Uh, like center of the city. I, I would never imagine that yeah, this it, is Hong Kong. Yeah, it looks like a little slightly different... Unless I, yeah, it should be Hong Kong. I'm it's assuming like a both small suburb type thing. Assuming like, both players, uh, both players just staring the thing of, right the thing now. About around like this is it takes one blunder and you're out. Eyes glued to the screen, but A lock moves first. And he's going into Hong going Kong. Going into Hong Kong. The question is, does Suvlaki also pick up on the Hong Kong here? I mean, we do have plates, we have everything here. I do see both of them getting it, but it's one of those that you could you could easily blunder, you know. 
You could Alok think this does is, uh, want to sort of like. You could go Taiwan. You could go Japan, maybe. It's uh, it's yeah. countries. Alox in. Alox well, just locked it in on Hong Kong. Oh, oh, my oh God. I wait! Thought... I went to Taiwan, but he I came back us. to Hong Kong. He baited us. Okay, nice. Oh my God. That was that was. Do you think that was intentional, bait? That's for the content. No, that was no, for no, real. No shot. No. I think he just couldn't find it on the map. Oh, look at this. It's just snow. Round seven, two point five x. Snowy this valley. This is the type of round that you don't want to see if you're Alox or Suvlaki, but that's what we like to see because that's good content. Round eight, three x. Can you damage. tell what this country is like off the rip? You know what? I think this is new Turkey coverage, new Gen 4 Turkey with this. this oh yeah, and, and Alok immediately. Does Straight Alok know the road? in on Turkey. Does Alok know the road? He zoomed in so confidently, so quickly. The, the, it's an AZ. The thing is, it's an AZ, he, does dude. he know the road? Does Alok know the road? He's New Zealand. He, no, it's not New Zealand. It's not the road New Zealand. It's oh! Eddie. He Ladies knew the road. Gentlemen, everyone he knew the road. at home. He knew the road. Alok knew the road to Vlaki going in the completely wrong direction. Oh and you know God. what? Rainbolt called it. He saw it coming. And Alok will be our final competitor heading to the GeoGuessr World Cup October the 13th. 14th. There is a road in New Zealand that has snow coverage exactly like this. Oh, in no way. And that, I know exactly what he's talking about. But wow, Alok knew the road. That's why you study, study your snow coverage. <laughs> wow. That what a way was so end. intense. You can't ask for a better ending. No, you can't. We went down. We, we, we went all the way down to the to the very final game. NMPZ in a best of five. Wow, I got chills. Whew. Wow. Let's take a look at our group, see how everything played out. And then we'll take a look at our playoff bracket and who qualified. Yep, so we've got groups A through D on the screen. Group A was pretty close. Group B, Consus just did an amazing job. C. Polly was also head of the pack. And D, yeah, A lock. Fun funny enough. So look, if we look at group A. Um, I don't think anyone, no one from group A advanced. No one from group A advanced. Cons so Consus, um, Polly, A lock, and CG. And C. So two from group C, one from group B, one from group D. Yeah, shout out to the so USA. Technically, group C, the winningest group. Yeah, shout out to the USA. Yeah. Moving on, we'll look at our playoff bracket the bracket that just took place and as we just mentioned cg went through cg you know they went through the pre-qualifier with rainbow they came through the qualifier here and they made it they had a, this this plane ticket book it booked in case they didn't actually reach the final now they can refund that because they're going to be flown out and competing conscious with the swift 3-0 it wasn't even swift look we don't want to play down Derzigi's achievements either either it was 3-0 but Derzigi put up a fight but it was conscious that came out on top and then we had polly um with a brilliant performance 3-1 but for me his best performance was on camera yeah and, and then, of uh, course, uh, yeah, we, we just saw our, our final matchup as well, and A-Lock locked it in. That was good. A locked in. A locked in. And that's two pre qualies that had to earn their position. Yeah, A, a lock and CG, right? A, and C, a lock and CG made it from, they had to, they had to qualify from last week's qualies. And they both put on, put on a show and Go made it today. It, it goes to show sort of like how competitive the game is at this level. That If you are someone that's capable of playing um, in like a pre-qualifier level, you can end up making it not just to the, the, the main qualifier, but to the actual biggest tournament at the end, which in this case is the World Cup. Um, we are working on getting ALOC for an interview. Uh, man, that we want to chat round. to ALOC and then I guess we'll do some closing thoughts and, and finish the show. But right now we're just waiting for ALOC. That last round, snow coverage, Turkey. Yeah. I cannot wait to see Jalotris and remember the community's reaction to that. Because that was quite the, uh, that's like the perfect, like, Cinderella ending right there. Yeah. That was just amazing. Since we were just talking about the World Cup and, you know, the fact that these four players have qualified through to the stage there, don't forget one final time, everybody, to get your tickets. You know, if you're in the Sweden area, if you're in the Nordic regions, or if you're anywhere from around the world and you can get the time off and you can get grab one of those tickets, it's going to be an amazing event. You know, I've, I've just got involved in this community. It's been awesome to see, but I know from speaking to everyone that this community is super tight-knit. There's so many of you out there. And I already know many people are coming from across the 
across the world. Michael from GeoGuess was telling us that people are, are, are traveling from so far away mm. to Stockholm to be in space and, and watch the World Cup happen. So if you can, try to come down to this World Cup. It's going to be an amazing experience to enjoy and to look back on, for sure. Uh, I, I can't wait. If it's anything like it was tonight, which it will be, you know, this is a... Uh, you have moments like this where you just get, you want to get out of your chair and just run. I wonder if know? we'll get some like crowd pops and stuff, you know, for, for, let's, say, let's say a situation yeah. like that happened. You have to. Um, I wonder if the crowd will, you know, because that's the best thing about being in an arena, right? Is, yeah. is when you get the crowd are getting involved and like the, you, you get, hear the emotions. There'll, there'll definitely be some of that because a lot of the players, <clears throat> a lot of the Jugaster community is coming out just as a, you know, just to support their friends and to meet yeah. people as like a Jugaster meetup. Oh, that'd be and great. so we'll definitely have some passionate people in the, in the, in the audience. You know, give me like a big friends. group of friends. Yeah, that'd yeah, be super man. sick. The, the 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 atmosphere will be awesome. Still waiting to see if we can get Alok on the phone. So uh, just sit tight, everybody. Gonna wait another minute for him, and then um, if we can't you get know, them, then I, we'll, I'm, uh, I'm hoping he, he has to he has to give us a road to Mandalay. Oh yeah, so Alok is the contestant that you said has some special singing voice or something. Yeah, he just he just has a. Uh, a very ASMR voice. Okay. You know, when we ever did like team comms on, on stream or something, everyone would want to hear his comms because he just has a very calming voice and his singing voice is just as uh, as beautiful. Yeah, well, uh, Alok, please. We have to hear it. We have to. Get on the line with us, Alok, because uh, I, I need to, we need to put you on the spot and see if we can get some uh, melodies, some vibes. He's in my head. Yeah. <laughs> Surely he's like a man. Oh, it's like 2 a.m. Okay, we're allowed to start singing. Uh, yep. Welcome yeah. to the welcome to the esports, brother. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been such an amazing show. It's been a pleasure to be a part of it. It's been such hard for action. It's um, I think it's it's been so nice to see, you know, how much it means to so many people, and especially these competitors. You know what? And, and I've really enjoyed doing the interviews as well. You know, where we get to know these people just briefly a bit better. Yeah. The characters they are. Yeah. So I definitely I hope that we can get a lock. Shortly, we're just working on it still. Surely, surely. Yeah, Alok is uh, he's a character in himself. You, you'll notice we have a lot of different characters in the community. So it's uh, like you, man. Yeah, I do my thing, you know. But yeah, rain well, well, bolt. make it rain, making it rain fast as lightning. Yeah, but I'm excited to meet to, to meet Alok in person, too. You know, a lot of these players, you know, we uh, we grew up on the game together. You know, we were back in the streams making guesses with Twitch streams together. So it'd be cool to see them. Okay, Trevor, got some good news. We've got Alok on the line. Alok, how's it going, my friend? Congratulations. Yo, hello, what's up? What's Thanks up? so much for the congrats. Yeah, how do you feel right now? Uh, like you've made it to the World Cup. Yeah, I feel, I don't know how to explain. It's just amazing. I mean, I went through the pre qualies and qualies. I wasn't expecting at all to end up all the way up here but yeah it happened so yeah amazing yeah you should be so proud of yourself trevor is there anything you'd you'd like to ask from mr a lock before we get into you know the really important stuff the really you know, important stuff let's yeah. talk about the game first then we'll get into the really important Dude, stuff. a lock talk me through your, your the turkey guess you instant zoomed into that road in turkey it was that the snow coverage that you've seen before in turkey what was uh, what was your thought process yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's the road. I mean, it's a deep coverage, and I have it, of course, on an extraordinary road, my mom. Ah. And, of course, I remembered it because I also looked through Turkey, all those, like, amazing scenic roads and everything. And, yeah, just saw it, and knew it, and just guessed, and that was it. Nice. Incredible. And, yeah, and when you were in the pre-qualifiers, like, did it ever cross, like, cross your mind, I've got a good chance to make to the World Cup? Or did it just seem like a fancy dream that was going to be extremely difficult or unlikely? Well, I thought maybe yes, maybe not. You know, when in, in the pre because there are so many matches and there is also, like, both luck factor and also just... Uh, in these, uh, in the in the main qualities, there are like so many amazing, both in the pre qualities and in the main qualities, just so many amazing players. And I, to get through the main qualities, I wasn't really expecting that much because I mean, they're just you saw the players today; they were just out of their minds <laughs> with their yeah. guesses and everything. 
Including yourself. Including yourself. Big victory, mate. You're going to the World yeah. Cup. You're going to Stockholm. Now that we've thank got, you, you, so you know, much. the game stuff out of the way and, you know, you going to the World Cup. Look, even before we knew you were going to be in the playoffs, I was told by Trevor, if we get to speak to Alok at some point, we need to ask him to sing. Firstly, what's the story there? Like, what, what's this? You're apparently, you, you're, you're a great singer and, and the community love you for your singing. Yeah, basically, I go to a choir and then once on stream, someone asked me to sing a song and I sang it and then it became a huge meme in the Jirgesu <laughs> community on the road to Mandalay. <laughs> Trevor, would you, would you like to ask your friend? You know, if he wants, but we could also save it for the World Cup at the like a halftime show performance. But you don't want to put him on spot, you know. Would you be up for singing now, eh? Look, or would you like to save it for the World Cup? I mean, whatever. I can sing both there and here. However Let's you do want, it. I mean, it's comfortable. Hey, look, if you would give us that honor, we'd love to hear Just your road chorus. to Mandalay. Okay. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. On the road to Mandalay, where the flying fishes play, and the dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. Beautiful. <laughs> Everyone okay. give it up for our final competitor <laughs> going to the GeoGuessr World Cup. a -Lock. congratulations, brother. We'll see you there. Okay, see ya. Bye, you like. Awesome guy. Been amazing to interview everyone, and what a way to close things out with a bit of a song and a dance. You can't ask He lived up to it. That was a, yeah. a beautiful, uh, beautiful singing voice. Yeah, the choir pays off. He's, he's great, very talented, both in the vocals and on GeoGuessr. Yeah, clearly. He's a very, t that final round was electric. And we get Serbia representation in the World Cup, which is really cool. It's another, gonna be like country. a truly... Um, global. Yeah, truly global final. Truly global World Cup. And everybody, that is about it. This has been the GeoGuessr World Cup qualifier. Me personally, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure. Like, it's been amazing to have this insight into the community and see how the competitive game is played. It's been a, a true pleasure to, to take part. And Trevor, it's been a pleasure to meet you. I was very excited to meet you. And you're, you're a natural on camera, brother, in, in terms of uh, this type of content. Of course, in your own content, mm. you're a megastar. But yeah, you just slotted right into a broadcast. You should be super proud of yourself as well, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, you made it a lot easier, man. So thank you. And uh, I'm excited to do this more. So yeah, October 13th. October 13th, 14th, everybody. That is what you need to look out for next. That is where when the GeoGuessr World Cup Final will be taking place. It'll be coming to you live from space in Stockholm, and it's going to be an event for the ages. Thank you all for your support and tuning in, and we will see you there.